Oh yeah, the voices are all goofy. Press, press that to play. Where are we at? Quick Sandfield. Quick Sandfield. Uh, oh, right, 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 right. I remember now. Let's do this. Nope. 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 All right. Played Secret of Evermore. We started this last week after. Whoa. Darkens one oh 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 has gifted a tier one sub to legit bacon bit. Dude, bacon bit. First of all, thank you, Darkens, for gifting a sub to legit bacon bit. Dude, thank you for your kindness today. That means a lot. Enjoy your ad free experience and some of the greatest emotes on Twitch. Yeah. And same. I would not have known about that video had someone not posted it in my Discord. So. I didn't know that that was a thing, you know? All right. So, last time on Secret of Evermore, which was last Friday, we had to find an alchemist that was stuck somewhere here in the quicksand area. Uh oh. We got PS1 ASMR. <laughs> We found a giant like spider bug and blew its heart up with spells and rescued the alchemist. To ride the train? Non binary, Neon, thank you for 100 bits. Billmas, thanks for 197 bits. I don't need to fight these. Let's go. Let's go. What are. What's over here? This is a different direction. Oh, I don't want to go that way. This way. We got a hype train too. It's already level two. Look at that. Thank you so much. Did mana come before Evermore? It did, yes. That's correct. Come on, Augustus. Let's go talk to Fire Eyes. How's the on screen chat look today? <laughs> Does it look familiar? <laughs> yeah, mana did come before this a year or two before it, I want to say. This was. To my understanding, the only game ever developed by the U.S. branch of Squaresoft. And the heads of Squaresoft in I Japan hated it. They just hated it. So that's why we never really saw much happen with it. So that's where we're at. Look, we have a dog. We can make, make him sniff. And he can find alchemy ingredients. He's a good, good puppy. Thank you for 69 bits, by the way. Let's go talk to Fire Eyes. That's her. I hear you were victorious in the farm reaches of the bug muck. Well, it was a bug hunt, but we got out of it okay. And we got a nifty claw, too. It's like an axe. Yeah. I think this was also the first game Jeremy Sewell composed when he was like 20. And he's done over a hundred games, I think. Do 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 doggo ten out of ten game, yeah. Jeez, what's up, man? Thank you. Wow, thanks for thanks for the support, everybody. I don't know what to say. Thanks for hundred bits. That's that's great, she says. Strongheart has returned to his hut south of the village. Here we go, some bits. Thank you for all the entertainment, my guy. He's been quite prolific. Yeah, I think the games he's most well known for, Jeremy Sewell. This is his first game, right? The ones he's most well known for are probably Oblivion and Skyrim. I don't think there are any more popular games than that that he's done. And he's done a lot of games. So if you've heard, I think he did Morrowind too, actually, now that I think about it. I think he also did Morrowind. <clears throat> doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Volcano to the north is rapidly cooling down. If this trend continues, we can have an ice age. Oh. I'd like to help you, but I gotta start looking for a way back home. He 
He did KOTOR as well. Damn. Track down the source of this atmospheric icing. I'm originally from Podunk too. Oh, she's from the same town. So if you don't know the story in this, you start out, him and his dog walk out of a movie theater. They went to see some corny horror movie. The time era of his town looks to be like maybe between the 60s and the 80s, I would assume, but I don't know for sure. Somewhere in there. Um, his dog runs off chasing a cat. He goes to find his dog, ends up in this haunted mansion. There's a device there. It activates and it sends him to some mysterious lab somewhere, him and his dog. And this Igor looking guy who looks like a comic, like cartoonish villain, you know, like bald, mad scientist hair and everything, shoves me in this machine and I ended up here in like prehistoric times. And my dog became this like dire wolf looking thing. So that's the story basically, is how it started. Oh, thanks. Beep, 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 beep. Right on, cheese. Thanks so much. Folks were going ham last night. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, we hit a few. We hit a couple of our sub goals last night, so that means that tomorrow we get to do a jank, jank NES night. Thanks for the hype train, everybody. Mm, 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 mm. It's the level two. Level two hype train, four subs, 466 bits. Thanks so much. Since I enjoy all things prehistoric, I dreamed up this world of cave people and dinosaurs. I was supposed to be here for a couple hours, but it's been a couple of decades. So this is a dream world. Now and again, I sense evidence of outside influences on our world. This recent drop in temperature could be the work of someone from the real world. And that person has control over the vicious volcano vipers. You go to the source at the center of the volcano. You might find someone or something that could lead you back home. Okay. Wow, this is like what happens in the pale people of planet five. He constantly references fake corny movies. It's about a bunch of astronauts who get stuck on an exact replica of Earth, only it's populated by zombie vampires and... Well, actually, this isn't like that at all. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> uh... You finished with your little anecdote. I can give you the ability to call on me. Oh, right. Call baits. Someone put console on the AC unit. Need my help, especially in big battles. You can throw a call bead to the ground. Oh, right. No offense, but how can a girl help a couple of adventurers like us? <laughs> I learned a few tricks since I've been here. Let me show you why they call me Fire Eyes. Go on. Step back. Okay, that was fucking cool. <laughs> I approve. Uh, hi, Curly. Continue saying cool things to help you sleep. Um. Okay. Now she put me on the spot. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's, I got, I got you. I got you. Hold on. I got you. Let's see. Do, 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 That's a good question. Damn it. Google, you suck so much lately. <laughs> oh, it keeps showing me these like fucking ads and oh, God, I don't. Nothing happens. Yeah, that's basically where we're at. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hold on. Hold on. I got now. See, now I'm determined. Now I'm determined. Now I'm determined. Did did. Wow, these are dark. I just shit my pants. Don't do that. 
Nope, no shitting your pants. Did 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 it did it did did it. Park on this dick. Okay, that didn't work. I love that song. Oh god, my butt's on fire. I'm closing this. This is not working. <laughs> I love this game nonstop. It's so good. It's, this is a dope game. Do, 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 do. So instead of that, I will show you this. Here's a good one that showed up in Discord today. Okay. And we can call this one the story of my life. How's that? Is that good? <laughs> too real it's too real <laughs> hi moggy my little buddy boy you're in this picture and you don't like it yeah i know i know same it's, it was made about me clearly Whew. hi moggy man what's the moggy doing what's the moggy want say hi to moggy chat look at who is this it's the little man with the nice coat the little man with the nice coat. What you doing, little man? You trying to dominate? You trying to get attention? Because it's working. Manifest. He's, yeah, he is. <laughs> He's manifesting. Are you manifesting, you cute little monster? Oh, chat. Hi, Blurial. How's it going? Shockwave, how's it going? Da, 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 da. It's backed them into a corner. You don't think it's making the money hand over fist? Do 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 do. Man, I mean, you're you might be right though, but I don't. I like, yeah, I don't see how either. But maybe you're right. Who knows? What was I gonna show you? I was gonna show you ah something to do with Mog. For those of you that weren't here yesterday, he showed his true gremlin colors. Okay. Mog showed his true gremlin colors. So here you go. <laughs> He's such a gremlin. Uh, I'm good, Blurial. I'm always good when I get to hang out with everybody here. You know, that's like, that's my break. That's my escape from everything else. This is the best part of my day. Is getting to hang out with all you folks. It's pretty dope. They're releasing a new title this year. They're releasing a new title. They're re-releasing a lot of their old titles. They've offloaded a bunch of the IP they were making little to no money on to other companies, so they don't have to focus on that anymore. That's all good. The bad is the pre pe person in charge. That's I'm worried about. But there's a little gremlin. Look at a gremlin. That's what he looks like when he eats that stuff. He just goes full gremlin mode. <laughs> uh, what a cute monster he is. All right, Moggy, you want some treats? Would you like some treats? He would, because he's staring at his treats right now. Forspoken. I heard about that. I don't know who made that. Was that them? Or did they publish it? I'm going to pet you because you're a cute little gremlin. He said, don't touch me. No. He keeps pushing me away. <laughs> uh, okay, Mog. You want some treats? You got to let me get to my cameras here. Okay, there we go. Oh, he's got socks. Look at those socks. No, don't touch my socks. We're spoken with the studio that made Final Fantasy 15. What studio was that? They shuttered them due to it. Wow. I see. <clears throat> Luminous Productions, which was basically Square People. Come on, Mog. Back up. Back up. Good boy. Okay. Yeah, we needed to get him to back up. This thing doesn't focus very well, but it's good enough. Let's do this one. 
chicken recipe. Do the chicken recipe. You ready, Mog? Here you go, buddy. Put that on there. Wait your turn. Wait your... <laughs> There we go. Now you can see both cats snacking. Luminous Productions, huh? Keep that over there. You keep that over there. <laughs> Cat. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay. Good job. Good job, you two. You see how aggressive he is with this stuff? Get every molecule, not a single atom, speck, or subatomic particle of churu needs to be left on there. He will clean his plate. All right, kitties. Go about your day. Don't show them your butt. <laughs> Uh, they always gotta show the butt, you know? That's cat behavior. Like, look at this. It's called a butthole, and I'm showing it to you. Don't mind that it's an inch and a half away from your face. Do, 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 do. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Oh, dog's got something. What do you got? Well, that was a roundabout way to get there. Where is it? Oh, I was pushing the wrong button. Do, 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 do. Return to his hut south of the village. So I should do that, huh? Let's check for better armor. Purchase ingredients. Yes. Um, I changed my mind. Nah, I'm good. Pushing the right button helps. Hi, Neil Gunner. Mr. Id, how are you today? Do, 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 do. What'd y'all think of the uh, event yesterday? For those of you that saw it, of course. Where's the uh, armor merchant? Oh, I think they're over here. This guy. I never went in here. Interesting. Okay. Hi. Hi. Hi, Darkens. I did it strong armor. Leather collar. Eh, we're good. We didn't need armor in the last boss. We don't need to buy that. You're really there for the first half. You liked it? That's good. I, I don't know. I had a lot of fun with it. I wasn't as prepared as I wanted to be, but that's, you know, unavoidable. Boom. All right, I think the guy lives over here. Sport. It's a good sport noise, you know? Oh, doggy found something. What do you got? Clay. Nice. All these items I'm finding are alchemical ingredients used to cast spells. Nectar. Roots. Do, 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 do. Sleeping in the truck tonight because of traffic delays on I-80. With no AC. Oh. Yuck. That sounds lovely. At least it's not like super hot. Well, where we're at right now, it's like what? Shell hat. Like 70 degrees at the most right now. Right? It's like 70. Why is your AC broke, though? <clears throat> you fell asleep and missed pretty much all of it. Oh, that sucks. I wanted to do it on the day of, which is why I did it yesterday. The day of the anniversary. Back in business after that terrible experience. Thanks to you, I'm not a big bug's dinner. Cure formula. It will cure you from poison. Ooh, two parts root, one oil. 
Oh, I think Neo knows what the weather is like in Chicago area. In the summer, it's a hundred and the humidity is through the roof. It's pretty wild. We can buy oil on the cheap from him. Right on. Record progress. What is this? Oh, that was a random file we were doing. See you later. What you got, dog? What do you got? Nothing? Nothing. Okay. It's a good sock. Hose in the AC system. Got a hole rubbed into it. That's what she said. I don't know what that means. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, trashy. I want it. Let's go get it. How do I get it? Travel around. You generally don't want to miss treasure in this game because sometimes you can find weapons from what I remember. And or armor. Ow! Ouch! What's that? Oh, I already got it. Here we go. A pedal. Some ash. What else? Some water. Okay, I got a pedal. That's a healing item. I'll take a free healing item, right? No real complaints there. Ow! Watch Lester the Unlikely section while getting ready for work. Oh man, that game. That was when we were having technical difficulties. There's something with my AV setup that doesn't work with PAL games, and I'm pretty sure I know what it is. But I don't have time to test it until maybe the weekend. But I'm also not really, you know, wanting to really play PAL games. It was a very isolated scenario where there was an English release of a Japanese game that only came out in Europe, and it was really weird, and I wanted to play it for yesterday because it was all jank ps1 games so i changed the, the x station to go to pal and the result was that my av setup never couldn't interpret that video signal anymore that's my theory my working theory so we just went to super nintendo instead and then i watch games sometimes one of my mods she's like you could just try deleting the config file on it and it might just reset the f configuration and that's fine. Like, I was like, yeah, sure, I'll do that. Because if it doesn't work, all I would have to do is reinstall the firmware. No big deal, you know, which would have been like off stream, but it worked. That was the fix. It reset the config. <sighs> Mechanic a year ago, zip tied it to a bad spot when a radiator was replaced. Do you get like compensation for incompetence like that? Like, if you know for a fact, well, you'd have to be able to prove it, right? Hose is rubbing against the truck frame. Oh. Well, at least you know the fix is just a hose, right? Yo, what's up, Selnica? How you doing today? Apparently, the ash always respawns here. That's pretty cool. All right, we're gonna stay at the end, and then we're gonna move on to the next area. You know where secrets are, you're always welcome to tell me. Hello, I'm out. Sleep on my pelt. Dow Jones. This game was so good. I like it, yeah. It was good. It is good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Dow Jones with the year sub. How about that? Thank you so much. 
D and D session, huh? Very nice. Vernas. I haven't played D and D in over a year now. I want to say it's been over a year. I haven't played any tabletop in over a year. Dip shitty it. Yo, welcome back. How are you? What the hell just hit us? Oh, I don't think anything hit us. I think we hit it. Yeah. Okay. This is one thing about this game I love. Listen. It has such good ambient sound. For the Super Nintendo, this was like amazing. I'd never really heard ambient sound like this until I played this game as a kid in 1995. Clay! What do you got, doggy? Anything? Hopefully that's the only issue. Yeah. He's got something. Ash. You've been trying to play some more tabletop this year, but it's only been every so often. Yeah. I mean, I was in a campaign for a little while there on Runaway Robots channel. I don't know if that's coming back or not. Like, it ended on a high note. Like, it was the end of, quote-unquote, season one. But I don't know if it's going to continue or not. I wouldn't mind. I miss hanging out with those people. Sound on this game and the ambience were top-notch. Absolutely. They had a way of making you just feel like you were in those locations. Like, the big temples and caves just had that, like, open-air ambience. You know, that, that, like, background echo. Whoa! Those things will eat you! Holy smokes! What do you got, dog? Clay! Oh, I didn't want to go that way. Let's go back. I wasn't done exploring. Woof! Explore. What do we do with this? Hmm. I don't know. Alchemy? I think if it's... Oh, I think I need a specific spell for this. You've never seen this game before? No kidding! Oh, I'm happy to be able to for, be the first to show you. This came out after Secret of Mana. 1995 my understanding is it is the only title developed by squaresoft of america it's the only one they made and i'm guessing the reason they never got to make another game is because the heads of squaresoft in japan hated this game <laughs> they did not like it for whatever reason they were very much not a fan Oh, I already went in this corner. Okay. I don't think I went... Uh-oh. 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 There we go. Poor dog. Don't think I went this way. Oh, crap! Save me! <laughs> oh, that could have been bad. Found a pedal. Found herbal essence. The shampoo? <laughs> yeah, you can if you want to sell it. Because it's not my first play. Just no spoilers, right? Because there are people that haven't seen the game. But yeah, you can talk about mechanics. All that good stuff. Yeah, I hope you can get that fixed too, Neo. Do, 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 do. Oh, I see. Okay, it's you. What Square Enix will be like in 10 years is question of the night. Yeah. Companies focus on NFTs. You're worried they might be in a worse state. Yeah, that's my concern. <laughs> the Bob Ross of Pokemon. Smeargle? Reminds you of the OG Mana games. Right. That was the idea when they made this. Oh, I see. This just all goes to the same location. Okay. What about... I went that way. Right? This was a dead end, too. 
Oh, there's a cave. Interesting. Where is it, dog? There we go. Let's see what's in here. Hello. I buy and sell the finest armor. Oh, I'm glad I found this. Let's buy his shell plate. Okay. Cool. Oh, that was not worth it. It was literally just one extra TV. <laughs> Oh man, what a ripoff. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. What up, Suki Zero? It wasn't a flop, just we don't like it, so we'll forget it. Well, honestly, Suki, that's a good question. I don't think this game sold very well, is my understanding. But I also know that the heads of Squaresoft did not like this game. Just period. So I don't think it got very good marketing, if anything. Not sure. But suffice it to say that they never made another game again. Lift spell learned in Nobli Noblica. Okay. Got it. it's overpriced this didn't have a Japan release I thought it did it came out in November 95 near the end of the SNES lifespan oh yeah that is pretty late too like what was coming out around that time in 95 Luffy 2 right Luffy 2 might have been 96 even Kirby Superstar those games did alright well Superstar did really well I don't think Luffy 2 did well. Mostly because a lot of people didn't know what it was. Oh, check this music out. Wow, okay, these are strong. Roof! Ow! Splort! Oh, dog's almost dead. I don't have a healing spell. I do have petals. Aw, oh, man, what a waste. He just leveled as I killed that spider. When you level, you fully heal. <laughs> That's all right. That's okay. No regrets. Mega Man X3? Probably, Monty. Yeah. Breath of Fire was 95? No shit. Luvia 2 came out before this. Chrono Trigger was 95. Dang. I thought that was earlier than that. Two parts ash. Three parts spoopy horror music. Sport. What you got, dog? What do you got? Right here? No? What? Right here. Okay. He was a little confused, but we got it. <laughs> DKC2 is end in 95. Wow, okay. 95 sounds like it was pretty lit then. This was probably overshadowed then. With all of those titles in 95, this game must have just been completely overshadowed. Had it seen a Japanese release, it could top Secret of Mana. Maybe. I don't think this game would have been liked more than Secret of Mana. Splorch. Boy, he's going crazy with the sniffs. Luffy 2 was May 96, right after Mario RPG. Wow. Boop, boop, boop. I love it. He's finding me all the alchemy ingredients. More? Where? Oh, that bone. Okay. What? Oh, oh, cutscene. What is this? Hello? You trespassed in our bone land. Prepare to join the mammoths. Okay. 
I think these are the vipers they call them. Oh, they're hot pink. Watch out, dog. It's pretty strong. And he gets right in harm's way. What? Ow, what the fuck was that? What hit me? Oh, there's a guy up there. Wait, can I hit him with spells? Hold on. Viper Commander. I can. Okay, hold on. Here we go. You ready? that did he <laughs> oh no. all right he's joined the battle oh shit we're getting messed up now <laughs> oh boy let's heal up come on we gotta start getting some kills here. Boy, this is tough. Dude, dude. This is just a mini boss, too. There he is! Get him! Oh, I see. He jumps down and hits this. That's what we're getting hit by. So if we stop him, then we won't get hit by that. Dun, 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 Secret of Evermore had a lot of positive reception. Yeah? Yeah, I think it just kind of overshadowed them. What do you think, Suki? Oh, the dog's down. Dang it. He's a dog biscuit. Oof. Nope. Oh, I got it. All right, I'm going to use a pedal. I leveled. <laughs> Every time. Amazing. It's uncanny. Ooh. He's got a tongue. Uh, that one's got a tongue. Nice. I stopped him. See that? That was kind of cool. Come on, dog. Nice. Okay. You don't think it was overshadowed at all? It absolutely was, because it didn't sell well. That's what that means. It means that so much other shit came out that was more popular than it, that it was overshadowed. That's what I'm saying. Why, like, the question is basically why didn't it do well or even get a Japanese release, and my... The hypothesis is it got overshadowed by a bunch of other stuff that was coming out or had come out. Do 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 do. Dog's dead again. Dang. This guy's hard to hit. Come on. Oh. There we go. What? Crap. Another pedal. Boy, this guy's tough. Jeez. Nectar, I think, is a better heal. I feel like I should have a heal by now, but I guess not. There we go. Man. Oh, we got a spear. Nice. Check it out. It is pretty hard, Salem. Yeah, this game's definitely harder than Secret of Mana. What if this gate leads to the volcano? 
There's a dude. Thank you for fighting off those vicious vipers. Yay! Secret of Mana could be pretty tough too, Salem, yeah. Oh man, Darkens. Callous size, how you doing? Need lion? That roll attack? What's need lion? Those guys were vipers? Yeah, it's lizard people from the great volcano. Ooh. Raiding the graveyard for mammoth parts. Why are you going there? It's very dangerous. Fire Eyes told us about the volcano cooling. Fire Eyes, Fire Eyes, say no more. If you're a friend of Fire Eyes, then I know I can trust you. I should have used one of those cold beads. That would have been really nice there, huh? I always forget about them. Too many high profile games? Yeah, this totally got overshadowed then. That would explain it. <clears throat> that would explain it. <clears throat> I wonder if they have sales figures on this. <laughs> this is such cool music. Um, I don't see anything. It's got pretty middling reviews, too. Doesn't look like it. Nah, there's nothing really there about it. Japanese release was canceled, but it did come out in Europe and Australia. That's cool. Huh. Yeah, it's a cult classic. <clears throat> it was not popular. Hi, Turk Dog. How you doing? Yes, heal my wounds, please. Nice. You can use my heal formula. Oh, this is the heal spell I, I wanted. Sick. There you go. I want heal at the top. Yeah. Sniff quest. 2023. We're going to find ingredients. Do, do, do. Just got back from DQ to buy milkshakes. Nice. What'd you get? What's your favorite kind of milkshake? I'm basic. I always go with the vanilla. Bonus points if it's real vanilla. Right? So good. Oh, I haven't had one of those in years and years and years. Years and years and years. Bum, bum, bum. Whoop, oh, what do we got? Roots. We're going to need those for the heal spell. Hot fudge milkshake. Nice. Nice. Ah, oh, save me. <laughs> Who wants to get eaten by a plant? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's something here. That's a dead end. Okay. Get it? Don't just stand there. AI froze. Goofy dog. Found some water. Mm -hmm. The dog wasn't there. Would it be GG? I don't remember. I know this game has sh stupid shit like that sometimes, though. What do we got in here? Oh, hello. I'm old just like everyone else. I will stay. For 30 talents. Vanilla with chocolate sauce blended. 
Black and white frappe. Ooh, that does sound good, Salem. Vanilla milkshake is OP. Yeah. That's my jam right there. That's my jam. See you later. Thank you, old man who uses the same sprite several times in the game. Yeah, Shaku. I know. Cool, right? And, and that's not all. Wait, let me show you once I kill these, okay? You'll probably like this. You can hold L or R and he sniffs around. See? Oh, and he gets eaten by plants. <laughs> Let me get rid of this rafter. <laughs> oh, I like the spear, but it's hard to hit things with. So look, he just found something. What is it? Some water. See? He finds you ingredients for your spells. It's pretty awesome. Doggo finds things. 200 to 300. Yeah, that's pretty low for a game then. It's too bad. Ba, ba, ba. Who's that? Oh, is that Toki? Is that the litter mate? <laughs> is that like Toki? Yo, what's up, everybody? What's up, Astro? It's Toki. How are you doing? How you been? I see your thumbnails pop up on Twitch all the time and your tweets, and you always look bomb as fuck, all right? You're killing it. It's amazing. Thank you. Where's the alert? Where is it? Where's the alert? That should have been an alert. <laughs> oh my God. Hold on. Let's do that again. Simulate event. All right, let's go Firebot. Let's go. Let's go. Username, Ice Chunky, right? Sub plant. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Can we get this? All right. Here you go. Simulation. Here it comes. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> Five years. Five years. <laughs> yes. Welcome, everybody. I am Phenomenon. Welcome. I like the retro, the indie, the RPG, but mostly I like the conversation and the community and the connection. I hope you get comfy and enjoy yourself here. You know, you know, and I hope you had a good time with Toki today. What was she doing today? What were you doing today? Diablo 4, that's right. Yeah, I did see you playing. You like D4? You like D4? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. You like this game, but it was the start of your hatred for grinding. Oh, no. You like D4 until today. You got your asses handed to you by in the tier four world. Oh, boy. I'm I'm assuming it's pretty grindy. Is that like that's like end game? Is that end game at that point? I haven't played it, so I've just watched some of my streamer friends play it. I've watched who have I watched play it. Seamus, Penny, Meowie. Who else? I think I watched Smoke a little play a little bit. I have a dog. He sniffs. He sniffs. Play Nintendo. Play Nintendo. Not quite end game, but grindy. Oh, I All right. see. Nintendo, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. I didn't know you watched big channels like that, Monty. I don't even think I follow that guy. I should just to see what they do. <laughs> uh. Everyone's getting defeated by connection boss. That sucks. Can you imagine getting that far and then you permanently lose a character because of the internet? I can imagine it because it happened to me all the time in Diablo 2. <laughs> it was notorious for that. That's why people didn't like doing hardcore Diablo 2 back in the day. It wasn't because of the game. It was because they were afraid they were just going to lose their character from lag. That was the main reason people didn't want to do it. It was lag. It wasn't gameplay. Would it be Diablo if there wasn't lag? Well, at least they're on brand. <laughs> at least they're on brand, you know? Let's stick with what they knew. I'm, I'm being harsh. I, I am, but, you know, 
You're gonna poke fun at things sometimes. Telki, what's coming up for you? Are you going to TwitchCon? I'm assuming so, because it's like right next to you, basically, right? <laughs> I'm assuming so. You live there, right? Yeah, yeah. I thought so. I was, uh, I'm rooming with somebody you know, so. You, your name came up during that conversation when we were figuring out details. Do -do 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 -do. There's a clip of it like they should be able to revive his character. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be most likely rooming with Mamba, so we'll figure figure things out once I get there. Yeah, yeah, he was he was nice enough. You know, we talked. I was like, because he offered. I'm like, all right, let's do a call. Because I need to know I'm going to be staying with somebody. I need to vibe that out, right? You want to at least have a talk, a conversation with somebody. Like, hear a voice. And he's so fucking busy, it was hard to do that. But once we got that going, I was like, okay, this works. <laughs> uh, I was like, yeah, no, this works. This will be a good time. We're on the same page. We, we both do not want our hotel room to be party central. You know, it's, it's the, it's, it's the way to get away from all of that. So that's going to work out pretty well. Old man vibes. Hell yeah. Fuck. Yeah. It's going to be weird. I don't even know if I'll be drinking at that point. I'm still having drinks since December because of the the meds that I've been taking. Are you kids in your party stay off my lawn? Oh my goodness. <laughs> you were still on dial up during D2? I was sometimes too, yeah. Not even kidding. It was problematic. Very funny, Brandy. Very funny. No, don't eat my dog. Gosh, dog eating plants in this game. Oh, I just got, oh, I got him. Dang it. Let's see if this guy can help. Oh, that's not a guy. Stock up on life-giving items. Hi. I have one petal. Oh, you can only have six. Okay. Well, okay. Poor dog. That's my last biscuit. Let's go back to the inn. Oh dear. Yeah, stay away from that. I think it was what over here? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. We don't want to get eaten because I think that might kill you. I want to rest on your pouch. Ba ba ba. Yeah, I don't know, Salem. There's a 2k follow limit on Twitch. Really? What are how many people I'm following? Did you know that chat? Let's see. I think if I go to this webpage, I can find out. Following list viewer. How do I No, That's not it. Oh. Wait. Okay, that's not working. <laughs> Use commander root. That's what I'm trying to do, yeah. Following list. Let's see. Uh, oh, I have to click this button here. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's see. 1,507. <laughs> I'm following 1,500 accounts. Good Lord. Wow. I apparently followed someone back as early as 2014. I think that was when I was playing Path of Exile. <laughs> All right. You following me? Thanks. I'm a fanboy. I like following people. You know, it's cool. There's a lot of dope people on Twitch. What can I say? There's just a lot of dope people. 
These raptors fucking me up. Let's try this new cure spell that I keep forgetting I have. Heal. Oh, it ate my duck. <laughs> you see that I healed him while he was inside of the plant. Oh, no. Frames. 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 Uh-oh. Frames. Frames, what are you doing? Oh, man. I had to say something, didn't I? Disconnected. What the fuck? Is it... Fuck, the internet's fine. It's so weird. What the fuck? What in the world? You can? Okay. You can see my chat. My internet is fine. So what is Twitch doing? <laughs> What is Twitch doing? Ugh. Oh no, that probably reset my ad freaking things. Oh man, we're kind of back. It looks like it's bouncing around like crazy. So we'll just give it a minute or two. We'll give it a minute or two. We'll let it sort itself out. I was saying that earlier tonight that I've been having this almost every night where it like frames drop for a minute and then it stops and then that's it. Which makes me wonder if it's a Twitch issue at this point. Because my internet had no issues. No issues whatsoever. Like I went to web pages, no problem. Everything was fine. Oh, very strange. Very strange. Do, 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 do. Hoot hoot. You can catch your hoot hoot, I guess. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it does. Okay, it's still connected. It's still connected. Let's see. Is that connected? Yes. That connected? Uh, yeah. Is that connected? Yeah. I didn't like lose connection on anything except Twitch. Except Twitch. Nothing lost connection except Twitch. All my trackers, all my bots, web pages, chat, it was all fine. That's the first time I offlined. Yeah, I think it's a Twitch issue. Randy, you hope Square is able to put out all the Final Fantasy 7 in the next 10 years. <laughs> Randy, please. <laughs> Randy, please. Everything else was fine, yeah. It seems quite a well, no, it's not. It's still dropping here and there. It's not as bad, but I dipped the bit rate down just to wait and see if it stabilizes. Yeah, Suki, you're probably talking about me. I've had to do that at least once a year for five or six years. <clears throat> you still claim first since it sees this is a new stream. Yep. Which means the ad timer is going to be all messed up again, too. Oh, well. What can you do? We just run with it. We just run with it. Nope. Wasn't me. Then can you take the hint at what I was saying to you? <laughs> Hi. Hi. 
Yeah, I said hi back. Yeah, see, everything's still fine other than Twitch. It's really weird. Oh, we'll just give it a minute or two, see what happens. Go from there. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Pee -pee up. Uh, it sure is, Turk Dog. If I'm frozen on your screen, then that's on your end. That's not on my end. You just need to reload. That seems to happen a lot to people when the stream reconnects. A frozen screen means that it's your browser at that point. And you just need to do a quick reload. And since we don't have pre-rolls, it shouldn't, it should be an easy reload. You won't, you won't see ads or anything. Do, 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 do. What's not for you, Echo? Refreshed and good? Awesome. Good to hear. <clears throat> yeah, refresh usually clears it up. I've seen that a lot. And even then, you don't usually need to refresh. You just need to hit pause and play. And that f most of the time fixes it. If it doesn't, then you can do that force player reset button. It looks like kind of like a circular arrows on the video player you can do that on desktop i don't know how you do it on mobile if that doesn't work then yeah you got to refresh the page but it's usually one or the other we'll fix it now frozen for you right on you're not you're sub you shouldn't see them anyway correct yeah subs won't see ads period got rid of stone statue nice <laughs> Yeah, I'm just kind of eyeballing that right now because it's still dipping here and there. It's not bad, but I want to give it a little time to stabilize. For whatever reason, and, you know, fingers crossed, this is always cleared up after just a few minutes. Oh. What's up, Grambo? The only thing you remember about it is it was convinced it was a secret of mana sequel yeah i think a lot of people were erroneously convinced that it was because of the name <clears throat> so what i thought as a kid was that it was the same game engine somebody told me and even that wasn't it it was just designed to be like the same so i don't know regardless i like this game it's fun <laughs> do 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 you got a random, what? What does that mean, Echo? Interesting. Timestamp. Oh, interesting. Combat bar looks like a game you forgot name of. Combat bar. What is a combat bar? <clears throat> it was a timestamp, just a random timestamp, huh? I gotta see this. That's really unusual. Let's take a look. I just shit my pants. Yeah, that is weird. Wow, that's not even like close to what time it is for you. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Chat, look at this. Look at this. I've never seen that before. Look at it. It's just a randomly four o'clock timestamp in the middle of his chat. <laughs> the charge meter health thing, secret of mana. Yeah, that's the same. <clears throat> just a random four o'clock there for some reason. How strange. I've never seen that. I don't even know how you would begin to like diagnose that or like suss out what the hell that is. That's bizarre. Just came out of nowhere. Yeah, that's really weird. That's a new one. Same combat bar, same item select wheel. Same lot of stuff, right? Yeah, absolutely. Let's see. Are we stable? Mm -hmm. 
No, not yet. Like the connection box is like randomly going orange and yellow. But it's mostly not dropping frames. It's just showing that it's not stable. It's four o'clock somewhere. I mean, not really, but I guess. <laughs> I guess. Oh, I feel bad. Like Toki raids and then my internet's like, ha ha, sucker. Like, hey, come on. People are trying to have a good time. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> well, all right. At least on my end, things look stable ish. So I'm going to carry on at the reduced bit rate. Let me know if the issues grow more persistent. Okay. Let me know if that happens. Nice. Oh. Freaking raptors. Where's my dog going? It's my dog. Sniff controls. I love it, dude. I, I fucking love it. A game where you can make your dog sniff. Sniff out items and ingredients. Why don't more games do that? <clears throat> okay. No. Stop eating my dog. <laughs> dog is not food. What do you got, dog? Oh, water. So there's a path right here. Let's see where this goes. It still skimps every 30 seconds or so. It shouldn't at this point. Oh, I don't like those flowers or flesias or whatever, you know, yours is being flaky too. Okay. We'll pause it again. <clears throat> what is dog food made of? If not dogs, yikes, yikes. Oh man. Come on, Twitch. Let me play evermore. Let me do it. Let us play the Evermore. Almost every time I do an action, huh? Twins in. Yo, what's up, dude? Twins in. We're having a couple frame issues here, but we're fighting through it. Fighting through it. How are you, dude? How you been? How's the Twins in? Splork. You know, I don't know if I like this spear. It's hard to hit things. Can't carry any more pedals and... Oh, dang. All right, well, let's use one. Let's see, how's it looking? Whoa! Splork. 7474. Looking at how many frames have dipped. As a reference. Water. Oh, that's a lot of plants. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> I hate those things. Uh, you been drunk? Like... For the last several months? I mean, are you okay? <laughs> are you alright? Oh man, more? Jeez. Your character's wielding it like a javelin. Yeah. I don't think he knows how to hold it. Like, it's... It's a bit of irony to the spear in this game. It's a long-range weapon. And it seems to have the worst reach. 
Uh, twins, take care of yourself, man. All right, come on, come on, come on. We wanna, we wanna, we wanna make sure that you're, you're doing good. Strong for months. That's dedication. That's, uh, like, uh, don't encourage the man. <laughs> Don't encourage him. Let's see. Twitch inspect. I'm going to check the Twitch inspector real quick. Twitch inspector. What do you got for us? I got you. I've been there. That wasn't my last career, but it was the one before it. Unstable events. 1.3 minutes. Oh, uh, let's see. What do you got? I'm after the soap. Oh, shush you. This thing's trying to tell me all oh, audio video configuration issues detected. You are wrong, Inspector. You are factually wrong. Um, yeah, there's nothing really here. I'm seeing. Okay. Why are you at soup, by the way? This is what I want to know. <laughs> Excuse me. Why are you buying clothes at the soup store? Scratch that. Cheese for no one. Did you change jobs, Twinsons? Or was it just like a position in the company itself changed and that made things worse? Toasty. Toasty. Nice, Kenman. Thank you for the sound request. <laughs> Sorry for just sitting around here, but this is the longest I've had frame issues in a little while. So I'm, I'm trying to rough them out with all y'all. I hope you're cool with that. I hope we're cool with that. We'll get some music going and see if that helps in the interim. Scratch that. Cheese for no one. You also buy clothes at the soup store. Because Walmart sells soup, but it also sells clothes. The soup store. Flawless logic. No one can argue. Absolutely no one. <laughs> oh. Gotcha, Twinsons. Yeah, that's been hitting a lot of people, huh? I hope you can find something else. Hopefully you can find something else. Dang. What happened today? Do, 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 do. Either Twitch is clearing out bots today or I made a lot of people upset. Oh well. You well? Yeah. Yeah. You, you don't seem like the kind of person that just accepts your fate. <laughs> you know? You were you seem like the kind that works to improve things. Let's see here. Frames, stay put. The average age in your field was like 65. Wow. Everyone's about to retire. A lot of positions opening then. There you go. Splish. Splish. Do, 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 do. I'm going to give this like 20 more minutes or so. Because I'm pretty patient with this stuff. Usually we can power through it. I, I don't really know what it looks like to all of you right now. As far as like how stuttery it is. Let me pull up my channel actually. I just need to blur my eyes because I don't want to see the viewer count. Okay, cool. There we go. Let's see. Okay. No, I don't want to hear myself. <laughs> there we go. Uh, okay. I mean, it seems, quote unquote, relatively stable, right? It seems, it doesn't seem too bad. It doesn't seem too bad. Frames every 10 seconds or so? Okay. Doo 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 doo. Oh yeah, I see it right there. It's like minor stutters. Doesn't seem too bad though, does it? You're going to get your LS. What's an LS? 
Yeah, it does look like it's skipping some, but not a lot, right? Oh, that one looks pretty bad, actually. Oh, yeah, that's pretty bad right there. Do, 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 do. At least it's not skipping the audio. It's a little better than it was earlier. That's good. Man, I don't know what the deal is. If it's persistent, I'll have to start doing the, the, the whole song and dance with Comcast again. Freeze for a couple seconds, once or twice each minute. I'm trying to think, cause like when I've been in channels that have have this, been having this issue, I'm trying to remember how I handle it as a viewer, right? Cause I, like, I guess to me, it depend really depends on what is being seen on screen as to whether or not it's still fun to hang out. Right. Usually I stick around cause you can still hear the streamer. You can still talk and chat unless it's like literally just freeze frame, like one FPS nonstop. You hear me perfectly. Yeah. For whatever reason, like the audio. Well, the audio is separate from the video as far as the stream goes. Like, they're two separate feeds, I guess, in a sense. And the audio is such a lower bit rate that it almost never really has an issue. Started running around and felt like it get worse. I mean, that's a coincidence. The actual things happening in game are completely unrelated to internet. <clears throat> Oh, yikes, FNA. What do you mean by new mode, though? What is that? Zero frame drops. Your stream looks like you've entered the Twilight Zone. It sounds like you're just describing a different... Um what is that called it sounds like you're just describing a different rate control on the encoder which those have been there for a while unless you mean there's something else oh you say it's a beta okay there's a beta i wonder what that is then because that just sounds like vbr variable bit rate which is not good for a stream because viewers tend to get a lot of buffering when you use VBR. Could be the feeling because here you're mostly still and it's just a dog. We'd have to see if he teleports since its background isn't moving either. That's fair. Yeah, I'll, but like to my point, um, you know, for streamers out there or prospective streamers, there's a lot of misinformation out there about OBS settings and stream settings, especially on the Twitch subreddit. Oh boy, is that a breeding ground for just misinformation? Um, your bit rate. So real quick, since you can still hear me, just real quick, maybe you'll be interested in this. Your bit rate is basically how much data you're sending through the internet from your stream. That's it. It is completely agnostic of your CPU, your GPU anything visual whatsoever it's just purely an internet setting so you could have the best computer in the world but if your internet's shit it's still gonna look like shit because you can't put that much visual data through a low bit rate right so i have pretty good settings on this system right it's all dedicated to the stream but if the internet starts having hiccups Lowering the bit rate will not really affect how hard, or not at all, it won't affect how hard the CPU or GPU is being pushed. It's completely separate from that. It just means that I'm setting less data, which when you're having connection issues, that's kind of a way to compensate, right? But the downside is many of you as viewers have probably seen this before. When you go to a stream and let's say they're playing an FPS, right? Or some game with a lot of motion. Have you ever noticed that when there's a lot of motion, everything starts getting really blocky? 
I'm willing to bet a lot of you have seen that. Oh, so I need that water. What's happening there is most commonly their bit rate's too low. The, the amount of visual data they're trying to push through the internet with their bitrate setting is too much. So it compensates by making it look shittier so that it's easier to push that visual, those visual changes through a lower bit rate. <clears throat> like when fighting Gygus. Yeah, exactly. That's a bit of an extreme example, but yeah. <clears throat> do, do. Do, 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 do. So like for recordings, you can set it so that the bit rate is variable. Like it can use as much as it needs and as little as it needs, depending on what's happening on the screen. But if you do that in a live stream, the viewers are going to constantly buffer because their bit rates going like this up and down and up and down and up and down. <clears throat> it's like unwatchable. So you have to have a constant bit rate for a live stream. But the downside is with a constant bit rate, if your internet starts having issues then people just get freeze frames a lot. <clears throat> Dynamically change bitrate to manage congestion. Oh, that sounds like VBR. I would personally never want to use that. Oh, I see it in there. Yeah, in the network settings. I feel like something that like that would cause a lot of buffering for viewers. <laughs> Hold on. That's one of our old sounds. That's way too loud. Do, 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 do. Let's see. What's the volume out there? <clears throat> what's it at? Ba, 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 ba. Yep. That's way too loud. All right. Do, 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 do. Cool. Thanks. <clears throat> Thanks, Randy. Helping us narrow down those sounds so that they're all more reasonable volume. Also, chat. 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 Have we dropped any frames in the last few minutes? <clears throat> I haven't seen any. Have you? Have you seen any? No, Turk? <laughs> SOG, you haven't seen any? <clears throat> I think a lot of you have a lot of delay right now. Try to pause and restart the stream. You've been staring at your infinite fusion. I don't know what that is, but good luck. It says you only have 1.2 second delay. Do you, you haven't seen any? Okay. 15829 is the total drop frames in this stream. It's kind of a lot. Kind of. It really depends. Um, I put that in chat. So if that number goes up, we can reference it. <coughs> Have you seen this frame? They're missing. <laughs> All right, I think we can get back. Let's play some more, Evermore, okay? Let me know if you have any more issues. If you don't have any more issues for like the next five to 10 minutes, then especially let me know, okay? That way I can bump the bit rate back up to where it was. So yeah, let me know if you have any more issues of any kind and make sure everybody knows to refresh at this point or not just not refresh, but restart the stream. Just pause play. Right. What the hell is the dog attacking there? What in the world are you doing, puppy? Good day. I'm not sure I like this spear.
Oh, Slushy, you can't really see how many frames I'm dropping. Not realistically. You can only see, like, the disconnect between you and the, the actual video feed from Twitch itself. Woof. I know, you're looking at the advanced video stats, right? Woof. I don't know where I'm going. <clears throat> Ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da da. An evil capybara. I think it's like a frog or something. Is there a way to reset that for the viewer? Um, I don't think so. Maybe for the that force reset. Ow. Ow. There we go. Looks like a little refresh symbol on the video player. All right, I need to backtrack. It feels like I missed a lot of stuff. Ow! Heal. <clears throat> you don't know how correct it is? Not very. Come on, dog. There you go. Not very correct, no. It's... Yeah. I don't really know how to explain it. It's it's different. <laughs> and I know that sounds stupid, but... It doesn't give you a very accurate read. It's more... I think it's, it's like more useful for, oh, good Lord, these things are annoying for knowing if your internet is spotty to Twitch itself, as far as a viewer goes, it's not really going to tell you much about how bad mine is. Does that make sense? Play Nintendo? No. Hi option. How are you? How are you? We may have an ad roll start soon because of the disconnect. So if it does, I'm going to use the bathroom and get a snack but i'll wait and see what happens in the dashboard because it's All right. confused nintendo. We're gonna do this. it looks like it did just happen we're playing nintendo that's right that is correct by the way uh subs i'm about to sneak preview something for you in the discord sneaky preview okay all you all you lovely subs out there i do tend to give the the sub a dubs a little sneak previews of upcoming channel stuff channel stuff there we go Boop. there it is okay i gotta pee i'm the snack wow that was so nice it was so nice what turk dog what does that mean <clears throat> it looks like we're still stable all right Check out this cool video. I'll be right back. I'm going to be back with a snack. Looks like things are stable. Knock on wood. No drop frames since then. We'll see what happens. Time to take a kiss. <clears throat> Play your favorite sounds. Alerts. Whatever you got. Whatever you got. Solely searching for the father of your baby. Girlfriend while he was sleeping with Finn Nom. Finn Finn Nom. Men on. Finn Nom. Men on. Finn. I couldn't tell you like who started episode number 13. Shut up, Wesley. You know, in the second half, who was the main focus or anything Shut like up. that. Um, what I do is I Come love on. to read the books. Shut up, Wesley. The novels I haven't really gotten into yet. No! But like the comic book I read, uh, the old series I watch every night. Unless I have to get up real, real early for work the next day. Finn is Phil. 
filmed in front of a live internet Come back audience. Here. Afternoon, everybody. Phenomenon. Fintos, the fresh maker. Destroy the four dark shadows. Okay. How do I do that? I can't move. <laughs> Just <qu> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I bet my encoder is having a fit. <laughs> Comb your hair. Comb your hair for you. What you doing? Do you want attention, right? That's all you want. You want attention. Well, I got news for you. I'm playing video games, Critter. Look at how much she cares about the things I'm saying. <laughs> she literally yawned as I was talking. <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> Look at that cat. I'm like trying to tell her important shit and she's just yawn. Like, All right, bye. <laughs> Look at that cat. <laughs> <sighs> Any good clips while I was getting this? Went and got some, uh, some Madrinas here. Madrinas. So far, so good. Wasn't it first? Shut up, watch like, what's up, Dragon? How are you? Yeah, Shaku. She steals the show. She steals the show. Lickety split. The diva. Oh, the Superman clip? Was that the one where I got stuck underground? Accidentally? <laughs> <laughs> that was something else, I tell you. Stop touching me! Dog! Save me, dog! Yeah, I'd save myself. What do you got? Something? Clay. I think it helps to kind of just spam this, doesn't it? By the way, thank you for waiting through the ads, everybody. Appreciate it. And for the drop, through the drop frames is too. I know how much that can derail an experience, but it wasn't bad, right? So far, so good. You know, keep your fingers crossed. I don't know where I'm going, to be honest. We're seeing somebody change the resolution on Super Mario 64 like, and it made the view screen tinier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the in-game option there. I remember that. Oh crap, this is bad. Ow! Fuck! These things have no chill! <laughs> Jesus! Man! Okay. That was a sound. Received dino skin. Okay. I don't know why I got that, but cool. Is that, is that armor? Maybe that's armor. Oh, it is. Nice. Much stronger armor at that. Okay. That was worth it, huh? That was a nice little side, side, side quest. Something like that. The only hard thing in Superman 64 is playing the game. <laughs> Yo, Slushy, you're the first person to see that. I was wondering when someone would catch that. <laughs> nice eye. Nice eye. Boom. Ugh. Let's heal. Best prehistoric armor. 
What I'm trying to do is go the quote unquote wrong way. So I can make sure I get treasure. So hopefully this is the quote unquote wrong way that leads to treasure. Cause there was like a swamp area and then there's this area. Oh boy. Okay. Well, Ooh, what's that clay? It's a door maze. It's a door maze chat. Splork. It's a door maze. Found some water. Just carry it in your pocket. Yeah, that's where you put water. The lint helps flavor it. Where's this go? Okay. Does anyone know? Is this the quote unquote right or wrong way? I bet you. I bet you that it's the right way. I want to go to the way that has treasure. Because I'm what one would call a loot goblin. A petto. Water. Oh, I wanted to get up there. Oh, rude. We'll be the right way later. Huh? Uh oh, this is probably the wrong way. Dang. <laughs> Up you go. There's treasure to the right there. You see it? I wonder how we get that. Look at that. Spooner! Found water. Hmm. Well, this isn't panning out, is it? You know, I do vaguely remember something about this. At some point you step on one of these and it just sends you into the atmosphere. Right? Maybe we're not at that point yet, are we? Like it just sends you sky high. Hydrate? Okay. You got it. You got it. All right, Chad, I'm going to take a risk, a quote unquote risk. I'm going to bump the bit rate back up. Hi. Hi. Hi, Armis. Here we go. Let me know if we have any issues, okay? <clears throat> Let me know if you encounter any issues. And thanks for your patience. Y'all are too nice to me. Hi, I'm Lick. Hi. Hi. Let's see which door. Let's go in this one. That didn't work. All right, I guess we just got to leave here. There's nothing happening here right now, is there? Nothing. Wait, can I get right there? <clears throat> Where does this go? Yeah. Right here. Where's this go? Oh, that was what I was talking about. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hello. That sprite looks cool. <clears throat> Another fine blend. Nice nose. Good color. Uh, hi. You wouldn't know how to get into the volcano from here, would you? Volcano? No, no one but that. The way that would turn an adventurer to ash and molten bones. It looks like we're standing on the volcano. <laughs> Pardon me. The only way I know to enter is the volcano is straight into the crater. Of course, come to think of it, you could try the catacombs at the base. I've seen a passage, but it's blocked by a big rock. Levitation. 
Yeah, there you go. There's a levitate formula. Mud pepper and water. Travel to the east from the base of volcano. You'll find mud peppers in the swamp. Oh, that's why you go there. There it is. That's it. He sells clay, ash, water, and wax. Cool. Nice. And he saves. See you later. How do we get down? Um. Oh, God. <laughs> you just fall off. <clears throat> you just jump off the mountain. No big deal. There we go. Oh, those raptors. They're tough. What was in here? Oh, that's where I got the armor, right? I like the alchemy system too, Armas. Like, I get that it's all ingredients based. So it requires, you know, having ingredients, right? Which initially would seem annoying. But honestly, you get so many, it feels like you don't have to grind unless you just want to spam spells nonstop. So it gives you that choice, but doesn't force it. And then I do like that there's some rare, rare ingredients, you know, like some of the ingredients are rare and they're used for really strong spells. So there's that little bit of scarcity involved that makes it the it's almost like using items, you know, in an RPG. It adds that decision-making process. Ow! Stupid raptor. All right, let's go. Yo, Brimmy Hart, how you doing? Good to see you. Nice, I got him. Nice one shot. Let's see what's up here. How do you get down? Jump to your death, you know? I remember what this is. <clears throat> Dog, what are you sniffing here? Oh, okay. This is where you land the airship. That's it. Otherwise, there's nothing. What do you got, dog? Four parts clay. I think it's underrated. It's it's certainly like a cult classic. You know, much like Earthbound was. There's a lot of ingredients here. Oh. No, that was just random. Okay. <clears throat> you won't use items in case you need them later and eventually outlevel the health items. I think a lot of people do that. I've stopped doing that in games basically all the time because I would beat the game and have all these items that I never fucking used right so I was like what's the point I always hoard these items I never use them I get through the game no problem I might as well just use them literally anytime I need them and the result is that I still almost always have what I need anyway so <laughs> I just use them now. Oh, this is just treasure. What are these things? Frogs, right? Some kind of frog. Oh, we can find out actually by targeting it with a spell. Let's do that. They are Frippo. Okay, that's Frog Hippo. <laughs> Whenever you need those 99 health potions later, then you buy more. <clears throat> you buy as necessary. You don't hoard. You, you play the game however it works for you, right? You play the game in the way that you want to play the game. But yeah, I, I stopped hoarding items. 
in RPGs entirely. Because it would just constantly have tons of items. I'm like, I might need this later. Not really. It just, I need it now, so use it now. <laughs> oh, that was a pedal. I could have used that. That's all right. Not cool as Tank Turtle and Metal Max. Metal Max Returns? Man, that was cool. <clears throat> boop, bloop, bloop. Frippo. Nice. Good job, doggo. Some wax. I was trying to kill the bug and I found water. That works, I guess. What is he doing? He keeps like spinning around. Oh, I think it's because the enemies are nearby. <clears throat> nice. What if I need that minor health potion that restores 20 health and my health is now in the thousands? Exactly. <clears throat> Just spam the damn things. Items that record, restore MP, use it. Poison. Ooh, okay. Is that the dog? Yeah. Whoa. Okay. I didn't know it was going to do that. Sorry. That was kind of blinding. Found a biscuit. Nice. I needed that actually. <clears throat> now, here's an interesting question. What? What games are there? Have you played any R like RPGs or games like that where consumables were like, if you're not using them, you're dying. You know what I'm saying? I kind of felt that way in uh, Final Fantasy V when we recently played that. <clears throat> like, it felt like I needed to be using those items a lot of the time because I was just getting my ass kicked. And they they were saving me. Elixirs, ethers, you know, Phoenix Downs. Whatever healing items I could find. <clears throat> I was using them a lot. I like those video wizard, the percentage based health restores. I like when games do that. Splork. Aw, oh, dead end. Darn it, Bobby. Frippo. What a name, huh? Well, that's probably a pedal. If it's not, doesn't matter. Well, it's 20 talons. Talons is currency. I approve. Some oil. Oh, he's poison again. Dang it. <clears throat> All right, let's fix that. Levitate, I can't cast. All right, it's gonna flash chat. Mind the flash. There it goes. What do we need for levitate chat? <clears throat> we need, oh, the mud peppers, right. That's why we're here. Interesting. Progression here is actually based on killing enemies. Wonder if it's just the frippos. Could be. Dago has leveled up. Damn, he does a lot of damage. What I want to know is why he can power up his attacks and I can't. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to change that question because it sounds like there aren't any games that any of you have played like that. So let's see. Surprisingly. <clears throat> 
I thought for sure somebody would have one. Um, let's see. What's that? Well, it's just all talons. All right, we're getting money. Woo. Did you know there's a mod for this game now? A ROM hack, as you would. A ROM hack. That lets you play it two player. As if it was always meant to be. Like, I don't know why it never had it to begin with. Secret of Mana had three player. There's a lot of bugs in this swamp. How dare they be accurate? All right, let's go this way. <clears throat> one question? Yeah, it was just the one I just asked. It's all right, man. No worries. No, it didn't have a two-player. You want a gender swamp mod? Make it. Be the change you want to see. <clears throat> yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying, Shaku. I don't think any of you have played one. <clears throat> The only one I could think of was Final Fantasy V, and even then, it wasn't exactly required, but man, did it make a huge difference. Found some nectar. Good, good. Uh, we should heal up here. Yeah, we gotta kill the frippos because they're making lily pads appear sometimes when we get rid of them. Oh crap! Flashing. Boy, I'm glad games don't do that as much anymore. Chat. The white flashing. They used to be really bad back in the day with that. Roots. Splork. Two parts clay. Three parts oil. You think the Final Fantasy 1 and 2? Ooh, one's a good one. Yeah. You use potions like they're candy in that game. You like have to. <clears throat> Eat items quite often in Crystal Project. Why don't I remember doing that? I don't know. The game was pretty good, though. I didn't beat it, though. It was good, just really unbalanced. This is an interesting game. Almost all of the assets visually in that game were like, what do you call it? Like pre prepackaged assets. What is that? Like where you buy assets, you know, to use for a project or whatever. Like most of the sprites. <clears throat> Final Fantasy three. You needed items as well. I see. Found some oil. I think I just went backwards. Did I? No idea. Yep, sure did. Okay. Sure did. Okay. Let's go back. Oh man, the enemies are aggressively respawning too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Splorch. It's a splorch. What do you got, dog? Something? Here. Where? There's nothing. There's nothing here. What is he sniffing? <laughs> I don't know. 
Sometimes he gets stuck. I think that's what's happening. Yeah, video wizard. Yeah. It was too unbalanced at that point. Elden Ring with the build you went with. I did. I. I. That's what I love about Elden Ring SOG. It facilitates so many play styles. Like for example, when I played it, I used the two starting scimitars the entire game, never cast a spell once, and barely used items. I've seen people play through that game where they're just spell casters. <clears throat> I've seen hybrids. I've seen people do like no hit builds or whatever. Just all sorts of goofy stuff. The game just lets you play basically any way. All right, I'm done with this spear. It's fucking awful. <clears throat> this thing has no reach. It's a spear. Why does it have no reach? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Ooh, a call bead. That's good. How could the spear be so weird? Like bad in this game. Great replayability on Soulsborns. Oh, tell me about it. What do you all think of Soulsborns? Or Souls likes even. Souls likes. If you don't know what that means. I mean, simply put games like Dark Souls, right? <clears throat> Games like that, that whole like brutally difficult action RPG, open world-esque exploration, you know. What do you think of those games, kind of games? <clears throat> do, 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 do. You still gotta do Elden Ring? It's my favorite, Soulsborne. You've managed to avoid major spoilers? I mean... Let's be fair, Shaku. It's a Soulsborne. The story in every single one of them is so inexplicable. You have to do research to understand it. Spoilers has really never been a concern with those games. Other than, hey, I don't want to see this boss yet because I want to experience it myself, right? It's really hard to spoiler a game like that. Because <laughs> they're all like intentionally obtuse in their lore. To the point where people have, like, dedicated YouTube channels trying to analyze the stories of those games because they're so esoteric. Which I think is kind of fun in a sense, but... Like, I like the stories in the Souls game. I understand most of them. But not without effort. <clears throat> the one that uses dragon spells and white samurai armor. Oh, I know. I don't know what that armor is, but I know what the spells are. <clears throat> it's a failure of a spear. It really is. Bow builds? Uh, I think I saw Old Man Sethus do that. He beat... What's her name? The... The boss to beat doing that. I forgot her name. The redhead. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> you know, the story is disappointing. I thought it was good. I mean, I thought it was good. I didn't think it was as good as Dark Souls or Bloodborne, but I thought it was good. <clears throat> but it was by far the best game to me of the whole franchise. Arth, why are you singing Eddie Money right now? <laughs> That's who that is, right? Ugh. That song got famous purely on its refrain. <laughs> Back in the 80s when you could be a late 30-something white dude who really wasn't that attractive and still become like a multinational pop star. <laughs> it is 80 money. Yeah, there you go. You want Bloodborne to be on PC? Pfft. Dude, people have been singing that tune for years and years and years now. I don't know if it's ever going to happen. Sony has an iron grip on that IP. 
They just do not want to let go. Spoiler, there is no story in Elden Ring. There definitely is. It's just like every Souls game. It's behind the scenes. <laughs> it's behind the scenes to put it succinctly, I guess. I tried the demo for Lies of P. I don't know what that is. No. What is that? Looks like we found the right way. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Oh, that's scary. That's like a giant python or something. You want to tolerate any money hate? Who's hating? Sorry, Sony ain't ever put Demon Souls or Bloodborne on PC. Right, Demon Souls. How long has that been out? 15 years? Something like that? Maybe 10? 10 to 15 years? You wanted to see what the bot would say. Fair enough. 1986 rock hit, rock hit. Express, expressing romantic desire and yearning for companionship. <clears throat> it was a catchy tune, wasn't it? You were kidding. Oh, okay. Couldn't tell. Hi, Wickedy Split. Who's a cute old gal? That's you. You're a cute old lady. You want to lay down? You want me to make some room for you? Yeah? Who's a nice old gal who steals the show? Is that you? Okay. You can sit down. You can lay down. Go ahead. She wants to. There she goes. There you go, kitty. Okay, that's your desk now. Let's look at Split's desk now. <clears throat> I didn't, yeah, I didn't even know it had those, SOG. I never do completionism. Legendary weapon, huh? Somebody was like, someday PCs will be good enough to emulate it. True. Does that get too weird into emulation territory? What do you mean? It is terrifying, Shaku. That's like this is impressive graphics to me. That snake for Super Nintendo. Like, look at that. They managed with just this sprite and a couple frames of animation, made it look like slithery and shiny, you know, and slimy. Really impressive artwork. I I love seeing stuff like that. I like I just you know this is like one of the, my favorite things about video games is finding those little details that are often overlooked, like just that right there. That like three frame animation or whatever it is terrifying and impressive at the same time. It's a really nice touch. I like that kind of polish. I love seeing stuff like that in games. Um, emulation of PS3 is a really good place right now, Shaku, if that's what you were asking. You can pop your Demon Souls disc into your PC, run it on an emulator, and it runs really well. Or you can rip the... The, the image from the disc and run that image instead if you want. I tested Demon Souls emulation four years ago. Yeah. And it was staggered how good it ran. I was blown away. Could not believe how good it was four years ago. I imagine it's only gotten better. Pinocchio Bloodborne like game. Well, I'll have to look into that one, Fenrir. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Demon Souls was 2009, so 14 years. <laughs> wow. 14 years. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, Noel. It's a bit subversive, isn't it? Yeah, Noel says Souls. The interesting thing about Soulsborne games is it's stereotypical hero's journey, but in a broken world where there are no heroes. Yeah. It's an interesting subversion. Whoa, look. There's more of it up there. Oh my god, that's scary. <laughs> Let's do a quick heal. <laughs> it's, I mean, it depends on the system, Noel. Emulation with original disc, but that's been possible for probably 20 years. Because I used to do that with PS1 discs on my PC in college. Like 05, 06. I think it was called EPSXE. 
was the PS1 emulator. I'd put Final Fantasy Tactics in the PC and it would just run off the disc. So yeah, that's been a capability depending on the emulator, of course, for quite some time now. Worth looking into. It just, I guess it just does depend on the emulator though. So, you know, they have to actually have that functionality coded in. You were saying a couple days ago, Lies of P version of Pinocchio would fit well in a future Soul Calibur. Did the boy just yawn? I do think this has idle animations, yeah. Remember using a disc-based emulator for your copy of Chrono Cross and it like could even make it look better. Yeah. Quote unquote better, right? Yeah. Like it could use like anti-aliasing and smoothing filters and things like that, right? A lot of emulators can even upscale now. So like old 3D games. You actually see people do that with like Switch games. Like Breath of the Wild. There's like you can go on YouTube and find 4K upscale videos. And that's not done in post on the video. Like that's the emulator running it that way. It's pretty wild. Bleem, that was a paid PS1 emulator, wasn't it? I remember Bleem. I never used it because it was paid. You used EPSXE a ton in college when your roommate was using the TV. Nice, Heimlich. How are you, by the way? I don't know if I said hi to you yet. I know there are much better PlayStation 1 emulators now. Much, much better. What is the one most people use now? Mednefen? Is that it? I'd have to ask. I watch. She's an expert on this stuff. I don't remember anymore. Because I don't use emulators a lot, right? It's very rare that I use emulators. I think I've used an emulated game. I've played an emulated game once in, on the channel in like the last two or three years. Oh, you going to get that post again, Lickity? Yeah? She's in a mood. Let's see if we can get her. Get that post. Get the post. Get the post. Is that your post? Yeah? Get it. Yeah? You excited? You want to get to post? What are you doing? <laughs> She's having fun. It's nice to see the old gal run around and claw stuff up. <laughs> RPSC3 is great for PS3 games. Nice. Use RetroArch or Duck Station for PS1. So the thing about RetroArch that's easily misunderstood, and I had this misconception for years, was RetroArch isn't an emulator. It's a front end or a platform and you load emulation cores into it, which it basically automates almost entirely, doesn't it? But RetroArch itself isn't an emulator. Like the way I view RetroArch is it's like the PS3 of emulators because it's UI, I think, was designed to look like the PS3 um, OS. So like it's just there to load the emulators and organize everything for you in an easy way and then like auto set up things like controls and stuff and it, it does that really well i really like that about it to the point that if i ever need to test a game via emulation i use that because it's fast i'm a ps3 oh thanks that means i'm a that means i'm a nice combination of modern and old <laughs> oh man what's up water maven eyes are huge wait were there eyes what eyes? What eyes? Where are these eyes? Do you mean on the screen? Where? This is creepy. Giant snake. Are you talking about the cat? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. When she was playing, yeah, she had the big eyes, yep. This looks like a boss encounter, doesn't it? Oh, it looks like maybe not. Oh, look at that. Hey, kid, give me a hand with the snake. It's getting out of control. Wow, that's a big one. Sure. Whoa! Oh, aren't you cute? Twelve. Twelve. This is dope music. Where is it? What the fuck? 
All right. Damn it. That didn't work. What? That's not what I wanted to target. <laughs> Solid blog. Sixty. Very nice. Oh, it only did zero. Okay. Very nice. It's it's farting fire everywhere. It's like over fifty feet long, at least, right? At least. No, stop hitting me. Salabog. Spamming spells. Here we go. <laughs> I think what I'm doing there is a glitch, but it is a lot of fun to do. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not complaining. <laughs> oh. There we go. There we go. I don't know how much I got left of this, but I'm going to spam. There we go. Ooh, it leveled up. You see that? Oh, my face. What else we got? Acid rain. Let's do it. Oh, I was stunned. How much damage? Five? Okay, I guess we're doing this the old fashioned way now. <laughs> Very funny video wizard. Snack, snack. 13. Oh, I thought I could hit it twice. Ooh, Doggo's almost dead. Shoot. What? What are you meowing at? She's like, meow. And, oh, oh, that was weird. <clears throat> She went off somewhere. I think she heard something and she had to go investigate it aggressively. Come on, snack. Nice. See that little counter I did there? That was pretty good, right? You should be proud. You should be proud. You should be proud. Okay. Ow! Stop touching me! Woof. Imagine fighting like a hundred foot no, long snake you. that breathes fire. <laughs> That's not really a good situation to be in. What's up, box kid? How are we doing? How are we doing? 91. Whoa. I think the dog hit him. That wasn't me. That was doggo power. Oh, bad hit. Miss. There we go. Damn. Need to heal. What's new with you, box kid? <laughs> How's your uh, new clean setup treating you? With your 8 million PCs? Ow, he bit me. Uh-oh. Oh dang it. I thought I was out of the way of that. Wow. Ooh, my heels are getting a lot better there. 57. Oh. Oof. Thank you. 
Oh, oh I missed. I keep missing. Get him, dog. Oh, boy. We're a little boxed in here, huh? There we go. Heal up. New setup is sweet. Made rebuilding the computer so easy. Nice. They increase as you use them. Yes, correct. Just like Secret of Mana. Same style. Same for weapons. Same for weapons. Although none of my weapons have leveled up yet. Oh, you missed, dog. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> can't charge yeah oh right on my face oh that's bad stun lock stun lock uh oh i might be in trouble here oh we survived it okay Whoo! body hurts come from all the uh moving stuff around So is this like you guys can copy whatever you want for secret or mana? I don't know. I don't really know what the deal was with that. Maybe. Which. Wait. How do you phrase that? Is it actually copying if it's the same company? I guess technically it is, right? It is, right? But it's copying, but not plagiarizing, right? Whoa, nice hit. Oh, we can finally charge up the axe. Okay. That's big. Come on. 45. Look at that. Yeah. <clears throat> Work and moving stuff. Not great for your back. Jeez, just imagine if it was like a few years ago box like before all that stuff dude you'd be on your back <laughs> right it was square yeah you probably gave him the source code to mess with that's what i'm wondering because of how similar it is right i've had someone tell me it wasn't the same engine though which i find hard to believe but i also have no reason to disbelieve them missed. I missed. Dog is dead. That's not good. Nice. Oh, dang it. That wasn't nice. That was not good, actually. Wow. We fucked those things up. <clears throat> this is not the time to be sniffing, dog. Come on. Come on, snake. Ah! Oh, he got a hit. Did you see that? 90 some damage? I should heal. I'm getting a little reckless. Oh, he's on the other side. Come on. Nice. I got 50 damage on him. This thing has got a lot of hit points, doesn't it? Forty-seven. <clears throat> this seems to be the play here. Forty-two. Okay. It was better than the, like the teens damage I was doing before. Whoa. Ow! I didn't realize he could come out and attack that fast. 45. This thing, man, this has input buffering, I just realized. You see how I swung my axe after the stun stopped? I pushed that like a second before. 60, there you go. 
HP is a little bloated on this boss. I could see why I used to spam spells on bosses in the, in, back in the day. It's a time-saving measure. <laughs> uh, that's what it is. 57. <clears throat> Sixty, still going. Good lord. Well, there it is. Come on. Whoa, eighty-seven. Still not dead. Everyone stacks spells in this game. It almost feels like you have to. <laughs> Whoa, I gotta heal soon. I gotta heal soon. Right now. Heal right now. Alright, pushed the button two seconds ago. There you see. He swung his axe. Input buffers. That's interesting. Still not dead. Wow. Woof. Nice, I got him. I didn't think I was going to hit him. That was a lot more reach than it looked like. This thing dies someday, yeah. The Energizer Snake. <laughs> That's an old reference. How about that one? Nice. Took the hit to dish it out. <clears throat> Come on, snake. It's still alive! <laughs> Good God! Will you die already? Whew! This is like an early boss, too. I hope I'm not doing something wrong. Maybe it just does have that much hit points, you know? Oh, poor dog, poor dog. Heal up. <clears throat> If your snake lasts four or more hours, can contact your doctor Die, immediately. Monster. That's right. You tell him. You tell him, Alucard. Come on. Are you going to attack or not? Yes! Fuck off! All right, we got him. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> 24 hours later. Very funny, Chav. <clears throat> How you doing? Or is it Shava? <laughs> that thing was even more hideous than the monk monster in the sickening of Slime City. And of course. 2,000? Wow. That's uh, that's like 1,400 too many. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> do, 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 do. Thanks for the GGs. Nudge stop Armis Twafo Video Wizard Heimlich Turbo Gyrock Rico SOG Black Skin Hell yeah Hell yeah That was a big snack Thanks to you it sunk for sure Good job You're welcome uh, No problem You can call me Blimp What a name I work with swamp gas and fume bugs Oh, that explains the stench. Mm, I haven't noticed. <laughs> okay. You smell blind, you know? It's not the great caverns of Makanda, but it's home. Well, if you like mud walls and leaf floors, it's pretty nice. I don't have much to offer in the way of thanks for saving my hut. But I would like for you to have. That's not it. It's a rupee. It's the big key. I can't see how this would be of much use to you. What's with the Zelda references? A still beating heart. Nice, but not what you need. <laughs> there it is. Mud peppers. Very funny, Selnica. Nice computer you got here. <laughs> mud peppers have special qualities if you know the right formula. Would you like to rest? Oh, yes. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. 
Oh yeah. Nice computer. Record your progress. Yeah. See you later. I need more mud peppers. No. No. Like, okay. I think you get one mud pepper. Yeah. They must be really rare. Really rare. Dog, what are you doing? Okay, there's nothing in here. Exceptionally rare. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. So the mud pepper is going to let us do the levitation alchemy, which will allow us to get into the cave, which leads to the volcano and then the volcano's core to find out why things are getting cold. That's the quest. It all leads to that. I'll give you another if you use it right. Right. Splork. I wish there was a quicker way to get back. Was that a treasure I missed? No, I got it. Okay. Cool. Should actually be pretty quick to get back. I think there's like shortcuts. Shortcuts like right here. No. Where was that? Well, now I don't recall. Oh, here we go. There we go. Yeah. Ow. Stinking frippos. Stinking frippos. A reverse volcano? That probably didn't make any sense, did it? Yes, I'm investigating a volcano because we believe it is the reason things are getting cold. Or more accurately, the volcano itself is getting cold and things are getting cold. And we're trying to find out why. Does that make more sense? I probably explained it better that time. <laughs> the volcano is a source of geothermal heat in this region and it's cooling down. We're investigating that. That probably makes way more sense. Also, ads are about to begin. That means it's food time. Charge. <clears throat> I like the dog in this game. He's so cool. They just wanted to make out like bandits. Right. They were only thinking of themselves. That's it. They were thinking of no one but themselves. So to me, they're just as bad as him. Oh no, save my dog. <clears throat> oh, those raptors, man. Those freaking raptors. They are mean. <clears throat> Thanks for uh, sitting with me through the intermission, folks. Appreciate it. I needed to just not be sitting down for a little bit, you know. I think that'd be a healthy alternative <clears throat> to just sitting here the whole time. Sex bots? Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. At first, I'm like, what the hell are you talking about, FNA? And then I realized anytime I go to my other message requests on Twitter, it's just full of bots now. It's so bad. It's worse than it ever has been. It's pretty wild. <clears throat> Blue sky isn't going to help. I haven't really, I tr like, I tried to get an account on there, but there's like a waiting list, so I don't know anything about it. <clears throat> we didn't take the massive offer. Stakeholders could hold a vote, oust leadership, and replace them. I thought they were the primary stakeholders, so I don't think that was possible. Too much of a man child to sell it? Probably. Who knows? They made him buy it for five times more than it was worth. I think it was valued at like realistically like 15 billion, something like that. And he paid what, 48? <clears throat> Yo, Dax Jackson. Thanks for the raid. Oops, I already went in here. Oh, wait. What do we got? 
I can buy items. Well, okay. I don't know what pixie dust is, but I'll take one. Dax Jackson, welcome everybody. Thanks for picking my channel. How was your retro stream? What were you doing? I'm playing Secret of Evermore for the first time in five years, I believe. You want to know how I can find out the last time I played Secret of Evermore? I look at my mod Blue Sammy's account and I see what day he followed. And that was the last time I played it. Because <laughs> that's how he found us. You like this one, Axiom? Yeah. I think it's pretty good. Honestly, I think this game's underrated. <clears throat> I think it's underrated. Let's see. When did you follow, Sammy? You followed March 2nd, 2018. Just over five years ago. <clears throat> just over five years ago. Yo, thanks for the follow. We got those anonymous follows here. Got those anonymous follows here. <clears throat> Wait, it says 815? Where does it say that? It says following since March 2nd, 2018. Well, now I'm confused. Huh. Sammy unfollows and refollows every time Finn beats SOE. Very funny, Reg. <laughs> you never played this, Dax? Did you ever play Secret of Mana? It's the same gameplay. Same company, so not that surprising, right? Not that surprising. We go this way now, right? No, 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 we go this way. I'm going the wrong way. Well, yeah, welcome everybody. I hope you had a good time with Dax. What was it? Dax, did you say what you were doing? You were bouncing around games you never play and it on Panorama Cotton. What is that? I never heard of that. Panorama Cotton. You may have clicked the wrong name. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay. Right on. <clears throat> right on. I would like for you to record my progress. But yeah, Dax, thanks. You were a Genesis kid, so you missed all the SNES classics. You know? That's something we have in common in, in that I was a Nintendo kid, so I missed all the Sega classics. Other than a few my cousin had. That was it. I got to play him at his house sometimes. What did we play together? We played a lot of Sonic 2 together. There was also this other game he had called like... The word Carnage was in it. It was like a army simulate war sim with really good animation. Like honestly it was pretty like pretty visually impressive game. I don't remember what it was called though. <clears throat> we liked that game. We played that one a lot. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Level 230's max. Yes, it has been for about four years. Maybe longer. Because I haven't touched it since then. And I don't plan on it. <laughs> it was just too much to keep up with for something that wasn't really used. So, like, okay. Well, 230's. The f we'll just cap it there. It's fine. Maximum Carnage? No. No, that's not an army war sim game with good animations. Maximum Carnage is like a... 2D side scroller about the Marvel character Carnage. <clears throat> it's a space harrier style shmup with a cute little witch. Oh, interesting. What'd you say was the name again? Pan Where is it? Where is it? Why don't I see it? Panorama Cotton. Gotcha. There it is. By the way, it looks like our ad roll is about to begin. We have three minutes of up to three minutes of ads run every hour we had a disconnect earlier so they're on a weird timer now um but if you're not subbed you may see up to three minutes of ads i always pause gameplay so you don't miss any but the upside is never pre-rolls so for whatever reason you disconnect or need a refresh you won't see pre-rolls and we're all on the same page too <clears throat> total carnage maybe that's it maybe that's it did I play it a couple days ago? Um, are we getting into semantics again here? 
Or what are you asking me? I don't understand. I don't really want to argue semantics right now. You look at the levels, there's an overall story. Yes. Yes. Correct. Was it an overhead perspective? No, it was isometric, Chibi. It was isometric. Total carnage. Was that it? Let's see. Let's see. I mean, that's it. All right. Total carnage genesis image. Is this it? Is that it? That might be it. Yeah. No, that's not it. That looks like a, like a running gun. That's not it. No. What the hell was it called? I got, I totally have the wrong name then. <clears throat> yeah, this isn't even the right system. Yeah, that's, that's Super Nintendo. Carnage Genesis. There's a good good chance I have the name completely wrong then. I'm sorry. Let's see. Let's see. Sergeant. Maybe Sergeant. Was in the name. Nope. What the fuck? <laughs> Safe search on. Okay. Major. Nope. Genesis game. Okay. What do we got here? Let's find this. Let's find this. <clears throat> Let you over the whole thing. You remember I played this previously. Um. Oh. There's a there's a chance that somebody made me play this game for 30 minutes during a raffle night. Do you count that? Because I don't. <laughs> And that would have probably been several years ago. Because I don't count that as a playthrough. I haven't played through this game since it came out. So no. Again, I really don't want to argue semantics about this. I can't find this. Where is it? Is that one picture of Kid Chameleon? Um, I don't know. What does that look like? I have that. I haven't played it yet. I have Kid Chameleon, but I haven't played it yet. Total Carnage is a run and gun similar to Smash TV. Right. Wrong system, wrong game. So that wasn't it. So what what I'm what I'm finding out here is that I don't have any idea what this game was called. <laughs> second image, second column. This? Is this Kid Chameleon? I don't know. I've never played it. Is this what you're talking about? This this kid right here with the shades? Yeah, I have no idea. Let's see. All right, so let's, let's refine this because I want to find this. Okay. All right, so Genesis Army game. General Chaos. There it is. Fuck, I wasn't even close, was I? <laughs> General Chaos. I was close and then I had the first letter right. It was Chaos, not Carnage. This is the one he and I used to play. God damn. This my, my memory is a root vegetable. Thank you, everyone, for helping me try to figure that out. <laughs> this is it right here. This is the game I used to play with my cousin. This is it. This is it. I had to I had to literally search Genesis Army game to find that. <laughs> and it was the first result, which is kind of cool. <clears throat> How about that? Uh, was that Kid Chameleon Shaku? Yeah. That was it? Okay. Okay. Mozinge has gifted a tier one sub to Christus Chaos. What are we talking about? I was trying to remember the name of this game. Because we were talking about the few Genesis games I got to play as a kid and this was one of them because um um because um words are hard because Dax Jackson just rated us and he said he was a Genesis kid so he missed a lot of Nintendo games also Motsi thanks for the gift sub to Krista hell yeah you were right Krista was right what is she oh you guessed it look at that 
She said that right after the uh, message about Kid Chameleon. Nice, nice guess. And thank you, Motsi, for supporting the community with that gift sub. This game was cool. Really hard. It's like a sim style game. You set your characters in position, you pick your teams and then they do their thing and you can tell them to move to spots on the map. So it's kind of like RTS-ish esque. Does that make sense? Like you don't just control a character and use the D-pad to move them. You give orders to, to be more specific. You give them orders and they try to carry them out. It's a bit wacky, like Arch Rivals. I don't know Arch Rivals. But yeah, me and my cousin like playing this game a lot. It was fun. It was pretty fun. So yeah, this is my first playthrough of Secret of Evermore since Sammy followed the channel, right? Which was like five years ago. And then the previous playthrough before that was when it came out. So third playthrough well it's, I probably played through it a lot when it came out I probably played through it a couple times at least because I really liked it a lot oh mm, my goodness <laughs> oh my goodness I'm gonna have to check something after stream tonight Okay. What? What I want to know related to the Genesis is like other than the popular games, like what was good on it? You know, like obviously like Sonic games were popular. You have like in the RPG realm, you have the Fantasy Star games and Shining Force, right? And I'm just trying to think like Streets of Rage 2, right? There's that like that's a pot that was popular. Like what was good on that system? I don't know. Scooters! Genesis Shadow Run. I've heard that's pretty good. I've never seen it though. Oh my God, Selnica. <laughs> that is a hot take. <laughs> Uh, they were popular though. That's the funny thing. Echo Do the dolphin, at least the first one, was popular. Like at least in the U.S., like that thing was marketed a lot, like really highly marketed when that came out. Echo the dolphin, because it was like the first like pre-render graphics game on Genesis. I think it was the. Correct my me if I'm wrong on this timeline. I think the Genesis was made that as an answer to Donkey Kong Country. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I do remember it was around the same time. A lot of super cool hard RPGs on Genesis. Any come to mind? Like the first Echo? I liked it, but also it's unreasonably difficult and frustrating. You know? To the point where I can't really play it longer than an hour or two. Golden Axe. I do like Golden Axe. What's Quack Shot? Haven't seen Castle of Illusion either, I believe. Echo was, yeah, low-key and high-key scary. I do remember that. Rystar? I've seen that. I don't know what Ranger X is. X-Men 2, I have. Beyond Oasis. We played that one night during a raffle night, and it was incredibly good. And then I looked into getting a cart, and I got sad. Because <laughs> it's so much money. Yeah, I, I, think we, I think that's fair to say Echo the Dolphin was incredibly well done as far as atmosphere mood you know ambiance it was really good at that <clears throat> you got a game gear oh nice i have one but it has to be recapped it won't it won't turn it won't play games anymore unfortunately splatter house that sounds familiar cyborg justice i don't know that I have Eternal Champions. That's that fighting game, right? Golden Axe. You love Echo. Oh, it was on Game Gear too. No kidding. Designed Echo says, I try not to be scary. That's fair.
Beyond Oasis is a lot of money. Yeah. I wish I had that because for the short time we got to play it, I was seriously impressed. Um, I don't remember Shaku. If that was X-Men or not. Echo was 92. DKC1 was 94. Wow. Okay. Way to go, Sega. Impressive. So then DKC might have been the answer to that. It might have been the opposite of what I said. I stand corrected. Decap attack. I never heard of that, Shulk. I never heard of that. It's not expensive. Has it gone down? Shit, let me look. I don't know what my retro budget is right now. Let's see. Let's see. Let's take a quick look at eBay. I love doing a little quick eBay search. All right. Buy it now. <clears throat> Shipping lowest first. Scroll down. Uh, where is it? North America. 50. Yeah, that's much less than it used to be, isn't it? That's not bad. Like, that's, that's still kind of high, right? Relatively, compared to a lot of Sega games, but that's much lower than I expected it to be. Right on, Wonder Maven. Yeah. Not as bad as expected, huh? Let's check out uh, price charting. Let's see if it's fluctuated a lot. Beyond Oasis. Now, I always take this with a grain of salt. Loose sold listings. Mm, it's gone down, but not much. It spiked recently. But yeah. I mean, obviously over time it's gone up. What hasn't? But that's not as bad as I thought. Very good. That's, that's within... Like real, like reality, like that's feasible someday for me to get. You played a few minutes of Syndicate tonight. I don't know that one either. Hmm. Did I play Illusion of Gaia? No, I haven't streamed that yet. Mm -mm. I have not streamed Illusion of Guy. I've streamed Soul Blazer. I am currently in a playthrough of Terra Enigma. I haven't streamed Illusion of Gaia. It was pretty on Saturn. Is it the same game on Saturn? Beyond Oasis? Is it the same game? Yeah, I like Illusion of Gaia. It's my least it's my least liked I think at this point of the quintet trilogy but you know I wonder how many people are going to recognize what that actually means right Sorry I'm turning all my distractions off and putting them away from me <clears throat> Ah there we go 20 years seems to be a good point for retro market and prices to increase on games it depends, honestly. All through the pandemic, the NES was very stable. And to this day, you can still buy NES carts for five to 10 bucks, tons of them. NES never really spiked like that. Fantasy Star Shining Force War Song. I have War Song, I haven't played it yet. Strider 2, interesting, Ghostbusters. So there's a good Ghostbusters retro game? Nice. Dynamite Hetty, I think I saw Andy Gaming Network or Social Network play that. Zombies Ate Your Neighbors was also on Genesis? No, I did not realize that was multi-platform. Rock and Roll Racing was also on Genesis? Beavis and Butthead, Vector Man, Earthworm Jim. Yeah, Axiom, so Soul Blazer, Illusion of Gaia, Terra Enigma are 
not technically sequels of each other at all. So, like, the stories aren't connected in any way, really. But they are called the Quintet Trilogy, and supposedly they're all, like, quote-unquote, in-universe with each other, if that makes sense. So, they are, they're like Final Fantasy games. They're all standalone, but connected, in a, in a sense. Hopefully that, hopefully that helps uh, explain it. Where is the cave? Maybe it's down here. It's right here. Okay, that's cool. That was cool. <laughs> that was a cool sound, too. Oh, look at this. Look at this. You can hear like the the wind whooshing through the cave. Played a lot of Disney stuff on Genesis. I like the Aladdin on Genesis better than Super Nintendo. I, that, you get a sword, right? It, it, like immediately the game was just more fun to play and not frustrating. Whoop! Oh, what's that? Call bead. I did not do that on purpose. I was just kind of pushing walls and looking for secrets, like mashing. Sniff, sniff. What do you got, doggy? Nope. Your second egg was a shiny. How about that? I feel like shinies in that game were a lot easier to get than any of the others. But second egg is still ridiculous. Odds. I got to look into those Shadowrun games someday. Oh, okay, kitty bit. Legend Oasis and Beyond Oasis you are different. You give me an egg. Is like one a sequel to the other? Do, 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 do. Beavis and Butthead fun on Genesis. Interesting. <clears throat> Somniac, how's it going? How are you today? Do, 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 do. How's it going today? So yeah, I never really got to play a lot of Sega games. As you could see, it, it was a struggle for me to just remember the name of that one Sega game we found, which was Major or General Chaos, I think. You see, I'm already forgetting it. <laughs> I think it was General Chaos. Ugh. Right? Fun little RTS style game. Kind of janky, honestly. It's a little janky. It is a little janky. Oh, he found something. What do you got, doggo? What do you got? Oh, it's in the air. I need more more mud peppers to get in there. Do I find those here, or do I have to go back to that guy to move this? Does anyone know? <clears throat> Beavis and Butthead was garbage on both SNES and Genesis, but it was better on Genesis. I see. General Chaos. Gotcha. Columns three. I never really liked puzzle games. It's just, I don't know. I'm not sure why. There's one puzzle game I've liked like that once. It was called Puzzle Quest and I played it on my 360. <laughs> that was fun. Cause it was an actual like RPG. Rocks lifted or moved permanently. Yes, I understand that. But that's not what I'm asking. I'm asking to move this. Do I have to go back to that guy to get a mud pepper or do I find one here? I have to go back. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Maybe it'll be worth it. Maybe it'll be like some sick loot. Shortcuts should all still be there. Should all still be there. It'll just be a little, little jog. Boop, 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 boop. Spooners! There we go. Nice. Just zoom on through. Puzzle Quest, you play it on PSP. Wasn't that the... Wasn't a handheld platform the first release of that game? I don't know if it was like PSP or DS or something like that. Hi, Thor. Were you lurking this whole time? Because that was like... 
Wasn't that like 20 minutes ago? <laughs> Damn it! Uh, there we go. Bad Raptors! Okay. Yes, it was a Kellogg's option. There you go, Selnica. There you go. There you go. There might be one. Oh, jeez. I'm already like halfway there. Don't worry about it. Thank you, though. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. Thanks for thanks for helping. Gloop, gloop, gloop. I like the noise the lily pads make when you run up. Gloop, gloop, gloop. You never got to try Puzzle Quest 2 or the sci-fi one. I didn't like either, Shulk. Because I liked the first Puzzle Quest so more that I checked those out. And then they just didn't have the same hook. They were... They introduced gameplay mechanics that made things seem more heavily based on RNG, and it was just less fun. That was my experience, though. Um, I can't... Oh, man, I need alchemy ingredients. Holy smokes. How do I cure poison? Is it essence? Let's see. Did that do it? Can't carry any more petals. Okay. Where am I? Did I go the wrong way? Probably. Oh no, I gotta go this way. Oh jeez. I don't gotta go this way. I gotta go this way. Ow! I'm like completely out of alchemy ingredients. You've been in that, I'm in bed almost asleep, but can't get all the way there thing. Oh, okay. That sucks. That's that's a relatable mood right there. Oof. Go this way. Maybe it's this way. Poison has worn off. Okay, good. It does wear off after time. Boop, 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 boop. Hello. Here's another mud pepper. Thanks. I would like to rest. So the strategy again for Evermore? Price charting is paging their return results. What does that mean? You used to be able to get an entire console listing. Now there's a more results option. Oh. Uh, okay. See you later. Bye bye. Are there other options than price journey? Pageifying. Woof. I like that the dog's woof basically never changes the whole playthrough. <laughs> Except in the last chapter. But it doesn't actually really change. It just has an effect added to it. <laughs> if you haven't played or seen this, you'll see what I mean when we get there. Ow! Okay. No! Leave me alone. We need to go get alchemy ingredients from somewhere. <laughs> we can get some from the town? No, actually, they're overpriced. In the town. I'll just go to the, the cave. We'll just go to the cave, which is down this way. Ow! Oh, man. Enemies are really persistent. <clears throat> Wait, how do we get out of here? Is it down here? Here we go. No poison! No more poison! 
Drop Wolf, how you doing? I was the drowned wolf. You need to change laying position, but Peach is asleep on your leg. When I when I get to a point where I have to move, look, cause look at he's always penning me down. I just have to move. She she rolls with it most of the time. She just stays there. Ooh, I see KTO. You were not here, and now you am. Is the air safe to breathe after yesterday? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Can I even do levitate? Okay, I can once. One time. Woof. Crunch. Levitate. Here we go. <laughs> What a cool sound. New job has been awesome. Dude, that's so nice to hear. Seriously. That's so nice to hear. No, kitty bit. I did a thing yesterday with farts all night. <laughs> all night. <laughs> Damn, I need another one. All right, I'm not going back. Uh, the you know the fartathon that we did. Every sub was a farting bear. Yeah, I don't. What does that two hundred mean? By the way, I don't actually know what that means. What does it mean if the the air is two hundred? Oh, this place is tough. I got a heal. Wow! Oh, that's my dog. Dang it! Nice. Oh, I miss so much. There we go. Oh, I want that treasure. Oh. Holy smokes. Found some ash. Okay. Ooh. Found some roots. Mm. Pollution index. It's a value that tells you how bad the air is currently. Okay. So what's the frame of reference then? You'll be lurking soon, but you think it's a numeric measure of how bad the air is. Right, right. 550 to 100 is the good to okay range. Okay. So that's what I need. So 200 is really bad. Like it's 200, basically like you don't go outside. 500 is cancer causing. Anything above 120 is bad. Oh, wow. Do, 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 do. Do, do, What are you sniffing, dog? Some clay. He sniffed clay. Woo, woo, woo. Here's another, oh. Oh, look at that. You can actually knock them off? Okay. I don't know what was supposed to convey to me that I could do that, but... Okay. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Just trial and error, right? Mud pepper. Oh, look at that, chat. Mud pepper. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Med Pepper. Boo. All right, so we can move that rock. I wonder how we get that. Oh. Goddamn pamper. Let's um, let's go over here because we didn't explore this yet. Boop boop boop. Some water. A hundred talents. My phone's yelling at me, and I'm ignoring it. Do, 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 do. Fires up in Canada I had the range in New York City up above 300. Yeah. I didn't know that number, but I knew it was bad because they actually like canceled like sporting events that day in the city because the air was so bad. Like I saw pictures and it looked like Elden Ring. Like the skies were just this hazy orange everywhere. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. 
That's scary. Oh. Play. Ow! Stupid lizard. You're not allowed to do that to me. Oh! Can't carry any more mud peppers. Oh. You literally can only carry one at a time? Okay. Still like that sound. Still pretty cool. Be cool sound, you know? Very mud pepper. Come on, doggy. Sniff, sniff. Woo, woo, woo. All right. Let's see what that does for us. Let us see where this will take us. To an angie lizard who is dead. So you do get mud peppers in here. You saw a picture of the Diablo billboard with the orange sky? Nice. It's all Blizzard's fault. All right. Their marketing has gotten out of control. The lengths they go to. Oh, no. Heal. <clears throat> it was basically Khaled for a few days. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, what is that called? The Scarlet Rot or whatever? <clears throat> No, it's all right. It's only kind of worries. Ow! Bad lizard snake thing. Ooh, look at Jim go. Can't carry any more petals. Can't carry any more petals. How about we use a petal for healing, right? <clears throat> Blah. What you got? Some roots. Sniff, sniff. Ow! Oops. I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to hit him. This has got nice reach. I just can't see any reason to use the spear. We are going to have to use it at some point, though, aren't we? Not this spear, but another one. Because at one point, don't you have to be able to, like, charge up the spear and throw it or no am i misremembering the lack of or very quiet music in the area the the soundtrack in this game is is very ambient so you get a lot of that not every area has just like purely music some roots okay anything else What's up here? It's an exit. Okay, I'm not going in there yet. Because there's this. Let's move that. Shall we? Woo, woo, woo. A week before seeing that post, he read an article stating New York City was sinking under its own weight. Aren't there articles written about that every year for like a hundred years now? Like, I think it's true. I just think I see that every year. <laughs> okay, so two directions. Let's see where this goes first. Parts Ash. Oh, what do you got? Water. You don't know if it count as a spoiler. Oh, uh, what, Sammy? I'm sorry, Selnica. What would count as a spoiler? Where does this go? Mm. Well, okay. 
this looks like it might be the right way. I was hoping this would just be a side area. Let's, all right, we need to go peek where the other, the spear question. Why is it a spoiler when I ask the question? It doesn't have anything to do with the story. It was a yes or no question. What? Oh. It's the wrong way? It's the wrong way. I was supposed to go in that door. Let's go in that door. All right, let's go in here. Let's see where this goes. Cool. Check this out. Wax. Well, this looks like a one-way trip. I feel like if I go this way, I won't be able to come back. Frick. All right, we'll go back the other way. <laughs> oh, man. There's some water ASMR. It really was, yeah. The, the sound effects in this game were so good. It did such a good job with that. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, we'll go this way. Is that volcano going to somebody's sewer system? Apparently so, yeah. You know, impressive sewer system, though. Uh, let's see. Down here. What do we got down here? Tragedy. Three parts water. Where are you going? Where are you going? Boy, that was a roundabout way to get there. There he is. I knew there was a secret guy in here. How'd you find me? I'm hiding. I'm hiding from the vipers. We're going after them ourselves. They're cooling down the outside world. Ah, oh, the evil vipers. The speed formula. One part wax, two parts water. I guess that would make you pretty lubricated, wouldn't it? <laughs> He just taught us how to make lube. Uh, sweet. What a generous guy. Do you have ingredients? Damn it, he doesn't sell ingredients. That's what I was really hoping for, to be honest. That was the number one thing I was hoping to get from him. But, you know, learning how to make lube, that's pretty cool too. <laughs> Are we going to flush the volcano? Can we, though? Can we? Lube is pretty important. It is, yeah. Ow! Jesus. All right, I need to heal. Did you touch my dog? You know what? Let's just go this way. What have we in here? Ow! Miss. Come on. What the heck? Is that guy teleport? Oh, there's two. Okay. The dog is leveled. Dun, 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 dun. Someone mentioned something last time I played this last week, right? At the start of the playthrough. They said if you name your character fuck, something happens. What does that do? <laughs> like the game actually recognizes that. Is that true? Is that a thing? Reiko's taking all the Pokemon. She's a Pokemaster. Now where does this go? loop de loos huh? Where you going, dog? Right here? <laughs> Miss so damn much. Well, right, let's just leave that guy alone. He can live his best life. Roots. So we have a path that goes up right here or a path that goes east right here. Oh man, this is such a maze. I don't know if I'm going the right or wrong way now. 
wonder what that water area led to. Does anybody know? Are there multiple save files? Yeah. They're, they give you four slots, J Rock. Ba 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 ba. What if the other side of this volcano is suddenly in the vacuum of space? That would be something. Water area is the right way. Okay, we'll stay here for now. Dun -dun. If the player or dog name, if the player or dog names name has foul language in them, like fuck or ass, the boatman will charge the player three amulets. This is the only known instance in the game where foul language is checked. A name like Cassie will also be regarded as such since it has ass in its name. <laughs> oh man, that's rude. Oh, that's so rude. What's this game got against Cassie's? <laughs> oh, that's kind of ridiculous, honestly. But also funny. The Cassie tag. <laughs> Thanks, Reiko May. That's really interesting. Also, I like your theory, Shotgun. I like your theory. That'd be kind of cool. Volcano in space. Bam! Take that! Viper! Oh, you missed, dog. I missed! Oh, you missed twice, dog. Augustus. Our dog is a Caesar. For some reason. Nice! Okay, he didn't miss that time. Critical hit. Roots. Let's go. You realize something? But you'll tell me in a bit. Okay, sounds great. Sounds great. Yeah, chat, if you're curious, like hints, tips, tri trivia, secrets, you can tell me that stuff. Just don't spoil. Right? That's it. We're not looking for someone to be a walking, talking game facts guide. Nor do we want spoilers because there are people that have never seen this game. But all the other stuff is cool. This looks very much like the right direction now. Wait, did this loop around? Hold on. Did I go in a circle? Maybe. Let's get rid of this guy first. Woof! Oh my god! You know, I don't actually have to fight him. But now it's the principle of the matter. Okay, he's down. <laughs> uh, he's down. Anything sniff sniff here? No? Okay. Anything sniff sniff here? This guy's a different color. I don't like that. Oh, you can't strafe in this game like you can in Secret of Mana. Do you know you could do that in Secret of Mana? If you hold R while holding the attack button, you can strafe. Receive Mud Pepper! Thanks. Awesome. Okay. Pedal. Twenty talents. Ba 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 ba. I guess that was possibly necessary, but we may have saved ourselves this entire trip by going back to that dude. You needed this for the pepper, except I already had one, so the water section I was not supposed to reach. Oh, uh, you made me sequence break. That's fine. That doesn't matter. That's all good. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Beep. Bump up up up. This is the wrong way. Go back. We gotta go like this. There you go. You put on your headphones instead of earbuds and you hear the ambient now. He wasn't hearing it at all before. If that's true, whatever you were listening through might have basically no bass. Chat, are you hearing the ambient noise from the game right now? It sounds like a very low, bassy, like, wind whooshing in a cave. 
I'd be curious if there are any there's anyone that can't hear it. Echo, Salnica, Heimlich, hear it. Okay. Krista hears it. When you have the volume higher, it's more... Well, yeah. Right. I mean, that's true. Literally all sound, right? <laughs> you can hear it. Almost like a low, slow, beating heart. Ooh, that's an interesting point, Azure Man. Yeah, it is almost like that, isn't it? Shakes fist at jank earbuds. Are they like really cheap earbuds? I actually tried to invest in IEMs a couple years ago. Ah, there it is. What, Reiko? The sound of blood flowing through veins. Interesting. Do, 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 do. Woo, woo, woo. Like, that's where I just turned up, so. There's a room you'd like, you can hear your own blood. Yes, it's here in Chicago. It's called an Anne Echoic Chamber. It's full of ridiculous amounts of acoustic form and it's designed to absorb most sound. The ambient sound in the room is like minus six decibels. <laughs> Which means just going in the room, sound sources are amplified. <laughs> to your ears. <laughs> Effectively. But everything is dead. Like you scream in there and it's like, what the fuck? Boo -boo -boo. Um, yes, Selnik, I have had that. I sound like when you can hear your own blood flow because your eardrums are temporarily oversensitive. Yes, I've had that. I don't know what that is exactly, but that's happened. Sounds like an old furnace with the occasional ominous sound. I like that too. It's fun to try and identify what this sound is. Yeah, most people can't handle that, Chibi. Like, it, it it's really uncomfortable for some people. much more pronounced now that you're using your air pood. <laughs> uh, you can't handle really effective headphones that cover your ears. You don't like hearing your own heartbeat or breathing from the inside. I don't hear any of those things. What kind of headphones are you talking about? The record for sitting in that room is like 50 minutes. There's a um, really good YouTube channel I wa I sometimes watch of this gal who went there. It's at the Shure, Shure headquarters, aka the people that make this microphone, right? It's at their headquarters, is that room. Uh, she went there. I think her name is... Um, the fuck is her name? Oh, man. Memory. Memory, don't fail me. It failed me. Let's see. Let me find her name. An echoic chamber. She's like a musician. She does like really good videos on YouTube, both like performances, but also just like life philosophy discussions and talking about like learning skills and things like that. Oh, let's see if I can find it. She did a really cool video on YouTube. They got millions and millions and millions of views on it. What the fuck is her name? Why wouldn't she be the first result if I'm subbed to her channel? YouTube, your search is crap. It's because it's Google. Mary Spender, there it is. 2.2 million views three years ago. The quietest room on earth. This is it right here. That, that video. Mary Spender. She has a really good channel. She went there with some friends. I was like, man, I want to go there. <laughs> that would be so trippy. It would be so trippy. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, kitty bit. Yes, you do. You do. Ones that block out things really well. Huh. Yeah, when I put on headphones, I don't hear anything like that. 
Are you talking about noise isolating headphones? Because I don't use those. I don't like those. Sounds like you just need to get open back headphones. Just get open back. You won't have that problem. Dun, 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 dun. It sounds like you were using closed back headphones and or sound isolation ones. Yo, what's up, Master V? The low hum in your skull becomes deafening. Wow. Wow. Well, it's not a werewolf. It's his dog, Master V. He's like a, he's, he's like just a wolf. Just a wolf. Just a wolf, but he's pretty big. You know, he's got those big shoulders. Almost like a dire wolf. Yeah, that's the thing, Orion. That's... Noise isolating headphones aren't fancy type. That's just a type of headphone. There's open back, there's closed back, noise isolating, there's even semi open back, which is what these are. That's just a type of headphone. There's examples of shitty and good ones among them all. Just get open backs. These are exceptional quality headphones that are open back. Well, semi-open back. They don't do what you were describing. Um, the ones that are purely open back for these, I believe, are the... These are the Bayer... You, want, you would want the Bayer Dynamic DT990s, I believe, are open back. Purely open back. So the idea is open back allows sound and quote unquote air to travel through the headphone, like in the cup. So it's not isolating sound. So you can still hear sound outside of it just fine, which means it isn't isolating the noise in your head or the headphones itself, but also more sound leaks out of the headphone. So people in the same room as you will probably hear it to a degree. And if you're close to a condenser microphone, which this isn't, but if you are, you will get feedback because it will bleed into the mic and go back into your ear and feedback. That's where you get that high pitch sound. So if you don't use a microphone, get a nice pair of open back headphones. You know, look at Bayer Dynamic. Look at um, Sony. Sony makes good headphones. Um, who else? Uh, sure, I think. Right? Sure? Is it sure? No, Sennheiser. Sorry, Sennheiser. Sennheiser makes good headphones. Look at open back headphones. And you won't have that issue. Which I, you know, like to give credibility to what you're saying. That's a common thing that people don't like with some certain headphones is when you have closed back and or noise isolating. And it just feels like, every, like the world closes off. Like, you know, almost like you put a vacuum on your ears. Your knob, right? Like all of a sudden sound is just, and you can just hear like the ambient in your head. You know, it's, it's, it could be kind of creepy. You'll also get a more accurate audio experience with closed back because there's no interference, you know, coming from the air and outside noise, but. All right, let's go in here. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. Um, ah, that, you know what? Fuck it. Go in there. Let's see what happens. This is like a tunnel maze, isn't it? Found some clay. Okay, I'll take some clay. <clears throat> that, yeah, Azureman. That's what I was saying, yeah. Yeah. It depends, though. Only once have I ever gotten feedback into this mic. And these are semi-open back. They're not fully. And it happened once. And it was because I basically was, like, leaning over. And I accidentally, like brush the cup against the mic so it was like kind of like like this like the sound was like coming out like this and it was hitting the mic like i caught the cup on the mic so it was almost like directly being applied to it that's the only time i've ever had that all right i'm sure there's gonna be secrets here so if you know them call them out we want to get secrets we are all about the secrets Oh, there's another hole. Woof. <laughs> What's this? 
some kind of conveyance. There's a switch in the next room. If we can get to that room in the switch, we can open this door. Okay. That's probably where you need to go. There's a few rooms, but they all they have are common ingredients. So not really any reason to explore then, huh? No, no NPCs or anything like that. Wow. All right, let's see where this goes. We're going for a ride. I feel like I'm at the water park. Where does this go? Woof. Let's go in there. Let's see where that takes us. Uh, I think I was already in this room. Well, okay. Let's do it again. <laughs> Kitty pit. Oh my goodness. You really need that ambient sound. Let's go down. Oh! Look, we're in here again. Oh, wait. This is a different room. I found wax. <laughs> Oil, wax, and clay, huh? Yeah, that's not worth it. That's not worth it. Ooh, I wonder what's in that second one there. Oh, that leads into a into there. Did I just go in a circle? No, I went. Where's this? Oh, look! We got to switch. Yes. Ouch, hey, watch it. I'm not going to hurt you. Not all the vipers are savages, you know. We were once peaceful, but the desire for power is too strong. Now there's someone leading the vipers and the raptors in order to take over. Dude, there is an NPC in here. He lets me save the game. What a nice viper. What a nice guy. Even after I tried to murder him. <laughs> uh... It does sound pretty good, Kitty Bit. They probably recorded real water. The Super Nintendo had a pretty impressive sampler chip. Azurman? Yeah. I think that happened to a lot of people because a lot of us kids and just, you know, even grown-ups back then when they first played this were playing them on old TRTVs with crappy speakers, right? Not a lot of people had, like, receivers set up into stereo systems. You know? It was just, like, some crappy mono or tiny stereo speaker built into the TV and it just made everything sound like ass. Woof. Let's go this way. Doo -doo. Oh, no, that's right. I do want to go this way, don't I? And then this way. Let's see what's over here. A hole! With a raptor. Two raptors! Scary raptors. Oh, it's a strong one. Oh, slippery. There we go. Seven damage with the kill. How about that? Let's do a heal. Oh, it's all good, Selica. Too young to give a damn. Yeah. I mean, we didn't know better, right? Like, a lot of us didn't have that frame of reference as to what it could sound like or look like. I mean, look at this. You are looking at a Super Nintendo right now and hearing it. There is no doctoring going on to that video signal. That's what the system is outputting. We just have better hardware to receive it now. Ads are about to begin in 30 seconds. So if you're not subbed, you will see up to three minutes of those. Let's take a quick breather here. I will pause the gameplay so you don't miss any. We're all on the same timing with ads that are breaks this way. We all know when you see ads. Also means if you have to reload the page or whatever, you will never see a pre-roll. So that's going to start here just any second. We'll do a little Pokemon summons too. So you can do that. Channel 3 RF input was how original hardware was set up. Yeah. RF signal. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of, I did that on my NES and Super Nintendo for a long time. I think even my N64, I had to use an RF adapter. Because I had a really cheap TV. I don't think I ever owned a TV with a composite until like 2003. <laughs> 
Uh, not even kidding. You did play through this game a few times in the 90s, but the OST did not stick with you like Chrono Trigger or Super Metroids. Same. I, the OST is really good in this, I think. I think it's just... Um, it's more ambient, right? It's more atmospheric. Doo -doo -doo. What's up, Bismuth? Playing this one too? What do you mean by two? Doo -doo 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 -doo. What you mean? What you talking about? That Raichu just pieced out. All right, I won't do no more Pokemon. We'll wait until people, we'll let people summon them on their own if they want them. Chromagram, what's up? What's up? Hi, Chroma. I don't know if Chroma can hear me, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this so they don't feel ignored. There we go. There we go. Du -du -du. Watching someone else in the retro category playing this earlier this week. Oh, cool. Do you remember who it was? You haven't gotten around to finishing it? We'll, we'll play through this. I think I'll do the full play of this. I think people are enjoying it. I know I am. I like old games like this. You know? I hope you're all vibing with it because I think it's a good time. Shiny Man Teen. How about that? Do, 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 do. Wow. Cyber Trucker Alpha. I think I've seen them around. Let me see. Cyber Trucker Alpha. That sounds familiar. I, they may have lurked here. I don't know. Their follower. I feel like I may have lurked in their channel before. Yo, Casey, how you doing? How's it going today? How many of y'all got to hang out last night for our uh, partner anniversary? Our fartner anniversary? I should have called it that. The fartathon. <laughs> uh, I'm so cursed. You know, I just. <laughs> uh, you know, it's just I. That was what I came up with. <laughs> I was like, let's do a celebration that revolves around farts. Like, okay. All right, then. Sure. You were around? I'm glad, I'm glad some of you got to see it. It was really fun. It was really fun. Have I found Evermore's secret? Not yet. We're getting there. Delph, how are you today? Thank you, by the way, everybody, for sitting through those ads. If you were, uh, they are done now, so we are can resume. My farts things? We can resume the gameplay. Resume chromogram. Thank you. Chat, I showed you this earlier. Some of you didn't see. Look what I got. Look what I got. Yo, Bluetooth Rocky, what's up? Yeah. I had to order it from Play Asia. This is the Hong Kong version, is my understanding. This is dope. This is freaking dope. I gotta tell you. Hong Kong version. So, it's English. It's got English, right? Switch has no region locks. So you can buy a cart from basically anywhere in the world for the Switch and it will work on your system. Of course, you might need to get one that has a language you understand, but yeah. So I got I got all six pixel remasters now. And here is the lovely surprise about this that I didn't know. It's on Play Asia, Chuck. They, they're still selling them as far as I know. Because they, they're more hard up in that region about physical releases than over here, I guess. So that's how I ended up getting it. This isn't the North American version. It's like Hong Kong or something. But yeah, Switch doesn't have region locks. So that's what I did. I bought this version. But the nice surprise about this that I was about to say, check this out. When these first came out, the biggest minor complaint everyone had about these, and it was minor, was the font sucked. It was like too skinny and pressed together and it didn't look retro. There was all that wasted space, right? This has an option to change the font to a retro font. It looks great. It's, I was like tinkering with it just to see if it ran, you know, just in case. Just in case, you never know, right? And it did. And that was in there, that setting. It lets you set a retro font. I was like, yes, awesome. <laughs> I was like, oh man, I was so worried. Uh, 
The new console version has that. That's oh, I love it. I fucking love it. It has certain options you want, like what? Gaining no XP. Ooh, challenge mode options. Very cool. Okay, okay. I didn't know it had that too. Lazy aerial fonts and remasters. Yeah, that's the default, but it was really easy to change it to a different font. I was really happy to see that. I had no idea that was going to be an option. All games of all regions should have an option to download all languages. Well, when I went in the options in this game, there was like 20 languages I could have picked at least. I was impressed. There was a ton. <laughs> uh, Mati. <laughs> As times for money and XP. Interesting. Okay. I don't think I'll be using any of those, but I like that those are options, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, I did see that. You could set the music to original remasters. Yeah, that's true. That was in the options, too. Right, Selnica, because you want to grind out your, your stats. You, you like to min-max. Yeah, you're all about the min-max. Yeah, that's perfect for you. Do, 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 do. This way. I think we go this way now. Whee! Ah! Now I can go in here. Ah! Look at this. Oh, this is the boss. Listen, here's some more ambient for Kitty Bent. Turning it up. Mind your base. That sounds cool, doesn't it? How did they get the atmospheric audio so well in this game? Hey, yo, kiddo! Fire ice. You gone? I just had enough for you. Who? Who are you? Who you think? I'm your evil twin. I'm here to take over. It was hot to maybe inside the volcano. Temperatures dropping outside. Cause I'm cutting it off with the source. Oh boy. Do, 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 do. The world freezes, my village will die out. That's the idea. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Every time you do that, you lose credit for your pyramid. <laughs> No taunting the mods. No taunting the mods. Lose credit for your pyramid. We we don't we don't play that here. <laughs> What's up, Key? How's your eBay and been going, dude? Hi, Mog. What's my little friend want? What's the monkey want? You say hi? Oh, good boy. Yeah, good boy. He's a good boy. It's you sometimes, right? Are you a good boy sometimes? You are sometimes, right? Yeah. What you want, little brother? What's the Mog want? Yeah, let's pet Mog chat. Aw. Oh, hello, little man. You want some back scratch? You want back scratchy? Aw, oh, he's rubbing my finger. Aw, oh, good kitty. He's doing headbutts. Yeah, good kitty. Manifest! I think he's done with the touching now. Yep, he's done. He's established. He's gotten his requ requisite amount of contact. About 10 seconds. Now, no more touch. No more touch. No touching. You didn't miss it. You taunted the mod. So I always purge when you do that. Every time, man. You don't learn. <laughs> you get credit for your pyramid if you don't get conky about it. <laughs> no, you didn't have it blocked. He got it in, but then he taunted you, so. 4.20 a.m. and you just got out of the shower to go to a yard sale. Good luck, dude. Let us know what you find. Hi, Meow Mix. Over stim mode activated. No more? Okay. He already got snacks, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna fatten him up, you know? As much as I want to show you all more. Probably shouldn't be doing that. He's eating normally, you know, he has been for months now. So it's interesting. We don't know if he still has a kidney stone or not. You know, some of you remember, what was that December? Maybe January when he wasn't eating. Remember that? We took him to the vet and they said he had a kidney stone. So 
So then we started getting him to eat again. And he just started eating normally and went back to normal. You know, that's it. Like, that's basically what's happened. So we're like, does he have a kidney stone? I don't... Did he pass it? Like, I don't... is it just still there and it doesn't bother him? I don't know. He's, he's his happy usual self. So I, I'm... I'm a... I would like to hope that he did pass it, it's gone, and it's not bothering him anymore. Because he hasn't had any issues since. He still eats too much, you know. He doesn't throw up very, barely at all. Because I've I kind of learned his eating habits. Um, just runs around and wants to play all the time. So his energy's there. So, I don't know. Just business as usual. Mog, yeah, Mog going hog. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, it must have been bothering him those couple days, Chromogram. What makes a retro game timeless? Question of the night. Delph, art style is a huge one, along with how intuitive gameplay feels. Good controls go a long way. NES and SNES games are some of the biggest examples of that precision. I'm hoping so, Kitty Bit. So here's what I've learned about Mog and his eating habits. I know we're in like whooshing cavern wind right now, but that's just what's happening. <laughs> he was a stray. So he eats like a stray does, like every meal is his last. And he, he's really nervous when he's eating alone because when cats are, you know, alone and they're eating, they're vulnerable. They're vulnerable to predators, you know, or whatever it is. So when he doesn't have company when he's eating, he eats too fast. Like just not like he will eat too much and too fast and he might throw it up. So he's learned my habits and I've learned his. When Mog walks under the desk and rubs against my leg, he wants me to go with him somewhere. It's almost always either to his water bowl, which I will then fill with filtered water or it's to his food bowl because he wants someone to watch over him while he's eating so that he doesn't feel vulnerable. So I do. I'll take my phone. I'll pull up like TikTok or Twitter or Discord and just sit on the floor while he eats and pet him. Pet him. He eats slower when I do that and he eats less. The result is that he throws up way less now when I do that. Like a lot less. It was like once or twice a week. Now it's like that many times a month, maybe. Not even. So, like, I've learned, I've learned his behaviors, you know, and his neuroses about that kind of thing. He's a social eater, and that happens to a lot of strays, is my understanding. If you ever, ever had a stray, or you get a stray, you know, and you domesticate them, and you, you know, it, maybe they're throwing up a lot, or maybe they're eating too much, hang out with them when they eat, and see if it changes. See if that helps. Like, just keep them company, you know? It does. It is keeping him healthier. Yeah. He still eats too much. Make no mistake. But nowhere near as too much as it used to be, you know? So, yeah, I just go hang out with him when he eats. It's usually after stream every single night. And most of, most of the time before stream. Not every time. But he usually doesn't bother me about that during stream. Because the feedings come before and after stream. So, you know, it just kind of aligns that way. I don't know what to say, Chromogram. Just depends, you know, on the cat and the person. Because cats can smell when you're nervous around them. If you're nervous around cats or anxious around them, they can smell that and tell. And they're going to respond accordingly. Because they're going to know that you're, like, alerted. And that that's going to make them wonder what the problem is. You know, they're like, oh, okay, something's, something's wrong here. You know? It's like a basic behavioral response. Straight, many strays and ferals are food anxious, so guarding them is comforting. Yeah. He likes, he likes when I do that a lot. It's the only time I can pet him a lot, too. Like, if he's eating, I can pet and groom him. So sometimes I'll bring his Furminator over there and brush him. He doesn't care. He'll, he'll let me do it. Should we chat? What do you think? I, I've already given him true, but I do have those chewies up there you see on the back. Should we give him some of those? Do you want to give Mog some chewies, chat? He gets company and comfort, plus less throwing up, and I get the comfort of him eating healthy. Yeah. Little guy. No touch, see? See how he pushed me away? 
He has his boundaries, his personal space. <laughs> no touching. You want snacks, little guy? You want some chewies? Moggy want chewies? What do you think? Sorry about the camera jerking there. You want you? I'm gonna touch your socks. They say, don't touch me. <laughs> you want these? Yeah? Let's get you some chewies, Mog. It's all right. We don't give them these too often, so. Tiny murder mittens? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Get some chewies, little Mog. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, you got some crumbs there? You want to finish your crumbs? Yeah, don't leave those there. There you go. See, I can pet him now that he's chewing those. Come on, little kitty. You want chewies? Come on, kitty cat. Come on. Come on, kitty cat. You won't be able to see her eating them, but... There you go. She's right behind him. She's eating some too. See? <laughs> this is really hard to do one-handed. I'll do my best. Oh. All right, last one, Mog. Okay. There you go, kitties. You got a little extra today. Not bad. Not bad. See, now he got what he wanted. He's leaving. <laughs> Was that good? Yeah? You want your pat pats? Yeah, those are good pat pats, right? Get those pat pats. You good? All right. You gonna hang out or you gonna go somewhere? She's hanging out right there for now. All right. All right. Let's see what this is all about. What do you think? Let's see what this is all about. Rump thumps, exactly. Evil Fire Eyes wants to take over the world. I'm gonna make you go away now. Ow. Say hello to my Brock pet. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Okay, that music's kind of fucking dope. We could do Acid Rain and Hardball, a couple Flash. Okay, that thing looks fucking cool. How many do I have? Eight? Use it. Oh, what do we got here? Storm, Heat Wave, Flare, Life Spark. No, Shaku. I think she just sent her away somewhere. Catter mission over, yeah. What do you think? What's going to be best here? Storm, maybe? Or Flare? Is there a best here? I don't even know. Is it a Team Rax with a bodybuilder body? I think it's a rock golem of some kind. Do you, have you played this key? Have you played Evermore? Have you played it? Flare, let's do it. Magmar. Ow! 48. Okay, that wasn't great. Never mind. I'm not going to bother with that. That was pretty bad. <laughs> Let's see how much acid rain does. Three. Okay, we're going to use physical attacks. <laughs> Forget it. You never beat it? Oh, you got to beat this, man. You got to beat this. This is a fun one. It's underrated. It's jank. It's, it's hokey. It's like, it's like a B movie for video games. Uh oh, that's not good. Oh dear. Oh, I got a heal. <sighs> Nectar. There we go. Dog. Dog. Thank you. Dog was not putting in work. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? I hit him before he hit me. Okay, heal, heal. Heal, 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 heal. 
Nice. Very good. Ow. I'm healing again. Can't take chances. Oh, he hit us. Oh. Wow, you really got to be. That's healing him? Are you seeing that? He's fucking healing when he jumps in the water. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, this sucks. This is bad. Oh, he's healing from that. That sucks so much. You take lava baths to heal too, yeah. A little good a good exfoliation. It's good exfoliation, right? Yeah, this guy's hitting really hard. Dang it. 72. We gotta offset that somehow. How much? Oh, I have 18 uses of this. Let's do it. Nice hit, dog. Let's try speed up. Yes, he did! Okay, fuck yeah! <laughs> All right, that guy had way less hit points than the last <laughs> boss. GG. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, okay, you put the battle camp and got the war. Okay. Boom. It was kind of cool music, too, wasn't it? Whole legion of bots found Sasha's Twitter. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't you have like a hundred thousand followers now on that account? Holy smokes. Roy, when are you going to do my social media? I need your help. <laughs> you want heat? I'll give you heat. Speed is worn off. So long, suckers. Uh oh. <gasps> the self-destruct mechanism. Feels bad. Feels bad. Cannon Bros. Remember Cannon Bros? Secret of Mana? I love this game. It's so cool. Oh, look at that. What is that? That's not a boat. That's like a sea sh a turtle shell. It's a turtle shell. Oh, listen to that ambient audio. Really nice animations in the water, too. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Waterfall. Thanks for the GGs. DJ, Chibi, Chromogram, Armis, Krista, Delph, Kenny Bit. Look at that. Oh, we're in the chapter two. We're in chapter two. Whoa. Now I know how dandy Don Carlisle felt in Sink Boat Sink. Sure. I think I got water in every orifice, pocket, and pour. A sign of Augustus. Augustus? Nope. I better look around. Where's my dog? I want my dog. This is a cool chapter. They're all pretty good. How's he alive? Yeah, wizard did it, you know. Wizard did it. Subtle music, but I like it. All right, I'm assuming conveyance says just go in the first thing you find, which is this shipwrecked boat, which apparently has become a building. Cool use. It's a bar. Treasures of the West Bank are very valuable. Leader of Nobilia is posted a fire reward. Mm, treasures. Give me that. Give me that. Wax. Look at these guys punching each other in the face. <laughs> Do you mind? We're trying to hit each other here. Can't talk. Busy punching. Yeah, that's fair. My brother Tiny is the strongest man in these parts. Oh my goodness. The floodwaters are scourge they are. Yeah, you know. Do 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 do. 
Oh my goodness. Shaku. Do 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 do. You're not after treasure and riches like the rest of these louts, are you? Uh, yes, I always am. How do I get that? I don't know if I can. Can I steal your treasure? Oh, it's open. Never mind. I can't get it because there's nothing in it. It's open. Okay. Cool music. Cool introduction to this chapter. Like a pirate bar. How about that? Um, let's go this way. Real bros help each other strengthen their faces with friendly bouts of violence. Listen to that wind. Oh, okay. Oh, well, this was the wrong way, huh? Oh, no. Let's just find our dog. Let's not get into fights with random dudes trying to hit me in the face with an anchor. Ow. Hold on. Like random pain in my foot. Yeah, pirate hangar made in a shipwreck. It's kind of a cool idea, you know? It's still it's still a structure, it just doesn't go in the water anymore. Do 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 do. Hello. Ooh, he sells stuff. Change money. One jewel for every two talents. Oh right, you have to do currency exchange when you get to a new chapter. Okay. I had 6,500 plus talons. Nectar. It's interesting that this does currency exchange, you know? However, I also think that it's a waste of time. <laughs> like, it's kind of unnecessary. Uh, you're trying to prevent Rig from getting... What is that? DVT? I, I get up once every hour or two. Rig does not. <laughs> he sits there for several hours without moving. I'm so impressed, but also scared for him. That dude just has a level of energy he puts into every stream. But also, I think he only streams three times a week. So, like... You know, he compacts it into those three streams and lets it all out, and I get it. It's pretty impressive. There's a city on the other side of the Great Desert. You might convince the ghost pirate to give you passage. Okay. Blood clot in your legs. Ooh, I see. You'll be wanting to buy some of my armor. It's the best. What do you got? Serpent bracer. Bronze helmet. Bronze armor. Spiky collar. I could afford all of this. Goes for over 12 hours sometimes. I like the 10 hours, but I also do know that by the third or fourth stream of every week, I have less energy sometimes. Not always, but I'm trying to get more sleep to offset that. I think that's really what's happening. I haven't been sleeping well for months. Starts in your legs, breaks you off, travels to the heart. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard of blood clots. I didn't know that's what that acronym meant. All right, let's buy all of this. All of it. Are you playing again? Yeah? Get that post. Yeah. Yeah, good job. Good kitty. Yeah, get that post. You gonna fuck that post up? Look at he's got energy. Speaking of. <laughs> She's excited. Ooh, big upgrades on here. And somebody with a hundo bits. Thank you so much. Who's that? Hot soul so. Thanks, dude. Do 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 you're new to Crustacea. Thanks for 100 bits on so and so. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. There's a com Terry com compiled time limited trading segment. Um, what I'm going to do for that is find that secret outside of the town that gives you a bunch of items. And then hopefully I'll be able to trade everything. There's like a secret outside of the town here that most people don't know about. 
Hope I start getting some good sleep again. Yeah, me too. Complex. Ah, uh, that makes way more sense. Thank you. Do 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 do. No, it's compled. It's compled now. Okay, that's the word. Ah, hey, matey. Welcome to my inn. Um, no, I don't need to stay here, but I would like to save. Yeah, first save in a little bit, huh? Yeah, there you go. Do, 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 do. Oh, um, no, I don't think any of that's going to help on because it's related to Mog waking me up and the medicines that I'm trying. Do, 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 do. Let's see what's in here. City leader posts a reward for treasures on the other side of the river. I'm going after him. I am. Okay, go after him, dude. Good luck. What's in here? Dr. Wawi. Some of us adventuring types have been staying inside. Clay. Nectar. Hello? Who's this? Dr. Wawi. Hello, my friend. Have I got a deal for you? I can offer you this rare and powerful amulet of annihilation for 10,000 jewels. I don't have that much money. I'm not even close. Okay, fine. What the fuck? Why do you expect me to have that much? I just got here. <laughs> do I need to say? Yeah, go ahead if you want. It's fine. Do, 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 do. I was just going to do that secret and like get everything I need. What's up, Sparky? How we doing? Dr. Wowie. Dr. Wowie. Where's Dr. Wowie? Oh, you can't go up there? I wanted to talk to that guy. Where's this go? It goes down. Oh, it goes all the way down. Maybe I can't climb there. Hold on, I have an idea. That's a good question. I know it is. I do ask good questions, thank you. It's very true. I ask the greatest questions. Can I climb this? Oh, I was hoping I could climb this and talk to that guy. I guess you can't talk to that guy, huh? How dare you? I want to talk to the NPC. And this game said no. So what it is is Mog gets excited anytime he hears or sees someone outside. And he meows a lot and his tail starts whipping the Venetian blinds, which I still need to replace and put like a light blocking curtains instead. And then once he can't see the person anymore, he, he wakes me up to tell me about the person that he just saw because he's so excited. It's adorable and aggravating. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's Mog for you. Goofy little shit. <laughs> oh, this guy's fighting. Oh man, nice. There we go. Okay, I got him. I got them. I got him. Yeah, take that. Oh shit! It's Anchorman. It's not working every time, Anchorman. I want to be mad, but I can't. Right. I get why he's doing it. He's bored. He wants to meet everyone and catch every bird outside and run around like a little gremlin but you know he was not safe when he was out there wow this guy has all of the hit points holy smokes all right where does this go oh it just takes me up there okay and where does this go wait i heard sniffing did you hear that? Hold on. I heard sniffing. What was that? Why did I hear sniffing? Huh. It sounded like the doggo. Glad to see you drive the big washout. Likewise, my dog and I used her boat to float downstream and over the falls. 
Ba-da, ba-da, ba-da. Bye, Krista. Escape by floating down the swamp flowers full of essence of mud pepper. So he farted his way here. You see, this world is much different from the world on the plateau. Explored a little, but mainly when looking for Augustus. Wonder where he could be. Or what he could be. Indeed. Oh, this is cool! A dog-only sequence! Look, he's like a greyhound. Hello, my wife and myself take care of cleaning and maintaining the palace. It, he's talking to a dog. You know what? That's fine. Who doesn't talk to animals like that, right? Let's, let's be completely honest. I talk to my cats. <laughs> I can't I can't rub I cannot make any comments about that at all. I would do the exact same thing. I would do the same thing. Pat obedience school. That's okay, so I was right then with my initial guess. I was right. You have a similar thing with both of those things. You do sleepy pills. Melatonin. Wait, what? Oh my God. That's a lot of stuff at once. That's a lot of stuff at once. I don't think I want to do all that stuff. That sounds like it would mess me up really bad. What's up PK book? Oh, I thought it said booklet, bullet. PK bullet. Is that a, is that an earthbound reference? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, exactly, Shaku. I would do the same. Oh, hey, little puppy. I'm just cleaning up. You know? You'd have a full conversation with your cats before you'd have the same conversation with the real human. <laughs> uh, I love it. I love it. It is nice. That's my favorite Super Nintendo game is Earthbound. It's Earthbound is number one for me on the SNES. Do, do, do. All right, so there's a door open there. It lets me sniff, but the dog can't pick things up. Don't track any dirt in the palace. It's my job to keep the place clean. Okay, sorry. We're at the palace. How about this music? For a Super Nintendo game? First game Jeremy Sewell ever did. If you don't know the name, you know his music because most of you have played Morrowind, Oblivion, and or Skyrim. <laughs> this was his very first. I think he was 20. He set Square Enix or Squaresoft of America a demo tape on a cassette and they're like, hire him. <laughs> uh, pretty wild. Do, 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 do. All my apologies, madam. Enjoy your day. The dog. Earthbound and Donkey Kong Country 2 are tied at one for you. Nice. Can't pick one over the other. They're both pretty damn good. All right, let's go in. Check this out. This place is cool. Yes, Pompolonius, I am ready to take my next step toward greatness. This is like what, a Greek, ancient Greek section? I must have the diamond eyes of the dog statue. But, sir, uh, the people will not support your actions unless we receive a sign from the sacred dog. I hate to burst your bubble pop, but the sacred dog is a myth. We can't expect for some mystic creature to simply slide into the palace. <laughs> uh, sir, we have a visitor. <laughs> awesome. Holy shit. Whew. What up, Krieg? Dang, man. How long's it been? How are you? Do, 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 do. Well, friend, it's time for you to find your pooch and for me to continue my studies of things lighter than air. It's a great city on the other side of the desert. Okay, we'll go there. 
crush this is the spell i just used like the whole game almost every time limestone and wax okay crush kid smash i would like to purchase ingredients i am very low on said ingredients bone huh limestone can buy mud peppers now <sighs> oil wax we got a lot of wax and ash but most not much of anything else farts are heavier than air yeah yeah are these bad prices i don't know i just got here do, 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 do. that was an actual thought it's a good one yeah this region's a huge mix of ancient civilizations love it yeah i only got four oil denser and lighter than air how can it be denser and lighter interesting oh. Oh. all right give me some oil a little bit let's see There's some crystal i don't know what bone or limes there we go okay cool good Bam! Bam! Let's see how much this does. Whoa, the one shot! The one shot. I don't. I want to be able to strafe. This game doesn't let me strafe like Secret of Mana. I meant air is denser. That makes way more sense. Okay. Don't miss. Stop missing. Wow, those guys have so many hit points. Ooh, what do you got? Nectar. Ooh, nice. That's a big heal. All right, you know what? Let's go. <laughs> Let's just go. Let's just go. Whoa. Uh, okay, one sec. I gotta remember how to do this. Uh... Da, 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 da. What's that? Oh, it's a squirtle that just randomly appeared. Okay. Yep, that's it. Boop, 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 boop. We're in the desert of doom. There's a hidden, like, isn't there a hidden alchemy here somewhere? Isn't there a hidden alchemy here somewhere? I think there is. I'm trying to remember though. Pop, 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 pop. Uh, okay. Sorry, I had to look at something really quick. The wind tunnel noise reminds you of the ambience leading up to some scenes in Chrono Trigger. Hmm. So we got this guy, which I think he'll just take you to the city, right? I'm trying to remember, though, what the secret... There was a secret, like, alchemy here or something. Right? Did I just... I'm dying! Oh, right, the desert kills you! You have to go to the oasises to heal. Dude, stop dying. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, uh. Man, this desert. This desert does not care. Hey, chief. You want a lift? Sure. Right across the hot desert will cost you one amulet of annihilation. No, I don't have one. How do you... Where am I supposed to get one of those? Whoa. 
Well, <laughs> was I supposed to have one of those? All right, let's go back. Maybe we need to find one down here somewhere. Weep. I know we can't get those yet. Maybe this, this guy will have info. Wax Ash. All right, we can save at the very least. I just want my doggy. Okay, he doesn't say anything about the Amulet of Annihilation. So I don't know how to get that. There. There also does not appear to be any way to get one other than 10,000 gem purchase. So I think we have to walk across the desert. I believe that's our only recourse. We got to hike it. That's okay. We can do it. We can do it. Right? Unless I'm missing something obvious. Bam! Nice crunch. Nice crunch. Uh oh. Whoops. <laughs> you could fall in there? <laughs> Thanks for pulling me out of that ditch. Oh, jeez. Why did it let me fall in there? <laughs> That's so random. Okay. Oh, man. This game. What am I trying to do? I need something called an amulet of annihilation, but whatever. We're just going to walk across the desert. Bye, skeleton. Back to the pit. What's up, Sam and Snake? Snake hand. Or did it only show up after you killed the boss? That's my first time in there, so I don't know. I guess it was just always there. This is the best I can do. Oh, God. Deadly tumbleweed that stun locks. That's kind of impressive how scary that is. Oh man, this place is ruthless. Everything's out to get you here. Uh oh. <laughs> Holy shit. We're in trouble, chat. What? I actually avoided damage from the spider. That was just ambient heat damage. Oh man, he's too slow to hit those. We just gotta run and hopefully we can survive. I do have a heal spell if it comes down to it. I know there's an oasis somewhere. I also vaguely recall if you keep moving laterally, if you keep moving laterally, it loops. So I'm going to do that and hopefully find an oasis or die. Maybe. Gotta heal. Wow. Ambient heat damage. Sounds like it should be on the Google Maps review for the whole state. <laughs> <laughs> that that is horrifying. Chromogram. Thank you for that visual. Come on, Oasis. Dang it. Too slow. Come on. Give me shelter. Give me shelter. Well, it looks completely dry. It doesn't look that hot because of the relatively cool color palette. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. It almost looks like it's like not quite dusk, you know, like it's getting there. That's a lot of tumbleweed that I don't want to deal with. Fuck yeah. Nice. We found one. Do -do 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 -do. 
Why is this tumbleweed trying to murder me? I'm more amused that I can murder tumbleweed. Tumbleweed is like actually a living plant though, isn't it? Like when I was a kid, I always thought it was just like a dead bush rolling around, but apparently it's a plant. Is that right? Like an actual plant and that's just like, it's how it like propagates seeds is just put wind pushing it everywhere. Okay, that sucks. I got poisoned. I'm still poisoned. Well, let's just ride it out. Sam, the biggest thing that makes retro games timeless is nostalgia, but also that they played it very differently compared to modern games. They do a lot of the time, don't they? It's an incredibly invasive plant. Is it really? Wow. It does kind of look like wet sand color, doesn't it? You're right. You're right. Ow! How did that knock me backwards when it hit me from behind? <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> How does that work? Oh. Oh. So much anger in this desert. Weep. So for me, I feel like one of the, the major reasons retro games are so timeless is gameplay, right? And it's not every retro game, right? We have nights where we play terrible retro games, like as a rule. It's easy to forget how many of those existed. Really easy. Okay, here's another oasis. Cool. But it, to me, it just further cements the concept that gameplay will always trump pretty much everything else in a game, right? The game has to be fun and engaging to play. Everything, irrespective of everything else, that needs to happen first, in my opinion. And a lot of the times these old retro games were far more hamstrung by the tech and the capabilities of the time. So I feel like they more frequently had to focus on gameplay versus now. And I don't think the way things are done now is any worse than back then or vice versa. It's just different. It's just different. Chuck Ultra. Secret spoils? Uh, yeah, you can. I already know about the quicksand one, if that's what you meant. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, wow. Nice dodges. You see that? Uh oh. Ha! <laughs> uh, oh! Oasis. Oh, I found him. It's a hot one today, isn't it? The bad bugs are out, too. What you need is some help, but I'm prepared to give it to you. This is a formula called Sting. I'll give you the edge over nasty critters. All right, Sting requires two parts water, one part urine. Got it. Good. I thought I don't. I knew this guy was in the desert. I just didn't know how to find him. So what you just saw was me randomly finding him to be quite blunt. I was hoping I would run into him, but I didn't know how to. Tumbleweeds sap nutrients from areas and become breeding grounds for dangerous pathogens. Wow. Tumble heat seeking missiles. I want to see a bazooka that shoots those. Okay. Who's going to make it happen? Who's going to make it happen? I want to see <laughs> tumbleweeds that shoot heat seeking missiles. And you know, that would just or No, that's not what I want. I want a bazooka that shoots heat seeking tumbleweeds. <laughs> <laughs> Words are hard. Shut up. <laughs> Wow, that probably made no sense to almost everybody listening and watching. Boop. 
Tumblezooka, yeah. Be a nerf gun, right? Ow! Ow! What's up, KV? How are you doing? Alright. Alright, another oasis. Give me those sweet, sweet heels. I don't know if there's any other secrets in the desert, though. Beep. Not sure. A tumbleweed that explodes into heat seeking thorns. Wow. That actually sounds kind of like something you would see in Borderlands or something. Uh, what the fuck? What was that? Did I just glitch out? <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh, well, here's the town. Why did I just teleport? <laughs> I screen wrapped? <sighs> okay. Luck is my superpower. You've just seen another instance of it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It never stops, does it? It's gonna make me feel better if I get rid of these, okay? Splort! No! Stop dodging me! Rude. There. What the fuck just happened? Yeah, this is what I'm saying, you know? Okay, this thing needs to go away. <laughs> uh, do I have any spells I can use a lot of? No. Eh, hard ball. There you go. Four? Oh my god. Four. Damn it. Damn it. I hope this spider isn't screwing this up. <laughs> yeah, scientists. I was talking about that earlier. I, I want to try it someday. Some glitches happened? Oh, like what? There we go. Okay. No! He's back! There you go. Fuck. There you go. There was the first message. Whoa, getting dizzy. Oh. All right. He knocked me out of it, but we're back. Okay. Calculating such large prime numbers beyond the scope of your text-based response. Yeah, Motsi, that was kind of absurd. <laughs> kind of absurd whoa spin to win the biggest glitch was in this area trying to cross the river there's a point to this I promise okay this is kind of ridiculous I'm in a quicksand I get it it's it's killing me slowly it's killing me slowly and yet I'm still standing here. There's a good reason for it, okay? All right. Spin to win. Spin to win. Let's heal up. <laughs> Softly is the uh, song. Whoa, getting dizzy. Uh-oh, did it restart? Or was that this different message? Looks like ads are about to kick in. We're just going to be doing this. Shit. I did not have enough ramp up time to warn people. It's a pile of rubble. <laughs> Delph. Uh, thanks for 92 bits. What'd you vote for? Ninja Toidles. Ninja Toidles. All right. We'll pause for the uh, folks caught in the ad 
situation. The ad situation. You know what's weird? So you know how Discord is doing that forced like name change thing on everyone because they're getting rid of the numbers? Which I don't understand why they thought that was a good idea, but anyway. Anyway, Overthrow all the enemy. maybe it's like a bot prevention measure. I don't know. I don't think it's going to work. You couldn't get Motsy? Yeah, I didn't think you would. So now those name display names are considered like personal data. So when I turn on streamer mode, everyone's names show up as just the first letter in discord. <laughs> if they've done the name change. That's all I see is the first letter. So I'm like, who is that? <laughs> it's kind of confusing. So I had to actually like shut up, shut up, set up a hot key to turn on and off streamer mode on my keyboard quickly so I could see who the fuck is talking. How intuitive. Like, why don't they just let me turn off that specific part of the feature? Because there's a toggle for streamer mode that says like hide personal data when active. So that's like DMs, uh, profile data, you know, stuff like that. It's a toggle for all of that. Why can't I just turn off the thing that does that with the name specifically? I don't know what's going on with Discord. Oh yeah, I know. That's what's been happening. It's created an artificial black market for usernames on Discord. It's kind of, it's kind of ridiculous. Kinda, sorta, really ridiculous. I got my name, which was 0% surprising because I was on Discord since 2016. I have Nitro and I have a name that's pretty, pretty unique. Not entirely, but pretty unique, I think. You were in the first day wave and Shaka was already taken. You weren't in the first day wave. Before the first day wave, staff members and like notable people and other things got first pick so they were before the first wave like one to two weeks before it your name is weird but consistent across platforms so that makes it easy were you able to get rid of the numbers delf you were able to get it probably because you've been on discord for so long ads are done by the way thanks for waiting everybody we're still in the quicksand your location has nothing to do with it chromogram it's not based on location it's based on account age nitro sub status whether or not you're a notable like person or organization whether or not your discord staff location they don't look at <laughs> Spin, 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 wee! <laughs> He's still going. <laughs> Actually, let's just use a pedal. We got a bunch of those, don't we? Yeah. Are you a notable person? You are the notable person, right? That's not what I'm asking, Delph. Your name literally has numbers in it right now. I'm looking at them. I'm asking if you got rid of them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'm seeing them right now. In chat. You managed to retain your name. You could camp your own name too. Possibly, yeah. That would be hard to do. You basically get last pick if you had to make another account for it. But I think they only allow one account per phone number or something like that. Gotta, gotta, hurl! Uh oh. The man is getting sick. He just yawned while dying in the desert. <laughs> uh, you still have 267. Why did you keep that? I'm curious. Do, 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 do. 
He's suffering heat stroke. That's it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Come on. There it goes. Hey, where am I? Received rice and spice. Rice and spice. Also got healed. Rice and spice. I don't think there's a way to see how much of that I have, though, unfortunately. Pouch? Oh, there you go. 99 rice, 99 spice. Jaguar ring. Oh, okay. There you go. So it's a little weird secret that gives you a bunch of rice and spice. Boom, boom, boom. It's an obscure reference to your name. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That is pretty obscure. All right, so we're at the the town, which has this like whole really cool trading bazaar, like a marketplace, like an ancient marketplace. I don't remember exactly the order to do things, but or at all, but we have rice and spice, so it's a start, right? <laughs> To start. Oh boy. You may enter our city by the authority of our fearless leader. You're welcome. We don't see many people wearing pants around here. You're a strange one. Yeah, I know. Pants are pretty weird. What you need is ceramic pots. Where's Dongo? Somewhere in this city. Only two bags of rice per pot. What do you say? Um, I don't know. Do I want th want that? How many? Zach, thank you for seven months. That voice is so weird. Who needs pants? When you could rock pots. Zach, thank you so much for seven months. How the hell are you? How the hell are you? Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Let's see. Okay. All right. I know there was like, oh, you want to get X, Y, Z, and then just go from there, right? Do, 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 do. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Crying yourself away from Tears of Kingdom for a little while. I still haven't played that. I asked my roommate like a couple days ago. I was like, yo, did you beat that yet? She's like not even close. Wow, that's a big game. <laughs> not even close. Oh, massive game. Man. I can't wait to see how big it is. All right, let's see if this guide is any accuracy. We want a stone vest. Oh, this is not helping me. This is saying what I can get, but not really how I should go about getting it. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Meh. Oh man, this is complex, chat. It's a big game, yeah? Nice, Zach. Stand, stood on a candle and burned himself. <laughs> You're far from beating tears? Is that big, huh? He's just been wandering around ignoring the story. That's usually what I do in, the, in those, those kind of games. I tend to ignore the story either make my own or just wait until I've had my fill of aimless wandering. Uh, okay. Oh my God. All right. This one, not helpful. This one. No, Jesus. Meh. Do, do, do. What 
in the world? I'm looking at some of these like guides in the internet and it's just, I look, it, I feel like I'm reading an Excel database. <laughs> oh my God. Chat, you need to see this. This is ridiculous. I, I need to take a college course for this. <laughs> It's like, what do you want me to do? Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Use them all the time for Fire Emblem. Do, 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 do. He's just to do the thing in breath. Do the thing. You had a weird knuckling down moment of complete all the shrines before you went for the final fight. Nice. Yeah, I know. Pyramids. Matsi wrote this, right? Look at that. <laughs> it's a Matsi pyramid. <laughs> in this guide. Oh, jeez. Like, I even understand, like, hey, do all these, right, in this order. But you also have to know where these are. And this is not helping. Even a little bit. This is not helping. Do, do, do. You need a map to cross-reference that. Farts. Fart noises with my mouth are fun. It starts with any rice and at the bottom you have a spoon. I like spoons. Yeah, buy a spoon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the dungeon graph. <laughs> You just said screw this to all that stuff and action replayed yourself 99 of all the vendor trade stuff I mean, I've got a leg up because I have 99 rice and spice already, right? So we have a bit of an advantage So I don't need to do these steps, right? I don't need to do any of these I can start it by 14 beads Right? We can start right here. Because I have 99 rice and 90. It's tough. <laughs> oh, Delf. Thanks for the bits. And the bits. The reverse bits. The, 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 the stib. Thanks for the stib. Boom, 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 boom. Boo, 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 boo. All right, let me close that. Let me close that bit of silliness right there. Um, let's see. We got a map here. Okay. Do do do. Y'all can help if you'd like, but I think the first order of business appears to be getting fourteen beads, right? Where do we get those? Little oh boy. Oh boy. Beads. Jewels? I think you can buy beads with jewels. You could buy chickens? Nice. Wow, this place is big. Holy smokes. I can get beads for jewels. 70 bits. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, Del, thank you for the Duke Donuts bits. Oh, boy. <laughs> Wait, so do I need... What do I need to do here? Even the map is confusing. Doo -doo -doo -doo. 
Dee -dee -dee -dee. Buy beads. So you can trade rice and jewels to buy beads. That's what we need to do. Okay. Okay. So that's this guy. Hello. I don't believe a word this guy says. The end is near. Hit my warning. Hit my warning. We're in for a cataclysmic event, the likes of which we've never seen. The new leader of our world is not what he seems. He has evil intentions that will trigger a cataclysm. He's probably right. My beads are perfect. Nice. Chromagram's got the emo combo. Yes, I am interested. Ten. And then four. One. Two. Three. Four. We have 14 beads. Okay, next. 11 chickens. <laughs> okay. Uh, we gotta get 11 chickens. Oh my goodness. All right. Anybody selling chickens? You will give me an egg. Spice and rice. 70 bits. Oh boy. 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 Jesus. I think that's the first time we've gotten new spam of that one. Random Duke Donuts. <laughs> Uh, he needs to see that. He needs to see that. Where's the chicken seller? Ew, it's the lady with the bunch of chickens. What a shock. Uh, uh oh. Wait, how do I get there? Oh shit. I don't even know. This, I went the wrong way. Oh boy. It's this way. Chickens. Hello, I said chickens. How many chickens do I need? I need 11 chickens. It's a deal. Oh man. Three. It's a deal. Six. Oh boy. Do, do, do. Three. Okay. And then two. We'll be closing in 14 minutes. Oh, fuck me. Okay. We got 11 chickens. I'm supposed to keep talking to this guy. Heed my warning. Somebody's watching over us, controlling us. It's true. I tell you it's true. That's meta. We're merely sprites that dance at the beck and call of our button pressing overlord. This is a video game. Don't you see? We're characters in a video game. This guy's a nutcase. If I'm lying, may I be struck down by the powers that be. Basket. <laughs> Amazing. Baskets don't talk. <laughs> uh, three tapestries. Okay. It was a loss. What are you talking about? You need to say the thing that happens first. Do, do, do. You get stone armor? Oh, okay. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that would have been useful to know before you were trying to explain it. Because I do things in order, right? Once you do that, talk to him again. And then I did. <laughs> and that happened. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. All right. What do I need? Tapestries? Yes. Three tapestries. Uh, okay. Those are just beads, which is pretty close by. So we could just go down here. Right here. You? No. You. Oh, there you go. She has literal tapestries. Three beads per. 
We need three. Okay. Do 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 do. Do do do. A baleful polymorph. Nice. Eight perfume. For three spice each. Perfume. Who sells that? Oh man, this is this is tough. This is a weird map. Um, who the heck sells that? It's not on here. Huh? There's no one on this map that sells perfume. Fish, rice, armor polish, golden jackal, spice spoon. Weird. Weird. Doo -doo. Well, this is a problem. I was looking at a map to help me find stuff, right? However, this map doesn't have one of the things I need. Which is perfume. What do you think, chat? What do you think? What is this? Oh, geez. What did I do? No, I didn't want to do that. Okay. I'm trying to, I'm trying to like navigate this. I hope the timer isn't going right now, by the way. That would be bad. Otherwise, we might have to reload. Yeah, no one on this sells perfume. What if they're in a different section? Mm. Has anyone ever done this? Well, some of you have, but... Oh, there it is. I found it. Fuck. I'm just not good at finding things. My bad. It's uh, this person. No. Well, that doesn't match up. Down here. You. Okay. Jace. Jace Louise. I need eight perfumes. Yes. Three. Six. Two. Do, 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 do. If you name the hero, fuck the skeleton upcharges you. Yes. Or any bad word. Yes. Correct. Two limestone tablets. Uh, okay. Where is that? I like the, the, how, like the music here is basic, but I like it. It's like the right vibe. How do I get in there? It's closed off. It's closed off. I think I have to get through there through a roundabout way. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, Zach. So I need to get in there. <laughs> so let's yell at a chicken. I think it's through here. What? What's the meaning of this? Why do you disturb my rest? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. You're a skinny little guy. You need some meat in your bones. You need brute strength. I got the thing for you. The power of Atlas. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's dope. Uh, all right, goodbye, hardball. We have the power of Atlas. You need an Atlas medallion. Sure, thanks. I'll take it. I'll take it. Hello. My warehouse emporium. Buy items. What do you got? Nectar, pixie dust, wings, dog biscuit, assets. What does wings do? What do the wings do? Limestone tablets. We need two. 
We also need four jeweled scarabs. That sounds good. Three. One. Now I need three golden jackal. I don't know what this is actually going to result in. I'm kind of excited to see though, chat. We're all gonna find out together. All right, golden jackal, where are you hiding at? Do 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 do. Bronze gauntlet, moxa stick, silver sheath, sunstone. When I was a kid, I used to like game this system to try and get every key item here. Like that was like a goal. I don't remember if I ever pull it off, but I wanted to try to get every single key item, at least one of them. Wings gets you out of a dungeon. Ah, okay. There you go. All right, golden jackals and like a big row of people. I think it's you. There it is. We need three. For two chickens. 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 Okay. Let's trade. Chickens. Okay, now we need the ruby heart. The ruby heart. Who's excited to see what this is going to result in? I, I am. I am. I need to see what this is going to do. The ruby heart. And that is sold by the mysterious butt smith. What? I actually have no idea who sells it. Where's the mysterious butt smith? They're down here. Okay. Are you the butt smith? No. Are you the butt smith? Yes. <laughs> the ruby heart. Yes. Trade other goods. Now we need to buy a jade disc. Okay. Oh my goodness. And that is... Mm. Mm. Right, right here. The Jade Disc of Emperor Key? You don't have enough goods. Excuse me? <laughs> Fuck. What am I missing? I need more beads. Okay. <laughs> we need more beads. Apparently 14 beads was not enough. This guy just failed us miserably. Uh, okay. We got to get beads. Which was this guy right here. Give me beads. He's at eight minutes left. Uh, five. Sure. Three chickens and three beads. It's a deal. Okay. Do, 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 do. So we got the jade disc. Now we need a moxa stick. Okay, that's down here. Right here. You. you may heal your wounds more effectively when you possess the moxa stick. Is that true? Is that true? Deal. Silver sheath. Which I think is right here. And we're supposed to trade it for golden jackal and 10 jars of spice. Okay. Okay. It does boost the power of your healing items and alchemy. I, I hope we get to keep it. Because that sounds really good. Sunstone is next. Which is right here. You have more power ahead for the battles ahead. Okay. We got the sunstone. Spoon. Now I'm buying a spoon. <laughs> Spoon! Oh my god. Somebody is selling a spoon. What the hell does the spoon do? My spoon is too big. From the misplaced city of Constagando. Sure. Thank you for your spoon. There is no spoon. Oh, I just got a fake item. That's too bad. Bronze gauntlet. One spoon and two tapestries. 
There you go. Now it's starting to come together, chat. My spoon is too big. This one. Rod's gauntlet. Wait, don't I already have that? Hold on. Oh, no, I have a serpent bracer. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a deal. Aha! That is no spoon. Obsidian helmet. Which is right here. Ten jars of spice. Nice. There we go. Good. Good. Centurion helmet. Wait. Why am I... Okay. Well, that's odd. Why am I getting both of those? Also, where is that? I don't even see that on this map. That's not good. It's not actually on the map? Hmm. Where the fuck do you get that? Uh. What is the milkman's location? Uh. This says buy Centurion helmet, but it doesn't actually say where the hell that is. Good. Good times. <laughs> Come on, tell me where it is. Tell me where it is. Ooh, this is not helpful. Is there a different section where people sell stuff? Apparently you can trade a chocobo egg for a magic gourd. I wonder what that does. I don't know. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Um, I can get a ruby heart. Don't know what that does. Yeah, I don't see this on here anywhere. Hmm. Once you get all three pieces of basic armor, you can get the new equipment from the vendors. Oh, okay. I think I see what you're saying. So I need to go up here. Where is it? Right here. You? Stone vest, jeweled scarab. Yes. Okay. So I have these now, right? So you're saying I can get new equipment from the vendors. So let's test that. Woof, woof. Where's the person that was selling the helmet? Was it right here? No, that guy. Centurion helmet, 10 jars of spice and a golden jackal. That's what we want, right? Doo 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 doo. Sure. So now we have an even better helmet. Holy shit, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's really good. Doo 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 doo. So what about this one here? The gloves of Ra. What does that do? Gloves of Ra. That's not even on this map. This map is incomplete. <laughs> uh. Gloves of Ra. I feel like the Moxa sticks better than that, though, isn't it? Yes. What's the Golden Jackal? I don't want to get rid of the Moxa stick for that. Jade disc. I'm not gonna get the cape or the gloves of Ra. 
I, I, I think that's a bad idea. Because I'll lose those, like, passive bonuses, which are going to last forever. Versus... A, a piece of equipment that will only last me a temporary amount of time. Right? I forget what the Golden Jackal... Was the Golden Jackal special? I, it, I don't think it was. All right, I think we're good, though. We did, like, most of the trades we needed to, right? Do, 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 do. Oops, I went too far. Rice, that's not what I'm looking for. No. Oh, here we go. Okay, the Golden Jackal is just a trade item. It's not a passive bonus. So, let's take a look here. Okay. These are the things I didn't want to lose, right? Lowers enemy chances of landing a blow. Greater strength. Better sword damage. Better healing. Better hit chance. Yeah, we want all of these. This is nice. This is going to make combat a little better. Yeah, Slayer. How's it going? Good to see you. Doo -doo. I, I pulled up a map for this bazaar because it's, it's a real hot mess to figure it out. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And I wanted to make sure to get these key items that we have right here. This was the real, the real play here was to get these, these past permanent passive boosts. He is dressed like Marty McFly. I never, I never pieced that together. No shit. <laughs> do 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 do. Do 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 do. do. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Um, at this point, I think we're good, right? This says to prepare for later, get an additional 20 perfumes and 18 beads, but you can buy those later. Okay. I'm not worried about it then. All right. We're good. Let's go. Let's go. GG everyone. Look at all this badass shit we got. We just got massive boosts across the board. Any other secrets anyone wants me to check out before the timer runs up? Got that stone vest. Very nice. Got the bronze gauntlet. And we got the centurion helm. Go north and lift the rock. Sure. Uh, I don't know if I can. Ooh, I can. Here we go. Levitate. Look at this guy. I am Tiny the Barbarian. I am the strongest creature alive. Nobody lifts my rock but me. You know, it's ironic that your name is Tiny because you're actually very large. Yes. Tiny likes irony. <laughs> Do you want Tiny to show you the real way to lift a rock? I'll do it for a tapestry from the market. Do it. You don't have one. No art, no show. Oh, shit. We need a tapestry chat. Fuck. I just closed those things. <laughs> Damn it. Hold on. Panic. Panic. Trade the silver sheath for armor polish to boost your defense over sword attack. I'll take the sword attack. But that's good to know. I appreciate it. Do, do, do. Someone dedicated an emote to you. Man? Whoa. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's really cool. Uh, all right. We need to find a tapestry, right? We did that before. We can do it again. Where was that person? It was a lady. She wants beads. Three beads for a tapestry. Do we have three beads? I don't think we do. We do exactly have three beads. Okay, run, 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 run. Run, run, or you'll be well done. I am 
of the tapestry. Thank you. Run back. Bum, 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 bum. That's a moo moo. Sounds like moo moo's done streaming. Lift that rock. It's a deal. Clear the way. This is going to be good. Jesus. Now that's how you lift the rock. That thing went into orbit. <laughs> what if that lock will, rock will ever land? Uh, no, probably not. <laughs> There's a max HP upgrade. Yo, wait, how do I do that? I don't think I got that. Tell me how to do that before we run out of time. I want a max. Erectus. Erectus. That, yeah, he did show me. Yeah, absolutely. We did not stand a chance. Do, 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 middle right by the door and goat. There's a door and a goat on the middle right. Uh, ma? What does that mean? <laughs> uh, Moo doesn't want to tell me how her stream went. She's hiding. I could get an annihilation amulet for rice. Oh, that might be a good idea, chat. I'm going to go do that. How much rice do I have? 53. It's 30 rice each. We could buy more rice, too. We could buy more rice. I think three jewels per rice, right? I think that's the cheapest. Yep. Which is like literally her. Yes. 20. Good. And then is it you? Yes. 30 bags. It's a deal. Do, 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 do. 30 bags. All right. I got two annihilation amulets. How's the farting cat? Farting cat. Is there a farting cat in this game? Wait, what is that from? Sorry, my cable's loose. Let me fix this. There we go. All oh, right, the art from yesterday. Well, I mostly finished that one, but I left a bunch of space open on it in case we got more subs the rest of the night. We got a couple more. <clears throat> we got a couple more. All right, so Zach, I don't know what you're trying to tell me <clears throat> about where this is. You can haggle with that guy and get three for one jewel, but then he will never deal with you again. Oh, interesting. Do, 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 do. What'd you do today, Mo? She erectus. Ow, shit. You were trying to give me directions to the tapestry lady. Oh, I, were try I thought you were trying to tell me where to get the HP thing. But that was Andrew that said that. Dude, dude, dude it's not on this map. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ah! I am so sad I missed your partner anniversary yesterday. <laughs> I was saving this for you, Moo Blush. Moo Blush? No HP upgrade. All right, carrying on then. Rash chickens, why not? <clears throat> These are just for sale, they're my friends. Hello, friends. Get your hey, you. What? Yes, you. What the f oh, fuck. 
You're not taught the chicken. <laughs> oh shit! I was just being a dick. <laughs> Don't taunt the chickens. Okie dokie. Uh, wasn't no Zelda chicken swarm, but it was basically the same thing. <laughs> Taught the goats if you want, but leave the chickens alone. We'll see if it does anything. That's probably it, right? Oh man, the plastic's coming off here. Shit. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Gotta line it, the fingernails up just right. Oh, I'm talking to the old man. I thought I did something. <laughs> uh, there's probably nothing for taunting the goats. Yeah, I think we've, I think we've seen that one through. <laughs> Thank you for this. Uh, moo, 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 moo. What are you, what are your, do you mean like BTTV and stuff for extensions? The market's going to close any minute. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's this? Welcome to my inn. Uh, no, but I will save. I will save the game. Do, do, do. That was cool. That was cool. That was fun. Doing all that trading and then finding the little Easter eggs and stuff. <gasps> this place is empty. The big meeting is in the square is probably starting. Hold on. There's like a hidden jewel cache in one of these pots. I can't remember where it is, but it was initially blocked. So let's see if we can't find that. Boom, bam, boom, boom, bam, boom, boom. Look for like isolated pots. Maybe this one. Was it this one? Nope. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled. Look for isolated pots. Okay, I'm gonna find the secret stash. Do, 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 do. Here? Damn, where is it? We did just save, so that's nice. If we like, just, if we're still crunched for time, we can just reload. This one? No, which one is it? I can't remember. <laughs> this one? Damn. This one. Nope. Shit. Uh, this one. Nope. Damn. It's like one of these pots in, in here somewhere has jewels, right? It might not even be a pot. Damn it. It's not that one. That one? Nope. 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 Okay. Come on. I I really hope that I didn't imagine this. This one. Yes! 500 jewels. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Money. All right, let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Cutscene. Let's go. I hail the mighty and powerful sacred dog. In honor of the sacred dog's appearance, there will be a battle in the Colosseum. Our champion will fight a challenger to be chosen by the sacred dog. Show us, sacred dog. Show us who the challenger shall be. Oh, no. This is not going to end well. Secret warning. Huh? It's Augustus. Don't go into the Colosseum right away. Okay. I like this song. Listen to this. This game is good music. Just kind of carries you away into another place, you know? Uh, 
you're having issues with 7 TV or BT TV, I uninstalled 7 TV. It causes way too many issues. It causes a lot of issues on Twitch for me. Because this is that you? You're the sacred dog? Ruth, that figures. The sacred dog is chosen. Tiny, take our challenger to the Coliseum. Yeah, he changes every region we go to. It's really cool. I am Tiny. You're coming with me. Okay, I'm in the Coliseum, so I guess I missed the secret. You wait here. Tiny waits outside. That way nobody gets hurt. Not until you fight Vigor, anyway. Uh-oh. Guy has some sense of humor. He's not himself lately nice. Greetings, challenger. I am Pompolonius, advisor to the new leader of Nobilia. Uh, hi, I'm Kid. There's been some sort of mistake. I'm not really the gladiator fighting type. But you were chosen. Do, 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 do. Without 7 TV enabled, chat doesn't work? What the fuck? What happened? <laughs> what did you do to your chat? <laughs> Is it... I didn't... So, okay, I didn't say I had to disable 7 TV. I said I had to uninstall it. Like, remove the extension entirely. Because it was causing a lot of issues. There's no denying that. You're going to fight. Now I'm going to leave and let you prepare. The gate will close behind me. When it opens again, that's your cue to come out fighting. Okay. You got it. Secret wall in this room. Got it. Well, Augustus, this is another fine mess you've gotten us into. Here I am about to take on some tooth-spitting, sword-carrying champion gladiator, and all I've got is a femur, a claw, and a stick. Centurion cape. Pedal. Wax, wax. Call bead, call bead, gloves of raw, a hundred jewels. Is that what you meant? <laughs> it's dope. Gloves of raw. You said I could get the HP upgrade later, Andrew? Okay. Yeah, we'll worry about that later then. <laughs> Yeah, Zach, you don't need to tell me to equip items in this game. <laughs> I'm not brand new to RPGs. Only tell me that if I actually forgot to do it. Okay. We're good, right? Don't think there's anything else in here. There's a sniffy dog, right? Find anything, Augustus? No. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's get to the games. This is exciting. You stay here, Augustus. Stay. And don't get into any more trouble. <laughs> he just goes to take a nap. Oh. Woo! Excuse me. Wow, this is pretty epic. You paid for an entire seat, but you're only going to need the edge. Oh my god. <laughs> the king of chaos, the Babylonian bruiser, the pulverizing prince of pandemonium. Vigor the indestructible. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a good looking crowd. Yeah, Mog and Realm and Strago are back there. Umaro. I think Celeste and Locke as well. See him there? See him there? You win. Isn't that a cool little Easter egg? You, you know, blink and you miss it kind of thing. Some loser with a claw! Oh, wow. Wow. Harsh. It's good to know the crowd's on my side. So this is like that big fight scene. A dirt, sword, sweat, and togas. 
I think the hero got pummeled in that picture. Oh well, here goes nothing. Let the battle begin. What? What? Oh, what the fuck? Did you see that? The crowd pushed me away from the edge. <laughs> he has projectiles? Okay. Maybe I gotta hit him from the side, right? Maybe I gotta hit him from the side. How are we doing on this? We only have four of this. <laughs> Fooey balls. Five crush. We could do speed 16. Acid rain's terrible. So let's do speed. Oh dear. I hope that didn't hit me. It did it. Good. Five. 22. Okay, 22 is better than 5. Hitting him from front, 5 damage, right? Didn't do much. Let's try the side. 0. 29. We gotta hit his butt. Okay. I feel like I'm doing this wrong, but that's okay. That's okay. We just gotta time it. Alright? When he stops to throw, I think that's our oh, chance. Oh shit, my butt! Oh shit, my butt! My butt. Oh, double butt. Not fair. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, not fucking fair. What a dick. What? Oh, how do you hit him? How do you hit this guy? What's the trick? What's the trick? Oh. There. <laughs> he doesn't like when I go up there. Because he can't go up there. And then I think the crowd like pushes you out. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're getting some hits. We're getting some hits, Randy. Eyes. Eyes. You use the spear's charge attack? I don't use the spear because it has no reach. So I don't have the charge attack. Like the spear, for some reason, has no reach. The long range weapon has no reach in this game. <laughs> The irony. Oh, well, I'll take one damage. That's fine. Boop, boop, boop. What's up, evil Alex? How you doing? There you go. There you go. So you gonna flex? Do your flex. Do it again. Yeah. Flex these nuts. Ah! All right. Who loves a cliffhanger? It's just an ad break. <laughs> the ads are about to kick in. We don't want anyone who's unsubbed to miss this exciting gladiatorial match. So we have to pause for the ad roll. Okay. Future so bright, you need shades. Nice. What's up, Jeff Schmidt? How the hell are you? How the hell are you? Good to see you. Whoa. Yeah, ads are about to kick in, but we're all on the same page. The breaks happen at the same time. Everybody can take a breather. I'm going to go refill my water. Game's great, Alex. Thanks for asking. I always like this game. Always have ever since it came out. It's one of those kind of not so much a hidden gem, but a cult classic on the Super Nintendo. You know, I think it's a cult classic. That's the uh, the, the uh, status I would give this game. The timing of these things was ill-advised. The chat thing was FFC. Was it a setting? 
and FFC? Because FFC has a ton of settings. Usually you can just toggle them. I don't think I ever want to get rid of FFC. It does too many things for me that are helpful. You beat this last year for the first time. You liked it a lot. Yo, nice. That's dope. Do -do 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 -do. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba. I am getting to play Terranigma for the first time this year, which we'll be playing on Sunday. We're going to play more Terranigma on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. You can't find it? Oh my goodness. Okay, I like that bird emote. <laughs> You can identify with the character. Let's see, where's the FFC setting? So it's chat based, so you want to go to the chat settings. Probably inline. No, it's not there. Uh let's see. Where is it? There's padding around lines. Timestamps. Did it did did it did uh, emotes token types rich content subs no filtering Ba I know I've seen that setting somewhere. Toss up between who gives you worse puns. You or SOE's protagonist. <laughs> okay, that's why you identify. Oh, that sucks, Alex. I'm probably going to grind crush. I believe that's the one that I will grind. Do, 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 do. Mm, yeah, I can't find that setting right now. I'll try to find it after stream. Because that's really weird. It's like really weird. That it's timing out your, like, or removing your messages after a certain amount of time. Uh, oh, also the ads are done because I spent so much of that time looking for that setting and didn't get water. Well, I still have water a bit. <laughs> I'll get more later. All right, let's continue the gladiatorial match. Let's go. Let's go. Let's use a call bead. Fire eye storm. Wow, that was okay. 39 could have been better, but you know. Whoa. Too aggressive. Okay, he's going slow. Throwing in an item. Yep. Uh, too far. Too far. Do it. What? <laughs> uh, oh man. Oh, I almost got two shots at him, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got hit by trash. I need to heal. I gotta heal, chat. I gotta heal. Go get water? No, I refuse. I refuse. Damn, too far. thought that was a hit okay I like when I get him jammed in there oh no they got me what damn oh what the f jerk <laughs> how did that hit me oh man Oh, man. Damn it. Oh, really? Just contact damage, too. Okay. Heal. 
I'm gonna have to buy more ingredients. Cindy is melting. Why are you melting? Why are you melting? Stop bathing in a vat of acid. Like, come on. Well, that was weird. I didn't realize you could see a sprite like that from him. Did you see that? That was different. Ugh. See? <laughs> it's 30 degrees. How much is that Fahrenheit? Like what? High 80s? Something like that, right? There we go. What's up, stock or? Oh. How's it going? Got him. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting hits. We're plinking away, right? I wonder how many hit points this guy has. Oh, that wasn't a good hit. There you go. That was a good hit. Weep. That was a good hit. Oh dear. Okay. Boop. I like how he gets like wedged in there. Ah, oh, fuck. Dang. He's still not dead. Crush. Nine. <laughs> 86. Yeah, that's pretty hot. That's pretty hot. Humid heat? I would assume so. Netherlands, is my understanding, is pretty humid most of the time. Ugh. I wonder if Crush will do better if I cast it from behind. Test! Nope, not really. But Savannah's here. Oh my god, Savvy. It's Savvy. I haven't seen you in a while. Hi, Savvy! Super inspiring lady, my goodness. My goodness. Super inspiring lady who is like a singer and like in a band and like crushes Soulsborns and does song requests and is a single mom and takes care of people. She just does like everything ever and somehow maintains a good style too. With all on top of that. <laughs> how do you do it? <laughs> Sammy, how do you do it? Hi everyone, welcome. MXV, the donuts, Rax Faria, Mr. Elysian, welcome back. Bacon fish. I would eat a fish that tastes like bacon. Spuddy, hello. Lights out, Anto, welcome. Lebowski, what's up, dude? What did we just call you, dude? Lebowski. Oh, Lebowski. That's also very much on point with that. Oh my goodness, Zach. We're almost there. A cake's a low. Stop saying nice things. I just finished the charity strip with a ball of emotion. No, I refuse. I was trying to message you the other day and like I couldn't find you on Discord anymore. It was weird. It wouldn't let me. I'm like, didn't we talk on Discord before? I couldn't figure it out. I don't know. No, oh, dang it. Just throw things at me. Welcome everyone. I'm playing Secret of Evermore. I haven't played this in like five years. It's a, one of those cult classics on the Super Nintendo. Uh oh, I gotta heal. I gotta heal. What up, Lebowski? The dude abides, that's right. There's a certain, uh, you know, certain satisfaction in knowing that the dude's out there taking care, taking it easy for the rest of us sinners, as he says. <laughs> as he says in the movie. <laughs> oh, fuck. You almost got this guy. You almost got this guy. Everyone loves bacon fish. I would love to know what a bacon fish tastes like. Wow, Zach! Look at that. Fucking A, right, man? Just make sure you get a nice rug that ties the room together, okay? That's important. Look at him stuck. <laughs> the crowd started throwing trash at me. Oh. Uh... Love it. He's stuck. Oh, I still got hit. Thank you, Zach, for the gifts of the chromogram. Well, the community, really, right? 
Yes. Okay, we gotta hit. This is so hard. You can only hit him from behind. You can only hit him from behind. What was Savvy doing in her charity stream? Oh god, that seems to always get me. I gotta heal again. Oh man. It's coming down to the wire. It's coming down to the wire. There we go. Tidy tree. That was a good hit, actually. Don't throw your... Don't! Oh, I dodged it. Yes! We got him! We got him! Let's go. That was hard. Holy smokes. I did it! I did it! Yo, thanks for the five bits. <laughs> Bacon fish. A lot of singing. She did a lot of singing. Hell yeah. Do, 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 do. Thanks for the GG Cine, Mahoodles, of Randy, Zach, Andrew, Mr. Elysia, Shunk, Doge. You join fully at the end since you're doing your own things. Oh, right on. Wickety. Are you taking over? You always take over, little lady. You always take over. Singing, community games, laughs, cries, some dad jokes sprinkled on top. That that sounds about right, yeah. <laughs> Hello, little lady. Are you here to steal the camera? Because you're a little diva cat. You're like Savannah, aren't you? You're a little diva. There you go. Give her little pat pats. She likes her kitty pats. She likes her kitty pats. Do you want to lay down, little lady, or do you want to steal the spotlight? She wants to steal the spotlight. Also, welcome, Crisis. Thanks for the GG. Thanks for the GG. You can lay down? You can lay down. Go ahead. Go on, kitty. Want to make space for you? You over quadrupled the goal? Oh, no wonder she's a bundle of emotion right now. She's got to do her post-stream self-care after all that. My goodness. Kitty cat. Y'all, you need to see, this is what I have to deal with when I'm streaming, okay? Point of view time, ready? There you go. Yep. Tech was not in my favor, but it, 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 I'm happy to send my fox here. This is one of my top three favorite place to lure. Oh my god, Savvy, how dare you be so nice to me? So you see how to spread everything out? Because cat's like, I'm laying down. This is my show now. <laughs> See, we got Savvy there. I had to move chat because she was blocking it. It's usually down here. Thanks, Savvy, for six months. Thanks, Savvy. Here. You ready? You ready? We're going to get the spot. Oh, look at how look at how complacent and entitled she looks. Ready? Here it comes. Get the spot. Oh, yeah, there it is. That's the, that's the spot. There it is. Look, she's starting to make biscuits. All those white flecks on the mouse pad. You know what that is? Her tearing out the threads from kneading and making bread on the mouse pad. I did. I called Savvy a diva. Yeah. This cat's a diva too. She's like Savvy. <laughs> she steals the show, you know? She steals the show. Eric's, what's up? What's up? Look at this cat. Oh, she's so happy with herself right now. You see that? Yeah. There you go. Get your tummy rubs. You want a little tummy rub? What, you want to lick? That's why her name's Lickety. She has to lick everything. Yeah, I'm just a co-streamer, so that's right. Yeah, who's your good kitty? She's a pretty old gal. Yo, Randy, thanks for six bits. Thanks for six bits. Savvy, thanks for lurking all the time. Look at her. She's licking my stream deck. <laughs> You're really vibing right now, aren't you, old gal? Yeah. What a nice old gal. What a nice old gal. But now I can't push any buttons on the stream deck. You are not a diva. Okay, you're not a diva. You're you're a force of nature. That's what you are. You're a force of nature. <laughs> you accidentally backed out of the raid and then had to look through all the retro streamers to find it. Oh, wow. That was a concerted effort there. Nicely done. You went above and beyond. 
do 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 We underestimated your abilities, except this sword is an award. Hey, I got a gladiator sword. That would have been nice before the fight, but hey, that's okay. You know, what I'd really like is a clue. Where are we? What are we doing here? How do we get back to Podunk? Hmm. The answers lie on the west side of the river. They're in the diamond eyes of the sacred uh, statue. Wah. Dude, dude. Yeah, anytime. Thanks for thinking of me, Savvy. After everything you did today, you thought of this place, you know? It's what I say. Chat, think about this. I want you to think about this. Everyone that's here. At any given point, I say this a lot. At any given point, there are 90 to 100,000 channels live on Twitch. And you are here right now. So I appreciate that. Because those are some wicked odds. <laughs> uh, bye, Savvy. Send me a DM sometime. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta catch up, okay? Send me a DM. I don't know. Twitter or Discord or whatever works for you. Bum, bum, bum. Twitch has been leaving a lot of people behind on raids. Yeah, Lebolski. So you know what I've been doing? Because I've seen that too. You know what I've been doing? So whenever we do a raid here, I of course do the raid command, but then I also put the direct link in chat. Because they're starting to get more unreliable. You know, especially for our mobile. Savvy! <laughs> Oh my goodness. Thank you for five gift subs. How dare you be nice to me? Wow. The nerve. The nerve of this lady. The gall. The gall. The minerals. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Do, 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 do. Explain yourself. <laughs> Blue. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so let 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 the uh, let the lady. Oh my God, she's still going. Savvy. Savannah Lo has gifted that tire un sub to Mister Tire Basilicia. Mister something Elysia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lebolski. Yeah, it happens to me too. So I just put the link in chat just in case, you know. It definitely happens. So we want to make sure everybody can come along if they want. Do, 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 do. Savvy, thank you for the gift sub to Mr. Elysia. Your 14th total. Oh my goodness. Now we got somebody anonymously doing it. Look at that. Yo, the direct gift sub to Eric's Wolf. There you go. Everybody that just got a sub, you now have the ad free experience here for a month and some of the best emotes you'll ever see and use. Enjoy them, Finny Bears. Enjoy them, Fanny Bears. Thank you, Anonymous, whomever you are. Appreciate your kindness to me and the community. The statue bearing his likeness holds great power. I want to show you all something that's fun. We were doing this yesterday. Um, this was part of a two-year partner celebration that I did yesterday. But... <laughs> Wow, somebody out there is having a good time. Yo, Lebowski, thank you for 100 bits. Thank you. We got a hype trade. We got a hype trade. Thank you, Anonymous, for the gift subs. Lebowski for 100 bits. We have the this 133-bit alert that people have really been enjoying lately. And I want to show you what happens when they stack. See? So let's say we, this happened five times. You'll get this. Test message. Test message. <laughs> Test message. Test message. Test message. There you go. <laughs> That's a fan favorite around here, you know? Thank you, Randy, for these 69 bits. You're so shocked. Yeah, you know. Like, fart jokes never get old. Come on. It doesn't matter how old we get. <laughs> Dusty Duffy McCartner says in Perilous Patrol over Pluto, we may not have a rat's chance in a room full of cats, but we're gonna go after that cheese. Oh, okay. <laughs> Randy, 
Thank you for 31 bits. And look at that. We're in a level three hype train, by the way. Hell yes. Hell yes. You say they stink? Oh my goodness. Dude, the wall is talking to him. That is so freaky. Oh, this game's dope. A face came out of the wall, the mosaic. See that? Oh, wicked. I love this game. 1995, viewed through the lens of its own time, right? So badass. Really good use of dithering and shading on the backgrounds and the sprites. Yeah. Nice ambient music. Anyone like the soundtracks from Morrowind, Oblivion, or Skyrim? Because this is the same composer, and this was his first game. <laughs> Sammy, you got auto modded? <laughs> She says, I've yet to have a toot joke really blow me away with the phrase blow me highlighted by auto mod. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Savvy, how dare you bring your lewdness to our community? Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I have control. There you go. Have some chicken feed. What is that dog? Is that dog smelling that man's butt? I think he is. What are you doing? Why is he smelling that man? Oh, man. Okay, let's go. That's your first time being auto modded. Oh, shit, my butt. I have certain settings on it pretty high because 99% of the time it's wrong and it's always hilarious. <laughs> like just Bonk. every time. Every time it's wrong, it's funny. So I'm not changing it at all. <laughs> Gotta watch out for Sam. Super sus, yeah. She's just being a little suspect, you know. Whoop. Oh, hi, Moggy. Are you coming to visit too? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Mog, haven't you visited it enough tonight? Haven't you visited enough? Oh, are you being a good boy? Are you being a good little gremlin, man? Y'all want to see Mog? You can kind of see him. You can kind of see him right now. Point of view right now is wild. She's got the desk. He's got the mixer and the microphone. That's his microphone now. <laughs> Why are you licking my mic arm? Oh, cats are so weird. You know, you do such a cute little gremlin. Oh, thank you, Moggy. Good boy. Yeah, he's being nice. Look, he's being a nice boy. He's being a nice little man. Yeah, good kitty. You been a good kitty. There you go. You can take some of that back. The post-it. Oh, do you like that? That's the hierarchy. Savvy. I have to. And if I don't see things like that, I forget. Because I have wicked ADHD. And that means my memory is root vegetable. So. Are you playing with your favorite ball? When's ball time, chat? How's my polish? My polish comes last, so it's pretty good, but the, the the number one thing there right now, I need to work on that way more. Don't lay on the keyboard! <laughs> Shoot. Oh, cats. Look at this little rascal. It's his favorite ball. He loves that ball. He loves that ball. Yeah, that doesn't mean Polish, Savvy. It means polish. I'm sorry. <laughs> You know, sorry. I, I figured I would have that reaction by some people. They're like, are you learning Polish? No, I'm not. I'm not. Even though I am like part partly Polish, like I'm Irish Polish. Don't lick the pots on there. Oh, what a goof. What a goof. Work on self, work on content, work on polish, right? Right? That makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Mug. You were a wild little man. You say hi to me? Oh, good boy. Good boy. Yeah, good kitty. He's a good little monster. You're a good little monster. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, I don't think so, Zach. It's certainly possible, but I don't think so. Isn't he a cute little gremlin? I like his coat. I like his coat. He's got a nice spotted coat. See? 
He got a nice coat, a little furry there. He doesn't let me groom him, so he's shedding. Weather's changing. Yeah, you got a nice coat, Mog. He's cleaning the desk. He's cleaning the desk. Work on capitalization. That is simple enough. <laughs> Savvy place. Savvy place. Let's see, they're the stars of the show. I'm the co-host. I'm just here to facilitate. Can you not lick XLR cables? Thank you. Well, it's playtime. <laughs> I just got a hold of me, chat. Save me. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Mog. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I hope you didn't get nauseous from that. <laughs> What a monster. What a little monster. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the hype train, by the way, everybody. I appreciate that very much. I wasn't able to see the amount because Mog is under attack. <laughs> he's, he's attacking me. Are these my paws now? Do I get to keep these? Do I get to keep these? Ow. Moggy. Oh, he's in gremlin mode. Oh boy, here we go. You, give me my hand back. No, give me that back. You're beginning to see why I get scra scratches on my arms sometimes. He's an aggressive little monster sometimes when he wants to play. Don't you claw me. Don't you claw me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Got your butt. I got your butt. Is that okay? Okay, we're cool with this. Let's scratch the back. Whoa! Hey, no claws on there. All right, don't claw that. We don't want holes in the audio cable. All right, let me turn this off. Let me turn this off. Whoops, there we go. You are an aggressive little monster and you need to calm down, kitty. All right, time to have a little chill. Okay, see? There you go, good kitty, good kitty. All right, he's chilling down. Why does it sound like Roller Coaster Tycoon? This is actually the bazaar right now in Secret of Evermore. I think the name of this place is Nobilia and it's kind of loosely based on like ancient Greece. It's a pretty cool game, honestly. You got, we started in like prehistoric, prehistoric times, like pre Iron Age, Bronze Age. Anonymous, gifted as gifted, attire un sub tout à quelques deux. He fucked up my audio levels. <laughs> he bumped the right channel too loud on alerts. Kitty, Jesus. What a little demon. Thank you, Anonymous, for the gift sub. You think the sound's the same? It could be. It, it's around the same time period, Savvy. You know what a lot of devs did back in the day was they would buy sound libraries from, you know, people whose job it was to create those. And then they would sell packages of them to whoever needed them for commercial use. So you'll often see in video games, at least, especially from the 90s, you'll hear sounds from one game and then hear them again in a different game. You'll be like, hey, I've heard this before. Hey, you done? You done terrorizing the place, Mog? You done? My goodness. So yeah, it could be the same audio clips. Would I like a fish? I'm good. What is this dog doing? It probably smells fish. So I guess I'm supposed to explore um, outside of town now. Maybe. What do you smell? Water. The dog smelled water. How cool is this though? You can have the dog like smell out ingredients for your spells. I love it. That's so cool. That's so damn cool. We were watching an episode, something called Karanger, Power Rangers Turbo. 
as the mech was transforming standing up you notice it made the same sound as a door opening in doom that sound right there zach and any of you that have ever played doom and know that door opening sound i have heard that in probably a dozen plus movies and tv shows at least it is used so frequently <laughs> like exceptionally frequently yeah L yeah lebolsky agreed this game did some things that a lot of other games didn't have i mean look at our teammates a dog who helps us in combat and can smell out alchemical ingredients for our spells multi-purpose it's really cool so when and some of you will remember this too like what was it 2010 or so when fable 2 came out i was reminded of this game constantly because in fable 2 you have a dog that follows you around and he helps you find stuff <laughs> it's pretty cool where's my dog okay he's right there okay mog took off i'm no longer under fear of being savagely mauled by a cat <laughs> Oh, you did just say that. How about that? I didn't see that. Sorry. I didn't see that. Oh. Oh. You ever have a sneeze that just like hangs out for like 30 seconds? You feel like it's never going to come? Thankfully, I got it out. Don't try to get around me and enter the palace grounds. I'm warning you, I'm quick. Quick like the wind. So I'll just go in anyway. You know? <laughs> just go in anyway whatever why are you talking to me you just kids these days you can talk to the statue does anything happen probably not huh your favorite super nintendo game back in the day was secret of mana i i do know it yeah absolutely i think they used the same engine for this game i wouldn't be surprised anyway if they did it's the same developer squaresoft um I've streamed that a playthrough of that once on stream. I think I did a challenge run of no attack magic. That was a few years ago. That was pretty fun. Still did it pretty quickly, like 18 hours. It's kind of kind of happy for my uh, performance. Secret of Mana is great. I used to play that every year. I'd have two of my cousins come over. They'd bring the super multi tap. I got one sitting up there somewhere, and we would play through the whole game three player start to finish in a weekend oh, I used to love doing that it was so much fun one of these days I'll do it again I'll do it again bloop, bloop, bloop. yeah it was like two or three years ago I'm not really wanting to play it again anytime soon there's a lot of other games I want to get through yeah it was tough to do no attack magic there were some specific bosses that made it really challenging like those tigers with that go roly-poly on you and shoot spikes everywhere whoa without attack magic they were really tough so was the lich near the end of the game and what else was really hard those robots with the hammers those robots with the hammers and secret or mana are an absolute joke boss. But if you can't use attack magic, they will just fuck your shit up. <laughs> Holy smokes. They are so hard to kill. <clears throat> Anyone ever try secret or mana PS4 remake? I haven't tried it. No, I've heard it was kind of hit or miss, but most people like above average impression of it. But I haven't myself actually really seen it or played it, so. Ooh, Mog's on his throne. No swimming, swearing, laughing, crying, talking out of turn, line dancing, moose calling, sword play, pumpkin carving, mummified cat juggling, wallowing in your own self pity, circumstantial evidence. Ah! No slapstick comedy, balloon animals, and absolutely positively no barking like a seal. It upsets me. You know, I respect it. Okay, I respect that. <laughs> the fuck? That's a lot of esoteric rules. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, those tigers are tough even with magic. Yep. 
to protect statue. It's a very important job. I used to protect the shrub. Good. The dong seems to be sniffing out a lot of things that aren't here. <clears throat> What's this area? Oh, this is um where the eventual airship will land. Do, 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 do. No pancakes on Monday. Yeah, that's one of the rules. Okay. You better you better listen. You better listen. You're gonna get in trouble and nobilia. Why does he show his face? I don't know. I haven't played it yet, Lebolski, but I was, I watched a lot of streamers play the Trials of Ray Mana remake and I was blown away. I thought it was basically Square, Square Enix in my opinion. And I know obviously nostalgia has a play, right? But in my opinion, Square Enix has set the bar on how to do a remake for old, these old JRPGs. I want to see a lot more done that way. Like the Breath of Fire games. Oh, oh my God. I want them done just like Trials of Mana was done. That like full anime, animated style, but still really true to the original. Like if you notice in the Trials of Mana relay, remake, a lot of the layouts of the areas and zones are identical to the SNES version. They're just 3D now. So they're laid out very similarly. Um, all right. I think we just need to leave now, right? We've done everything we can do here. Let's get out of here. <clears throat> Whoa. Now we got more ambient. What hill? Woof. Hello. Do you want to lift? Sure. No. I'm not going to give you my amulets of annihilation. We'll run. Ow! Or we'll get accosted by tumbleweed. Is there a quicker way back? <laughs> Is there a better way back? It doesn't involve exorbitantly expensive items. Oi, yoy, yoy. Ow! This is going poorly! <laughs> Shit! Uh, let's cure his poison. Whoa. Breath of Fire 3 is my favorite of the four. Yeah. Netting swarmed. Yeah. Yeah, this place is pretty ruthless. But if we just go down long enough, we'll get out. Maybe diagonal is the way to go. This could be it. Just go diagonal. Oh, look. <laughs> Am I cheesing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> look at that. I'm like cheesing right now. Oh. Yeah, but I, I like I get you. Lebowski, it's, you know, it's not for everybody that style. I, I totally understand. I thought it was great, but. It's not everyone's cuppa. But I think it would fit the Breath of Fire games perfectly because from their inception, they were always that heavily like animated style. Oh, nice. We found one. Yes. Found an oasis. No cannon travel. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> no cannon bros. <clears throat> this game is made with the combo of some software square software oh okay i've never heard of those one of the other reasons you leveled up the weapon attacks if you charge a weapon to three and start to run the charge meter will drop to a point where it's still charging and you can run forever i remember that yeah it's kind of like a reward for fit powering up your weapon all the way yeah i remember that wow Keep going. Let's get out of this place. Dun, 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 dun. One of these oasis has a special item. I did not find any items here. I did find a guy that gave me the sting or yeah, I think he gave me something. Didn't he give me something? I don't know. What was the item? What are you talking about? Maybe I didn't get that. I got a, what did I get from here? Was it sting? I think it was sting. 
pretty sure. Yeah. I got there's an old guy at one of the oasises. He gave me that that alchemical formula. Now I got Trials of Mana music in my head. What's that song called? Like Little Tea Shop or something? <laughs> oh, nostalgia is right. Yeah, that's kind of our question of the night. Let's see if anyone's got a, an answer. What makes a retro game timeless, right? If you haven't answered yet. Ow! Wait, was that an oasis? Yes! We'll wait for his poison to wear off. My opinion is, and it pretty much always will be, that gameplay trumps anything in a video game. Which isn't any sort of revelation about anything. But, a lot of devs tend to put more focus on things other than gameplay more often these days than in the past. And that's not to say that it's worse. It's just how the industry is, right? A lot of people like to blow people away with a visual experience a lot more now because the technology is there, right? They want to make that kind of art. Oh? Uh? Huh? <laughs> that was the rock tiny through like two hours ago. <laughs> wow, it sure took a long time for that rock to fall. Y yeah. Call bead 200 jewels. Ooh, 200 jewels. Sick. All right, this is way stronger than that axe. Oh, this thing is nice. Woof. Ba -ba -na -ma -na. So the reason I think that a lot of retro games have stood the test of time isn't really due to graphics or even sound it's because their gameplay is still fun to this day and you know of course like i think it was lebowski that said or someone else i can't remember bad memory nostalgia is a huge part of it of course but those games these retro games that have really good gameplay you can give that to a person a young person with a relatively open mind if the game's fun they're probably gonna have a good time with it you know Doo -doo -doo -doo. doesn't matter how good the graphics are if there's nothing worth looking at Doo -doo -doo -doo. or nothing worth playing right yeah you heard a symphony orchestra playing the secret of mana soundtrack oh that's awesome it did a couple <laughs> rotations on the planet the rock <laughs> Awesome. They ended up having to recreate the ring system from Secret of Mana from scratch. Oh, I see. The humor holds up beautifully. Right, because it was all completely invented, right? This game does, has quote unquote pop culture references, but they're all completely contrived. He's referencing pop culture that doesn't exist. So what you're getting out of it contextually is that he's just referencing campy, corny style movies, you know? Some of the best modern games are any games focused on gameplay over graphics. Yeah, that was the other point I was making. If gameplay didn't trump everything else in video games, the indie industry right now would not exist the way it does. It just wouldn't. Because the vast majority of those aren't looking to put out amazing, mind-blowing graphics. They're more concerned with the aesthetic and, the, and ultimately most concerned with the gameplay itself. Whoever animated the dog sniffing around needs to be given a medal. I love, I love the animations in this game. I think it's one of the unsung heroes. Look at it. Even though he just sat, he just sat there, started yawning. That dog, that was such like a you know, a canine thing to do. See? <laughs> Sniff it around, takes a big yawn. <sighs> Revive formula. Ooh. 
that's that's a nice find okay let's see what can we get rid of let's get rid of acid rain acid rain's crap uh how do i oh i pushed b okay yeah let's get revive in there okay i don't know if we're gonna be using sting i think we will be using crush if i can get more limestone and wax Case in point in gameplay versus graphics, hot to full boyfriend, a dating sim with a compelling heart-wrenching story, and the graphics are stock photos of birds. Yeah, I've heard about that. Yo, Bitwizard, welcome on in. Nice to meet you. Thanks for saying hi. You thought it was a silly meme game? I've not played it, but I've actually heard it's exceptionally well written. Yeah, Randy. That's because Hades has a great, you know, the gameplay is amazing in Hades, but I think what really caught people off guard was the combination of its aesthetic story and um, voice acting, you know, combined with top tier roguelike, no, roguelite, I should say, L-I-T-E, top tier roguelite gameplay. I was so excited when they announced Hades 2. Oh my goodness. Acid Rain, Tay Zonday's lesser known song. <laughs> this game is super underrated. Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. I think I have this. Yes. Okay. A few months ago, some of you saw me play this. It was called Donkey Kong Country Trilogy, and it was a fan game that combined all the characters of the three DKC games on completely new stages. This was one of the songs. Ramble, right? Ramble style? <laughs> it's so good though it has no business being this good where can you find it uh search in quotes donkey kong country trilogy fan game it'll probably be the first result it's fucking dope it was really good i played through the whole thing isn't this good <laughs> When I heard this, I'm like, what is this song? This is so familiar. It took me a while to figure it out. <laughs> chat, chat had to clue me in. They're like, no fucking way. I can't believe it. <laughs> it's so good though, isn't it? That's it. It's, it's Tay Zande. Just in Donkey Kong Country form. <laughs> I know, right? It's amazing. It's so spot on for those games, too. Just some people go the extra mile for the laugh, you know, and you just, you just got to take it in. <laughs> so good. So damn good. So yeah, that's Donkey Kong Country Trilogy is the full title. And it was really fun. It was really fun. We had a great time with it. Do. Thanks for the follows, by the way, everybody. We got the anonymous follows here for you lurkers out there, okay? So you're never going to see your name pop up unless you want it to by saying hi in chat. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Let's get some more of these. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. What do we need? Limestone and something else for crush. I forget. I forget. Bo -bo Yo, Jack, how you doing? How's it going, man? Wax? Oh, we got a lot of wax. Okay. Low on oil. Should get mud peppers. We're going to need those. Uh, 
Uh, I know I'm spending a lot of money. That's fine. Who cares? We'll use stuff, you know? All right. Record my progress. Uh, why say hi in chat when you can say bye, leave, and then come back in and say hi instead? I mean, yeah, that's a strategy. You can play it that way, for sure. <laughs> I get a lot of money. Okay. I was a little concerned. I was kind of low. Ooh, a lot of guys. Imagine somebody trying to crush you with an anchor. A boat anchor. Ow! Plague! What is plague? Oh, it's like a worse poison. I hope it wears off. I don't think I've ever seen that. Oh, that's doing a lot of damage. Um, I'm going to see if Kira gets rid of that. That's problematic. Okay. What you got, doggo? What is it? Something here? Ethanol. Whoa. Nice. That's a rare one. Two parts vinegar. Yo, good puppy. Oh, man. We didn't find any of this before because we didn't have our dog with us. More ethanol. Brimstone. Oh, man. We have got the doggo hookup right now. What do we got here? Ethanol. Okay, what else you got? Brimstone. Yes. You pet the dog? No, you can't pet the dog. I know. That, that's a crime, isn't it? Limestone. Nice. <laughs> I like mashing it. Nice. Dog can charge up to level three. Let's go ahead and adjust that. Get him. Get him, dog. Get him. Get him. Aggressive? That's not very aggressive. There you go. Holy. <laughs> that was a lot. Oh, my God. Ethanol. Hell, yeah. We're getting some rare ingredients now. Well, this is like a quote-unquote town area. Yeah, dog's my favorite in this game. Absolutely. The main character's good. I like him, too. But the dog? I think he steals the show. Stay here, Augustus. These stairs are too steep for you. No, 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 no. We ain't gonna play it that way. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can take this platform, right? Actually, let's uh go in the bar real quick. He's a good boy. He'll wait. You know, this bar doesn't allow dogs. I don't know if there's any reason to go in here. Yeah, that's all right. Look, we can bring the dog with by using this. <clears throat> Doo -doo 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 -doo. Bum, 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 bum. Rick, did you play this? Oh, it's so good. It's so fun playing this again. I'm old. I say that every time we encounter someone old. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> <laughs> the dog is the best. You beat it last year. You were addicted to alchemy. Dude, I love the alchemy system in this. Record my progress. Bum, 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 bum. I'm going to spam crush as much as I can. Dun, dun, dun. And maybe speed up. Speed up's been pretty good. Did you do Secret of Mana too? I think you did, right? Like recently? Oh, this guy isn't there anymore. Okay. That was like a one-time thing. Yep. Okay. Yeah, pretty much, Sinny. You you got me. Sinny's got me. Down we go. Let us continue our journey west. I got stuck at this part as a kid for weeks. 
to the point where I hated this game. When did this come out? 95? It was 13. 13, right? 13 year old, 13 year old boy in the 90s. Everything sucked, right? Cynical. You know, most, most kids like that were like that back then. Not all, but most. So everything sucked, right? Everything sucked unless it didn't. I got stuck here for weeks. Weeks. You feel like everyone thought this game was related to Secret of Man? Yeah, I did too. You want to know what you have to... So you like, you go up here, right? There's like a spider. There's a guy with an anchor. Bear with me here. I'm going to show you, okay? So if you know, keep... You know, let me, let me demonstrate this. Why I got stuck. Okay. Damn! <laughs> Go, dog! What a powerful pupper. So I got stuck here for weeks. I'm going to show you why. I, I can't break this. You need a better weapon. So this is a dead end. We can't go in here, right? You need a different weapon. Yo, take care, Zach. Thanks for hanging out with us. Sniff, sniff. All right. Like, oh, the bridge is broke. I don't know where to go, right? Where do you go? I don't know if this game ever conveys this, but you have to switch to the dog and make a running jump across. And it took me fucking weeks to figure that out. <laughs> Literal weeks. <clears throat> Hi, Curly. Curly, how's it going? How you doing? Sniff, sniff. Let's go, doggo. Oh! Oh! Oh, I dodged that. You're adding the bad? No, that's against the, the Geneva Convention. All right. You didn't file the proper bed forms, so you have to forego tonight. But don't worry. Uh, we'll send you a complimentary DM every six to eight hours. Good. <laughs> Take care. Thanks for the help, Selica. <clears throat> Curly, how's everything? Curly, did you just get up? Are you like like a morning person? Are you a morning person? Because I'm the opposite. I'm D-Gen as fuck. I go to bed at 9 a.m. <laughs> That's bedtime for me. Do, 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 do. How am I thirsty? A little thirsty. I forgot to get water several hours ago, and here we are. Here we are. We live here now. Get the spider. Get the spider. Nice. Splork. You are a morning person, so you're just waking up. What time zone are you in? You gotta be Eastern, right? You gotta be Eastern. Because it's 7 a.m. on the East Coast. Right? What are they, satyrs? Dancing fool? They look like satyrs. But alright, we can call them that. Ooh, they dodge a lot. They're hard to hit. Nice. Dog is team carry. You're central. Oh, yeah, you did say we live near each other. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm in the suburbs pretty close to the city. So you get up at 6 a.m. Wow. No matter how much I tried in 40 years of being around, I never could adjust to mornings. <laughs> I could never do it. What about the rest of you? Are we morning people or, no, or, or night owls? Give me your answers. I'm about to, it looks like we're about to hit an ad roll. So that's a perfect time for me to fill my water. But I'm going to give you this awesome video to look at. So you are, but you're in the northern part. Okay. Yeah, I'm like a 10 minute drive from the city. You're a regen. I need to I need to hear the explanation for that one. Way, a completely different way to meet a girl. <laughs> Alright, give me a minute. I need water. Enjoy this video. Don't you really want to know? 
really searching for the father of your baby. Girlfriend, while he was sleeping with... Finn, no. Finn, Finn, no. Men on. Finn, no. Men on. Finn. about the show. I couldn't tell you like who started episode number 13. Shut up, Wesley. You know, in the second half, who was the main focus or anything Shut like up. that. Um, what I do is I Come love on. to read the books. Shut up, Wesley. The novels I haven't really gotten into yet. No! But like the comic book I read, uh, the old series I watch every night. Unless I have to get up real, real early for work the next filmed in front of a live internet audience. Afternoon, everybody. Phenomenon. Fintos, the fresh maker. <laughs> that fun? That fun? Let's see what y'all said. Morning or night, people? We typically wake up around 5 a.m. Wow. Wow. You're in Eastern and you're going to bed in three hours. Three hours. That's about when I'm going to bed, too. Yeah. Right around there, Gleason. Good to see you. I don't know if I said hi to you yet tonight. Do, 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 do. Night Owl, Andrew. Ness. Night Owl. You don't know how you're awake. <laughs> Central. Yeah, I'm in Central. I think right now it's CDT. At least where I live, it is. I guess it just depends, right? Doo -doo 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 -doo. I love those Savannah emotes. She has good emotes. You're more of a 30 minute drive. Okay. I think I have an idea of what you're talking about. Staying up until 6 a.m. every day for 10 years. For me, it's just gradually gotten further and further. And it's kind of tapered off to where it is now to where I go to bed between 8 and 10 a.m. but it's usually between 8 and 9 um because for the longest time a uh, Zigcat this is Secret of Evermore Secret of Evermore this is an awesome game Super Nintendo pretty a cult classic I would say so if you like Secret of Mana you probably like this it's a very very similar gameplay and system same developer too you like the video yeah You've been in big lurk mode. Right on. Thank you so much. You woke up at 9 a.m. today and you've been confused the entire day. Why did you get up so early today, Rig? But it was like, okay, prior career, I was second shift. That worked out best for my head. It was basically a 3.45 to midnight shift, right? Then I would come home and start stream at 1 a.m. and stream four hours. I did that like three to four times a week. So I'd be in bed by about six or seven. So I did that for a couple of years. Before that, my schedule was pure chaos. So there was no sleep schedule at all. It was just be up when I needed to be for work. But for as long as I can remember, I have always, always thrived at staying up late. And I've realized over the years that I needed to start listening to my body and stop trying to force it. My brain is most active after midnight. It just is. And truth be told, I usually come up with my best ideas a couple hours before I fall asleep. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's the way it is. So I stopped ignoring it and I just live it now. So my alarm is set for 4.30 p.m. I get up at that time every day. But it takes me an hour or two for the brain to start up, you know? Like, literally. Like, I'm a zombie for an hour or two. Uh, and then I start streaming at 9 p.m. So, like, I'm on that pretty solid schedule. And that routine helps me out a lot. And it allows me to be live and or working on things when my brain is most active. I don't know why it's that way, but it is. So, I'm just kind of like, okay, I can pretend to ignore it or just accept it. Boy, these guys are tough. You gotta be quick. Or you gotta be an overpowered dog. That works too. Oh man, I'm out of alchemy for healing. What do I need for that? Uh oh, chat. 
Uh, I need roots. Oh, I couldn't buy those, could I? You like that video rig? You had to do IRL stuff? Oh, no. <clears throat> what up, King Smashington? How's it going? Savvy has a Solaire dancing under a disco ball. <laughs> oh, you were talking about the video, Zigcat. Sorry. <clears throat> 16 Bitten made that for me. We went back and forth doing feedback and ideas for that video. Because I wanted it like a, a fun little like intermission. Not an intermission video, but something to play in the gaps, you know? During ad breaks and things like that. So after several months, that's that was the end result. The moon gives me creative power. Maybe. Yeah. <clears throat> Hi, Blue Avenger. Welcome, by the way. You're working midnights from 10 to 8 a.m. and trying to maintain on your days off. Hard to maintain with your family and pets making noise constantly. See, I think that's part of why I can do this is I don't have kids. Like, I'm single. I don't want kids either, so. I at least have that luxury of being able to just dictate my life as necessary. But of course, you know, there's downsides to that as well. Woof. Do, 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 do. It does mean that I'm on my own for everything effectively that I need to do. I do have a roommate and she's exceptionally helpful. But yeah. Woof. Woof. <clears throat> ba 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 ba. <clears throat> You had trouble in school. Brains don't wake up before 10 a.m. Yeah, same. I would fall asleep in class as a kid all the time. It didn't matter. I just could not fall asleep before a certain time. <clears throat> yeah, that's got to be tough, Blue. More power to you. I know what it's like. <clears throat> I know what it was like in my previous career working overnights. That, that job was... That career was awesome, but it was chaos before I got the set position in it. Um, oh, I got some roots. Nice. I think there's an alchemist nearby. I might be able to buy some roots from him. Now that I think about it. There's like an archaeology camp around here. Um, What was I going to say? I forget. I can't go this way. It's a, it's a... Oh. Well, that's we live there now. Ah, there you go. <clears throat> I was hoping to get some music. This is a nice song. This is a nice song. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I had like random weekend overnights at that career, at the the Bulls training facility there when I used to work there. I would. There were some days. I think there was twice where I had to work thirty two hours straight. <laughs> that was nuts. That was nuts when I was working all that stuff. <clears throat> you generally have much better ideas at night as a creative person. Hmm. Interesting. You devour moonlight and turn it into sound. Nice. That's dope. What kind of music do you make? I think I'll be alright. We're getting used to flying and falling. <clears throat> Who are you, friend? Where are you from? Oh, you're definitely not from Crustacea. No facial hair, tattoos, or visible scars. You're not from Nobilia either. No toga or sandals. Actually, we're from... Wait, let me guess. You're from Podunk. How does he know? How does he know? Oof. How have I been? I... That's a question, isn't it? The honest answer is I never really know how to answer it. When I'm live, this is my th quote unquote therapy. This is my break, even though it is what I do for a living. So everything everyone does to help me in that regard is always, I'm always grateful for, right? And not entitled to. <laughs> but there's a lot of other stuff going on outside of it. And then other considerations I have related to it, which have been exceptionally stressful. So right now things are really good. When the stream's over, then I need to calm the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> you 
worked a short night shift and you were good with that, but over time you found that you're useless from 3.30 p.m. through 7 p.m. That's a very specific time slot, Matthews. That's interesting and true for me as well because that's about when I get up. <laughs> you make moon music. Okay. Chip tune and classical. Ooh, I like chip tunes. Very cool. <clears throat> you have better concentration in the morning and better ideas after eight. Odd. Well, you're right. I'm kidding. This is my dog, Augustus. <clears throat> Pleasure to meet you. I'm Horace Highwater. I too am from Podunk. Nice. I figured it would be a matter of time before another Podunker arrived. Podunker. Mm -mm -mm -mm. How have you been, Curly? They usually happen when you can't work on them? Yeah. I mean, that's one of the nice things now about doing this for a living is I'm usually home. So when ideas strike, I'm usually able to capitalize on them. But also another thing that I have learned, and some of you might maybe understand this or have recognized this yourself, is when my environment changes, so to, to do my ideas. So since I'm very reclusive and I don't like going out most of the time, the way I quote unquote change my environment is by trying to experience different things here. So either book, like you got books, or I will hang out on like different streams that I normally wouldn't go to or, you know, talk to people that I haven't talked to in a while or haven't at all, or <clears throat> listen to different music or watch, you know, like shows or movies, like things that are like, I know that sounds basic, but those aren't things that I like, especially shows, movies and books. They aren't things that I do very often. So like I'm quote unquote changing my environment that way. And it, I wouldn't say that they inspire ideas in me, not often, sometimes, but they do kind of just give new neural pathways and sometimes one thing leads to another and it helps. <clears throat> you put them on the notepad in your phone. Your phone is a treasure trove of your ADHD randomness. Nice. Do, 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 do. Area of expertise was early civilizations. So this game, I believe has four major regions and each region has a person from the main character's hometown. This is the second guy now who has said this area is a product of my imagination. So they're trapped here. The world they're inhabiting is a product of their imagination. We don't know how to get out. So Evermore, Secret of Evermore, Evermore is this like <clears throat> fantasy world, literally. Like, in, in game and out, obviously. So it's a bit meta, but yeah. It's kind of cool. Whoops. Get back here. <laughs> You're making pancakes? Yes! I want some. I want pancakes. What's everyone's favorite breakfast food? <laughs> By her eyes, uh, Elizabeth told us about it. She's the leader of the prehistoric world on the plateau. Mm -mm. Yes, Elizabeth, Professor Ruffelberg's granddaughter. There was another guest at the party too, Miss Bluegard in the library. I always suspected we were the victims of foul play, but by whose hand? Who indeed? Boom, boom. That's your favorite breakfast food? Pancakes? Corn beef hash. Oh. Do you know any idea how many years it's been since I had that? Oh, corn beef hash. That speaks to the Irish in me. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Love it. <laughs> Banana nut pancakes? Oh. Do 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 leftover Indian takeout is your favorite breakfast. Fair enough. I mean that's pretty good. <laughs> your favorite breakfast is grilled cheese? That's breakfast where you live, or is it just breakfast for you? Jack 
Jack's favorite breakfast is popcorn being eaten by a Meowth. That's fair. Breakfast tacos, it's a Texas thing. Fair enough. What's in them, Randy? I don't think I've had breakfast tacos. I imagine they probably have like scrambled eggs in them, right? <clears throat> scrambled eggs and like sausage? Breakfast sausage? Mm -mm. Maybe it is for Jack. <laughs> this fellow was hungry for power. He appeared on the scene only weeks ago and took over Nobilia very quickly. He's very mysterious. None of my contacts have ever seen his face. Nothing but bad intentions. <clears throat> Do, do, do. My favorite breakfast food, and I forgot to say mine. You all are answering. My favorite breakfast food would be. It's a toss up. It's either going to be French toast with like a, uh, you know, a light. A light bit of what is that called? Compote, right? Like the the fruit it's not like jam or jelly it's like more tart i think it's called compote like sh you got like a strawberry com is that the word is that right is that right let's see let me see if i got that right compote <clears throat> fruit preserved or cooked in syrup yeah that's it that's it yeah it's like french toast with that right or eggs benedict That's it for me. It's breakfast. Grilled cheese is breakfast where you live. Interesting. You either have sandwiches or grilled cheese on the weekends or things like yogurt. Pancakes is a breakfast food is so weird to you. That's because the pancakes you eat aren't the pancakes we eat. <clears throat> like, it's not even the same thing. It's completely different. <clears throat> like, yours are, are like taste like potatoes is my understanding. Do, 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 do. Eggs Benedict's amazing. Yeah, I haven't had that in probably two decades. Not even kidding. <clears throat> been like twenty years. Do 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 do. You enjoy a good Eggs Benedict every once in a while. <sighs> Do do yeah, I guess in Netherlands they have a different kind of pancake that's like potato or something. That's like savory, not sweet. That's really strange to me. Like it's not it's completely different. <clears throat> do, do, do. It's like not even the same food. It just has the same name. You can see hidden paths over these pits by using revealer formula. Uh okay. Madronius. Oh, I can do the call beat now. <clears throat> I am Madronius the Alchemist. I've studied with Horus for many years. The new leader of Nobilia does not respect the treasures of our world. We've dug pits in front of the pyramid and hall in order to keep him and his men away. <clears throat> Interesting. Bum bum. Mm-hmm. Revealer formula. We need that. What are we on? What are we getting rid of here? Sting? Let's get rid of Sting. <laughs> get rid of Sting. Cool. Please sell roots. Yes! Cap it out. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh, I need that, all right? That's for healing. It's for the healings. Do, 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 do. Na, na, na. I like this music. It's really cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Check the walls. If you find him, he might help you. Does anyone here let me save? 
Uh oh. That's not good. No. No. Damn it. Nobody here lets me save. That's a problem. Do you? Ah, yes. Okay, good. Perfect. <clears throat> Smoked salmon and rice with a bit of sweet and sour mango sauce. Oh, Monty, that sounds quality. Don't be sorry. Be sorry for ending food talk. How dare you? <laughs> the nerve of this lady. Wow. Thinking we want to stop talking about food here. We're not Neanderthals, right? Jesus. I don't even know what that means. Found some ash. This is composed by Jeremy Sewell. Correct. It was his first game. Same guy that did Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim, KOTOR, all that good stuff. Neverwinter Nights. Sure, there's other notable stuff he's done too that I just don't know offhand. Na, 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 na. Found some bone. Bone Crusher. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, my understanding is he got the gig sending Square Enix of America a demo tape when he was like 20. <laughs> and it was his first job. It was composing this soundtrack when he was young AF. Pretty dope. Was he a teenager? I thought he was 20. You might be right, though. He might have been 18. It's been a while since I read that story. <clears throat> What's the statue? Doo -doo. Just the cool looking statue, I guess. What you got, doggo? What you got, doggo? Ah, you found some clay. Good puppy. Good puppy. <clears throat> Bean and beef burritos for breakfast? Oh, those can be eaten anytime, but it's good for breakfast. It feels way different. I wonder if it's because he was more restricted by the hardware, you know? Dutch breakfast of a white bun with chocolate sprinkles. That sounds like, like dessert for a dinner to me. Uh oh, I'm like stuck. What the hell? Oh, okay, there we go. That was weird. I was like stuck in the trees. Is there something down there? I don't know. Do, 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 do. Na, 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 na. Na, na, na. What a nice tune this is, huh? <clears throat> do, do, do. Dog's finding something. What do you got? What do you got, Augustus? Ooh, nice. Saving us some money. Good puppy. Does my sweet pancake sound like? Like a dessert? Yeah, that's fair. Totally does. Do, 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 do. Though, they're way too filling for that. Like, way too filling. They're, ugh, man. I imagine the ones you eat, Cindy, are pretty small, right? They're probably like. Just like medallion size. The pancakes typically in the US are two to three times bigger than that. Do 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 boo do boo boom 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 boom. Woof. Now ow just quit it. There we go. Boy. Oh boy. What a cool game this is. Zero. There you go. Dog revenge. The 230 damage when a good pup carrying the team. Sounds like it'd be good for an evening cruise across a beach. It does. Yeah. They're flatter. Oh, okay. So whether they're big or not, they're still much less food. That's the thing for me about pancakes is I love them until I'm about halfway done. And then they're just way too filling. <laughs> like, 
To paraphrase the late comedian Mitch Hedberg, he, he said something about pancakes, about how everybody loves them, and then you're halfway through and you're fucking sick of them. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you know, he's kind of right. Do, 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 do. It's just, it's just a lot of, I don't know, bread. A lot of bread. <laughs> it fills you up so much. Like one pancake for me. I'm just like, oh, I just got up two hours ago and I need a nap. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's so much. Cause it like, I swear to God with pancakes, I think when you eat them, they just like, okay, we hit the stomach. It's like a balloon just inflated. They expand. <laughs> they just expand. Save the game. Yeah. 